go. I don't have a mouth. I don't have. It's so creepy when that happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hopefully this will look a bit better. Hang on, is this set accordingly? It's totally set accordingly. There we go. Sorry to creep everyone out. I'm back. Oh, hello, hi, welcome everyone. It is still the same bloody day. It is the Thursday, the 29th of February 2024. We are almost into March, which is kind of scary. I'm back again with some more Final Fantasy. We are dogless in the home. Dog has returned. So we might actually make some progress today. I guess we'll see. Uh, was the TV remote? I'm excited to get back into this. I was just watching because we just raided Haley before. Um, watching Haley catch up to where I'm up to right now, and just so many things because I was I was watching and paying more attention, right? Because I didn't have the dog and stream to contend with, and so many things hit me all at once to do with the story. I'm like, oh no, I have new theories. I have new theories, <laughs> so I need to talk about them. Ah, yeah, I'm excited using it to do more of this. I appreciate you, buddy. Good to see you back as well. Oh my god, day's going well so far. Just literally just been taking care of dog and playing Final Fantasy, so I'm psyched. Uh, resume where you played off. Assumably that's taking my save or the auto save? Auto save is 28, my save is a bit further. I assume it defaults to like which one is the most recent, but I'll pick this one just in case. And you are having his mouth shut and dead so fast. Why is it scared? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, why is it scary to almost be a match? Oh, I'd use an Just like the whole thing about, you know, time just passing so quickly. Uh, this is a completely new game. This dropped today. That's why I've been streaming so much of it. But I, I completely forgot. Spec, do you remember this? Where Cloud, his memories are from Zack. So that whole... Yeah, from Crisis Core. The whole thing that we just saw was Cloud retelling it as if it was him, but it's not. It was Zack. That one... That one officer with the with the glasses who they told to take care of Tifa, right? That was Cloud. That soldier was Cloud. Yes, I'm almost certain of it because when I looked at his face, I was like, "Oh, that guy's got some soft features." So yeah, I'm 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 catching up now. It's just been a long time trying to piece these games back together. Oh, it's Final Fantasy! Oh my God, What's let's this? do this. A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Queen's blood? Excuse me? Um, you can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players, uh, denoted with the, I guess like a golden symbol, around the world and challenge them to matches. Oh cool, it's like an established minigame? Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Holy shit. Beaten players will also give you the opportunity to fight other players at other points in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting the card. Oh god, I'm never going to finish this game. We're, we're not going to make... I'm so sorry. I came on here to be like, we're going to make some progress. And then they hit me with a goddamn card mini game. Oh my god. Oh, you're right, username. Let's, let's do that first before we get to it. Spec, stretch. Stretch time. Oh my god. Hello. Oh. Thank Ooh. you. Oh, and a hug. I guess well, we're already up. Come on, Spec. More hugging. Bye -bye. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to make zero progress in this game. That's a big sword. It seems impractical to wield a sword as big as your own body. Yeah, but it seems cool though, doesn't it, using him? I'm fine with impracticality as long as it's cool. Them's the rules. Oh, we're doing a card game. Oh my god, I'm so psyched for this. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that spans left to right. Uh, first, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles Adorned with an emerald pawn. Emerald pawn? Oh, those things on the left. Okay. Can I do any? Oh, I can't go back. Um. Oh, this is what it means by lanes. Okay. Interesting. Once a card... Hang on. Once a card is placed, uh, its power is added to your total lane. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. 
The yellow number in the top right corner of the card is its power, while the positions card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. The yellow numbers in the top right corner of the card are the powers. Positions a card will add. Gotcha. Okay, so the, the power is at the top left, that number. And then that weird, like, uh, Tetris-looking-like thing is how it affects the board. Okay. Hmm. But practicality is cool. Exactly! I do use a name. I'm a very casual enjoyer of card games. Like, I, I've never been, like, an expert or anything like that. But I really liked Gwent in Witcher 3, for example, and, like, Triple Triad and shit like that. And the Pokemon card game. I've enjoyed that. Uh, the cooldown? I don't know. It shouldn't be a long cooldown. Are there any versions of Final Fantasy VII as... Uh, sorry, are there as many versions of Final Fantasy VII as there of Skyrim now? You know, Didi, possibly. If you think about just purely things that have Final Fantasy VII labelled on it. But in fairness to Final Fantasy VII, and I guess in fairness to Skyrim, Skyrim's the same goddamn game over and over again. Could never get into Gwent, despise playing The Witcher 3 to completion five times. Fucking username, I lived and breathed Gwent. I was... I loved Gwent. Hey, Jeds, welcome back. Hello again, you pup snow receiver. I know. I already miss her. Ugh, I already miss her. Having a sleeping animal on you is a wonderful experience. Uh, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Okay. How, how are you doing, Jeds? And how are you doing, Didi? Hope you're both well. How do you all feel about card games? I loved Gwent using him. I played so much of it. And we bought the special edition of the DLC that came with physical Gwent cards. And they're one of my prized possessions. So I guess we can put this anywhere, right? So. Where? Has to be there. Why not here? Why not here? Okay, I guess it has to be within the lane. When one of your cards position when one of your cards' position tiles overlaps with the position you control. So for example, I put that card over there, so it made two pawns. The position rises in rank, as there are two pawns on that tile now, okay? Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is uh, denoted by the number of pawns in the top left corner of the card. In order to play more powerful cards, you'll have to raise the rank of your... Excuse me, uh, off the position... Oh, because I have a card there, my second card, the Riot Trooper. He's a two-pawn card. Does that mean I can put him over there now? so confused. Yo, Boggle! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the gift sub! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. It's very kind of you. Who did you give that to? Oh, to the Goob. Goob. You gave it to Goob! Hey, that's awesome! Look like Goob got one. Thank you so much, Boggle. It means a lot to me. I hope you're well. Hope things are good. Jets, who are you banning? <laughs> oh, because of the lack of Gwen? <laughs> Seems like I'm missing out by not liking Gwen. Gwen was great username. I didn't get too much into the uh, expanded game. Like, they made a completely separate game for it, which apparently was really good, but it was more complicated, right? And I'm, like I said, I, I'm not that good at those kind of things. Um, I had a mod that used the mind... Wait, 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 wait. Used the what? Used the mind control sign in Witcher 3 to instantly win Gwen. Oh, that's hilarious. That's a nice, like, in-world mod, you know? I like that. Axie, yep, the Jedi mind trick with your sign. Uh, I don't know anyone who tried and understood how to play Gwent could not be a fan of it. I fucking loved it as well, Jeds. I played so much of that game. I was so excited when the DLC came out and there was just more Gwent to play. Hey, Cap, welcome back in. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Devoted to Babushka. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome, Bogo. I love Babushka. Babushka's welcome over any time. Like I said, we she was sat here sleeping on me, and it was a it was a lovely experience. We tried to capture that on microphone. I don't know how well it came out. I'll have to check back. Yo, Jeds, dude, thank you so much for the forty stream streak, dude. Thank you. That's awesome. That really means a lot to me. It was very EP. Should be like eighty now if that stupid bot didn't fuck me sideways. <laughs> yes, and also um. I don't know how often you use the mobile version of Twitch Jeds, but that seems to be pretty unstable for keeping win streak. Um, I think that happened to Clove earlier on. I tried to get it uh, into it several times, but just uh, couldn't. Uh, it didn't appeal to me to do that when I could go decapitate monsters. That's kind of fair. 
I was jumped in a trip to the doctor's. Oh, God damn it. Card games were never my thing, so I never bothered diving uh, into it. Card games, MOBAs, ever more gacha games, etc. All uh, equate to the digital version of real life house chores in my head. That's absolutely fine, Didi. I know exactly what you mean. I, I feel that way a lot about stuff like uh, Animal Crossing. And, um... Yeah, Animal Crossing, The Sims. There's some games that people use to relax and chill out, which bore me to death, you know? And I, and I do, from the outside looking in, I do, like, envy it. Like, I wish I could enjoy something like uh, Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, but it's just not my speed. But I totally know what you mean. But I, I love the card game stuff. I, I do think, for me anyway, personally, I think the card game stuff and the... Like, like I said, to me, it's about how much depth there is. If you get something as complex as a MOBA, or an MMO, then it kind of loses me because it requires a bit too much. There's a bigger end barrier to entry, but I thought Gwent was really simple and had enough like nuance to make it interesting the further you got in. I think maybe it's just one of those things that's like easy to pick up, but had enough depth to keep me going. You know? Uh, gacha games, generally speaking, use the name gacha games are like gambling games where you put something in and then you get some like kind of prize thing out of it. He's evil, we're going, I love Gwen. <laughs> I love Gwen. I wish I could appreciate every form of art, such as every game genre, but I just can't with some of them, just like you with The Sims or Animal Crossing. Yeah, seems like I'm missing out though. Yes, totally using him. Who knows, maybe in the future you might be into something like that, right? Like never say never, but at the moment I'm happy with what I'm into just because, man, there's a lot of fucking video games out there, you know? Okay, so now I've got two. Does that mean I can just slap this bad boy in here? totally does. It totally does. Uh, the music is reminding me of like a, a Mario Kart track. I don't know if anyone else, uh, anyone else is getting that vibe. When one of your cards position overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as yours. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise its rank. Right. Okay. So when I put a final card in the middle there, I take it. Is that what it's saying? Oh, bloody hell, there's a lot to absorb here. Sorry, people, I'm going to try to understand this the best I can. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the points total on each side. Yeah, so like on the left, I've got five. He's got three, right? So I'm winning the top lane. I understand that. Numbers on the left, President. Your power, one of the right is your opponent's. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's abilities. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more lanes than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you can pass with triangle when both cards pass cons consecutively. The game will end. Right. For now, this is very premature, but it kind of reminds me of Triple Triad meets Gwent in a weird way because of the lanes and then the power of the cards stacking with a bit of Tetris, I guess. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> So at the, at the top there, I've got five, he's got three. If I put one final card at the top, I won't increase... I will, it'll make it into six. But I think that makes me claim that entire line, right? Like, that's mine now at the top. Though maybe it was not, not necessary for me to do that because he wouldn't have been able to pull it back. Hmm. So my understanding is the pawns... Um, it, firstly, you need a certain number of pawns to place a card. Each one of these cards only require one pawn, right? So I can put them anywhere. If you put a card down, the yellow area of that card denotes where you'll place a pawn. So that's how you make the surrounding area have more of your pawns. So if you want to play a stronger card, you've got to put, you've got to make that area have more pawns and then place that card on top. made sense. I think that made sense. Was that talking sense? What's my drink? <coughs> oh god. Ginger. Welcome in, Wills. Hope you're good, buddy. Thanks for the redeem. Uh, oh, username. The, what this game is about, I'll get to that once I'm outside the card game. Remind me if I forget, but oh boy, Final Fantasy 7, mate. This is the second one of the remake. There's a lot. There's a lot to talk about. I, I need some time to figure out a way to condense it. The whole Tetris aspect is hard to follow. It is, but I think it's just about like what it affects, right? Like for example, um, how do I view? There's no way I can pull up these cards. So for example, Jeds, uh, on this card, the white is just where you place the card. The yellow affects where you're gonna put pawns. 
to make that tile stronger. The red on this card donates an ability. So uh, directly above wherever I place this card will be the ability that's listed in the bottom left, which is raises the power of the allied cards on an effective tile. So for example, I think if I grab this bastard, put him here, yeah. See how he's updating the one above him? It's making him stronger. So for example, I'm kind of losing the one in the middle. So if I go here, I will power up my Cactor and also add more pawns to the right. Can I place it here? I can, but there's no other card there. So I could do this. So not only am I making the bottom left have one uh, point, I'm also increasing the power of the lane in the middle because he's already got five there. That's like one of the only ways I can increase it without um, putting another card there. Now, if I put this Cactor card in the middle, right smack bang in the middle, uh, it should make the bottom left of that one, where there's three pawns, turn into four pawns, which is silly because I have no card that can do that. Oh shit, this one's a three one. <gasps> That's cool. Raises uh, the power of an allied cards and effective tiles by two when this card is in play. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, in that case, I got an idea. If I put, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This card, if I put this card here first, and then in the next turn, I'm gonna put magic pot on the bottom left of that one. That'll increase the one on the top right and that lane, so it'll push me over five, and it will make the lane at the bottom stronger. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So for example, if I put this here, yeah, look how much that went up by, that went up by nine. I took that one. So it doesn't even matter about the bottom lane, I assume, right? Because I'm going to lose the bottom lane now. So yeah, last turn, this one doesn't matter. I just put whatever. That's, I've got two lanes, so what happens now? Wait, why, am I still my why is it still my turn? I can't put a card. Pass, I guess? Okay. Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Uh, only the player with a higher point in a lane has their power added to their score. In other words, no matter how high your power is in a lane may be, it, it, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count towards your score. After calculating the winner for each lane and adding this, their lane score up, the player with the highest score, to, uh, the total score wins. Yeah, yeah, so I should have won. Easily. Because he's not going to get any points from the first two lanes, and he's took seven from the last one. Yeah. Nailed it. I like this. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm feeling it. Oh, card games. God damn it, I'm gonna make zero progress in this. Pay money to roll in-game items we're not paying and thus not rolling for items to make the game feel like, haha, you poor, ah, yeah, gacha. Yep, a like Genshin Impact, yep. Although I don't know how deep the gacha goes uh, cause I don't play Genshin, neither do I. I think it can be a fun way to keep things like uh, interesting and give you the option to get things that otherwise would cost money. <clears throat> But generally speaking, I don't like what the mechanic does to a lot of people. Um, I do like it in games that, that don't have uh, actual real game currency though. Then it's kind of fun. I assume the crystalline crab should go in the bottom lane then. Ah, fuck. I forgot which one was which. But yeah, Jeds, I think you got it. Look at the token one of the cards. <laughs> I don't even know. New Sorry, I didn't even knew, knew this was uh, still Fantasy 7. I know. Wills, I didn't even know they had a card game in it. Fucking let's go. Oh yeah, Togemon! Oh my god, Didi, what a shout. It is fucking Togemon. Uh, G is just sloppy K by pronunciation. <laughs> so the Tetris um, profile of a card can overlap others. Yes, I wasn't sure about that. I believe so. So that, like, if it's going into your opponents, I, I assume it doesn't affect them, right, Jeds? But I could be wrong. But if it's your own cards, I think it does. Let, let's see. I'm going to play another one of these just to get the hang of it. Oh, thanks for dropping by, Didi. Hope you enjoyed dinner. I'm not going to get too far, so uh, if you ever want to pop back in, I'm probably still going to be doing this. Oh, we can observe the battlefield, apparently. We can play again. I'm going to close because we won that one. Try challenging people in town. New way to challenge in camp. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need... Okay, new new, new plan. <gasps> There's a man there. There's a man there. See that? See that sign? See that sign? That's a card game sign. We're off. We're off. Fucking fuck this person. Play cards with him. Where is he? Excuse me, do you want to play? No, she doesn't want to play cards. She doesn't want to play cards. Where did I see? It's outside, it's outside. No, don't, 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 I don't want to talk to you. Cards, cards, cards. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? 
up the inside of his wrist. Just your party gear by accessing material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps yeah, that's great. A trip to the arms dealer is in order. Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Excuse yeah. me. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm, and their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Been an artist for so long. Is he asking me for my, for my portfolio? Does he want a business card? Like, what's happening? Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance Ooh, to Ooh, that texture on the ground is kind of rough. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Hey, Red 13's on the team. They, they do a really good job at making these cutscenes seem cin cinematic because they use the um, depth of field and like blur really well. Sure thing. Like even there, right? Like with him coming to the forefront and having Cloud in focus. It's really well done. Uh, overcome coming challenges, helping people in need and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. Will someone explain to me what a folio is? He just asked if Cloud had one and Cloud was like, yeah, of course I have a folio. Why wouldn't I? There we go, we found someone. I want to play it too, he's just like me, for real, for real. That's me right now. I was hoping that, oh, what am I thinking? You look you like you'd like murder me? me? Yeah, I'm gonna, dude. Oh, God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. Don't give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry, too, you know. <laughs> People call me crybaby. Oh, my God, this guy's intense. Did they need to do this? Oh, my God. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm with you there, Jeds. I, I'm not too, yeah, the name, maybe we'll learn some backdrop about it, and it'll make more sense, but Queen's Blood makes me sound like it's a weapon from Devil May Cry 4. Okay, um, I guess I didn't look at my deck, but I assume I don't really have much in the way of customization, right? We can edit the deck. Nah, this is all I've got. Yeah, then I guess this is what I'm using. Um, begin match. Uh, if you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. As you cannot play high rank cards right away, it is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Yeah, just like Gwent, like, you can shuffle away a few, right? <clears throat> so, I think this is fine. We only have two cards that we can use. But I think I can make it work. I don't know, it's a bit risky actually, isn't it? Um, we should shuffle maybe a couple of them back. This one has an ability. I'm going to shuffle this one back and this one back. Maybe just this one, actually, and this one, because they're weaker. Raises the power. No, that one raises the power. Fuck, man, I can't decide. Um, this one's a four. I'll shuffle these two back for now. <clears throat> yeah, we've got, we got another one, and that one came back. All right. Um, my turn first. Let's see. I'm going to start with this one. Oh, I'm glad that visually it shows you what's happening to the pawn situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so start with that. Raise it to two at the bottom. Oh, maybe what he just did was a smarter idea. <laughs> oh, that didn't make any pawns to the right. Right. Okay, that's not good. We need pawns to the right. Ha. Huh. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I, I need to... I need to... Bollocks. 
Oh my god, this is this this is how I got, I've not got enough experience to know what to do, right? I don't have a rhythm, but I understand the rules at least. All right, so I'm thinking now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one. It's gonna raise that to two. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm gonna do this one. Yep. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Put that over there. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna then put this badger here. No, I can't put that there yet, because that requires three. Oh, I was going to do it here. Yep. Okay, okay. Yo, he's got some decent cards. Hmm. It's, it does give me a little bit of um, a <coughs> Gwent triple triad vibe. I like it. Feels like it's the wrong time of the month for the queen. Oh, god damn it, Jeds. <laughs> All right, um... Uh, I feel like I've got this the middle one pretty much secure because he's only got like level one things there anyway. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Um, that one's kind of wasted on me at this point, which is a shame. Or maybe not necessarily. This one maybe. I gotta put something above, but I I've kind of fucked up that I didn't put a thing there, so I need to I need to rectify that. Um. I can only use these two cards. It's gonna have to be this one, I guess. Oh, what happens if I place this? Oh, I can't, because there's no two-piece, right, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna place this one, it's gonna make a pawn above me, and then I have to make one to the left. I might have shot myself in the foot. Um, That's not gonna help. Oh, that would completely close it off. That's interesting. I'm gonna do it. So by placing this here, I've I've closed off the card on the left. Does that make sense? Like the slot. No one can put a card there because there's no pawns on it. So I think I've secured that line completely. Oh wait, he's got two pawns on the top right. He could put something there that's stronger. So I could be fucked. Shit. Okay. Um, I need to make more. I I think I've fucked up. <laughs> I think I've done. I think I've done fucked. Yeah, I've done fucked. I've done fucked. I can't play any cards. Shit, I think I'm done. Okay, what does that do for him? Um, I still can't play any cards, can I? I can't shuffle them away. I think I'm done. I don't know how done he is. He's also done. Yeah, it's done. So I got the first two lines, which should be enough, yeah. I screwed myself over really quickly because I didn't take the Tetris thing into account. I need- you need to place pawns down, otherwise you can't make- you can't put any cards down. Raise the power of the allied cards and affected tiles by two while this card is in play. Yeah, that's a good card. Okay. I did- I did, Jeds. I mean, it didn't fuck up too badly, but I could have done better than that. Speaking of... You look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's, it's, it's a really heavy sword. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. Was he here for my earlier stream? Is that why he's banging on about crying? Because I told people on the stream earlier on today that I can't cry when I play video games? I feel like he's, he's calling me out. All right, we defeated one person. I can see another sign. Have you heard of Queen's Blue? These two are floating. Is she floating? I'm gonna skip that. All right. Um, I would like to switch one of these out for the fancy new card that I got. Um, how do I do that? Triangle. Yeah, I want to use this one. You cannot include more cards. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I'll get rid of something else. I'll get rid of something else. I'm good for it. I'm good for it. I'm gonna get rid of one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Did that work? I feel like it worked. Um, start. Alright, <laughs> let's take out the kids first. <laughs> let's make them suffer. 
All right, what have we got? We've got three one cards. Yeah, this is fine. I'm fine with this. Let's go. So glad they've got a visual for this. That's really cool. Yeah, you think you know what you're doing. You think you know what you're doing. I'm coming for you. Alright, alright. Um... <sighs> put a one there, and that should give me a space in the middle up there. Ooh, he put a four card there. What is this? This card has no power. Can I look at it? No, I'd like to zoom in and look at the cards. Um, one takes a three. That's expensive. That would give me a three slot, I think. Yeah, it would. Or maybe I should save it for that. Yep. Let me. Tr I want to take the middle if I can, but they might take it in the next turn. I'm not sure. So I'm thinking about just letting them have the middle line, which seems bad, actually. The middle line seems like it's a bad thing to lose. Ooh, I could sneak ahead though, couldn't I, as well? Try this. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna take the middle. Fair. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna go with... Have I lost the top one already? I don't think I have. I'll, I'll fight them. I'll fight the top one. I'm saving the ones on the left because I know that they can't go there, you know? So there's no rush for me to place something specifically there unless I want the abilities. So my idea is I'm trying to bleed over to their side as quickly as possible because I think that'll stop them from using any of the cards. I'll put this one here. What does that do? Raises the power of the allied card. Ah, it's not an allied card, unfortunately. So me putting it there wouldn't be the smartest thing in terms of using his ability. But maybe it's fine, because what else am I going to do? Because I'd like to save this one card for later to make this into a three. So maybe I should just use this now then. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> 100 IQ move. I'm, honestly, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't tell people my thought process because I, like I said, I always have a, I, I plateau on these things pretty hard. I, I'm not very good, even when I play chess, I really enjoy these kind of games. But I, I struggle to think too far ahead. I'm always like maybe two steps maximum. I think I'm kind of fucked here. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. So this thing can increase by two. So that would give me that would give me two, three, and four. If I put all these cards down correctly. Or I can use this one which will give me two. And then another one... Which would give me one. No, my original plan was better. Original plan. Oh, so I should have switched the order though. Okay, I did mess up a little bit. Oh, I think I'm fucked. I lost. God damn it. I, I put so much brain power into this one and I lost. Can we restart? Yeah, we can. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let's restart this one. Do we have the same card as before? Yeah, we do. Okay. Add play Moo at the top left. Yeah, maybe I should have put Moo at the top left. You might be right, actually. Oh, hang on. I, I know why it's loud. Two seconds, two seconds. There we go. Oh, does that mean the redeems weren't going through the right place before? Oh, some of them do, don't they? Some of them don't. Sorry, I was watching. I, I flipped over the the audio for the TV. All right, let's try this again. Um. Mm, that one. Let's go. Okay, I've got a new idea. It's <laughs> got a new idea. It's like the old idea. It's not gonna work though. I need to encroach further on the right and then go down. Is that possible? Um, no, not exactly. 
I, I would like to use this to the full extent that it can do, but I can't. Unless I make that one the two? How would I make that one the two? Put this one first. No, not that one. Yeah, maybe this one. And then I could put two up there, which would give me... No, that wouldn't make any sense. It'd do nothing. Hmm. What if I do this? Ah! Ah! It's not that complicated. <laughs> Stop complaining, expecting you listen to Eurovision songs. Oh, man, Eurovision. Yo, is Eurovision coming back around? When was Eurovision again? Yeah, Oh, we're boycotting it now. Oh, shit. Okay, well. All oh, right. Okay, okay. I'll put this here. This is what I'm thinking. If I put this here, look how much extra peons it gives me. I can use some really powerful cards. Oh, I could use this one. That does nothing. Oh, I can use this one, which puts one up there. Mm -mm -mm. The choices, though. Yeah, I'm sticking with my plan. I don't like the fact that their ca his card starts off on the top left. Rubs me wrong. Alright. I need to put something straight down, if I can. Or straight up. Straight up. Like this. Uh, or straight down like this. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go straight down. The birth of Queen Blood Grandmaster. I can't wait. I just, need to f I just needed to kill this kid first. Although I'm not doing super well here. They've got me kind of snookered up there. Their cards are like fucking fours and twos. My one four card is requires two peons. I should use it more often though. Um, there we go. Give me the two. Give me the two. All right. Then we have this card, which we need to hang on. Did I fuck myself over? No, I can do this. Then... Power up the card directly above. Yeah. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You're gonna love it, Jeds. You're gonna love it. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Is everyone watching? You're gonna love it. I'm gonna put this... No, I'm gonna put this... No, I'm gonna put... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this here. Hear me out, right? And that powers up the thing above it, and it gives me three on the left. And then, I'm gonna put this here, which puts all four of those corners better, which is only gonna be the top left, because I've kind of just given up the bottom right corner. But so is he, so is he. And I've got one move left, one move left, on the top left, and I've got two thingies there. So I can put this badger or one of these, and that would power up the card below it. That would only make it into a five, but that would, that would push me over. You see that? It would push me over. And that means I win every lane. We done did it. We did it, baby. Woo! Oh. Woo! Are you threatening Jeds again? Yo, we got a Cactor! Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three while this card is in play. Sick. Look at that, te that, te that Tetris one confuses me. That one... Yeah, that one's tough. That one, you'd have to put the card on the top left if you want to take advantage of it. Hmm. I know, I know, right? The whole hear me out thing and things go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just as surprised as you are, Jeds. Right. Maybe it's called Queen's Blood because we punch him in the nose afterwards. Yeah, I, okay. That's great. Alright, we're looking for one more person, I guess. That was two out of three. Do we have a map? We do. I don't see a symbol for anyone else who wants to play cards right now. Which is incredibly distressing me. But we haven't explored all the areas yet, so maybe it's just a matter of time. Anyway, that ga card game seems fun. I'm looking forward to playing more of that. Oh, look, it's Tifa. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? 
Oh shit, this is timed. Um Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, Your relationship with Chief What do you mean it's changed? One? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Oh no, it's it's got like telltales you, those characters will remember your choices. Cloud's actions affect his relationship with his allies, and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards clouds, as indicated by a green so symbol such as, oh my god, it's like, like piss-colored smiley and a really cool blue happy. Okay, well. Uh, right now, she is meh. <laughs> Tifa is meh about our relationship. Well, we tried. Uh, what are we doing? <clears throat> oh, so, how do I explain Have you played the original at, at all, Didi? Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which was the game that came out before this, this is a direct sequel to that game, and this is called Rebirth. Essentially, the way to look at it is, this is a remake of the original Final Fantasy VII, but made out into three games, and making a trilogy. Um, I don't want to give you any spoilers, but they're also shaking up the story in some interesting ways. So it's not quite how it's supposed to play out. Hmm, where are we going? Oh, I see a mark for a person who I'm going to beat in, in card game. Hang on. Yep, here we are. We have a child. What the fuck? Oh man, look at this! I could gaze at it all day. All these cardboard boxes in the water. Let's fucking go! Oh my god, we can go in the water. What? What? Okay, if we clog that wheel. Hang on. Hang on. Oh my god, I don't know why they did this. And I don't know why this is so much fun. <laughs> but here we are. There we go. That's what I think about your cardboard boxes. That was my barricade you just destroyed. You have no evidence that it was me. Come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. What'd you say to me? <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. I don't think I asked Slept for your name. Wall. I yield to no one. Refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Listen, Zafina, I might be new to this to this game, but I am the master of Queen's. What's this called again? Queen's blood. Uh, I want to edit the deck. I want to add. Oh, we have another one of these. Oh, we had two of them. Uh, I would like to add that, that as well. Was that a one card? Yeah, it was. And then I'm gonna remove this one. And we need to remove a few more. Um, 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 um. We'll take one of those out. They're a bit complicated to use. <laughs> Bless you, Spec. I'm gonna remove one of these. No, I don't want to. One of. No, I don't want to. One of these. There we go. I probably have a really unbalanced deck now. Fuck. Uh, let me tell you which Final Fantasies I've played. M -m 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 <laughs> zero. Oh yeah, Type Zero was a great Final Fantasy. One of my favorites too. I'm kidding. I never actually played much of it. Um, the, I mean, every Final Fantasy game. You probably already know this anyway, Didi. But every single Final Fantasy game is its own thing. So if you've never played Final Fantasy VII, if you went to Final Fantasy VIII, it's fine. You know. But Final Fantasy VII is a very popular one, and there's lots of like offshoots of of it taking place in the same universe. Um, and uh, yeah. As in, you know, they're the making a trilogy now of seven. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm totally with you. I'm totally with you, Diddy. You haven't played any of them. I totally get you. I was just messing with you. But as in every single Final Fantasy game, it's its own self-contained game. There's some caveats there to do with, like, sequels. Like, there's Final Fantasy X and ten two, right? But generally speaking, if you wanted to jump in at Final Fantasy at any point, if you went to Final Fantasy VI, for example, you don't need to play the, the prior five. Or if you went to ten, you don't need to play the prior nine. So if you ever were eager to try them out, don't worry about which one you jump into particularly. Maybe not the MMO one, because it's an MMO, unless that's what you wanted. 
Uh, are you trying to make a professional twat build that's going to put all these boxes into place now? Never. I never played any FF either, but I still looked this long neck PNG YouTuber play one of them. Yeah, you did. We played a lot of Final Fantasy 16. That was fucking incredible. Final Fantasy 16 is a great one, DD. I, I recommend that one. Uh, I think these cards are fine, right? I feel like these aren't fantastic, but we'll use them up quickly. So I feel like using this off the bat, right there, get those two things going, is, is a good start. And I want to stick another one next to him to get some more pawns going at the top. Um, bang. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, all right. And then I'm going to stick this one here. I've got an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. Trying something different here. Ah, oh, fuck, he's going to take that space if I don't take it now. Um... Oh, I can't place it there now. Oh, one of my pawns erases their pawns. I didn't know that was the rule. Uh, I guess I do this then. I'll put the pawn back in there. That's mine now. Yeah, I guess that's how it works. Okay. In that case, I need to put a pawn down there then. Um. Shit. Shit. I think I'm fucked. Yeah, he completely just fucked me over. Damn it. Uh, he basically just took the top one and the bottom one. So I think he's won me in this one. I should probably restart. I'll watch it play out a little bit just to see if I'm right. But I think I just fucked myself over. Ah, it's not great, is it? I keep thinking, in my brain, it makes perfect sense to run ahead and try to take over as many spaces as possible. But that hasn't worked for the two times that I've tried it. It's blown up in my face each time. Yeah, I've lost this one. Yeah, then I'd pass and they'd get the bottom one. Okay, let's try again. So if they put um, a piece down and my pawn is already there, their pawn will replace it. I need to keep that in mind. Um, okay. Okay, I like this card a lot, but maybe I should push ahead with something like this. Yes. Okay, another mistake I made before, the security officer. I used him at the beginning because I thought it'd be a good idea to get a pawn above and below me. But at the start of the game on the left-hand side, you already have a free pawn. So it didn't actually do anything for me. Yeah, that was that's my fault. I should have should have saw that coming. Um I am racing ahead again, Anna. I'm doing the same thing I did before. <laughs> um if I can make that one stronger, I'll be in a good standing. Let me see. Um Wow, look at this one. It makes the one all the way down there stronger. It's kind of wild. Let's try this. Okay, now my plan is to stick uh, the sweeper up here, which will give me a two in the middle. Yep. If he puts something to the right of that two, it might fuck me over. He's not. He went down. That was a good idea from him, actually, because now he's fucked up that card from me to the side. Oh, and he fucked up the card next to it. He fucked me up in both ways. Right, okay, so if I want to get that card back, I have to, um... Oh, man, I think he snookered me. I think he got me. Okay, so I'm going to do this to get that bottom card back, but it's not going to be enough. He basically has got the whole top region to himself now. And there's very little I can do about it. Yeah, that won't affect anything. That's not going to help me. Um, that's not going to help me. Yeah, all I can do is place this one. Interesting. Okay, so running out and spreading myself thin just makes it easier for him to just pick apart, pick me apart with pawns. There's like two different games happening at the same time. There's one with the cards and the points, but there's another one going on with the pawns. I apologize for anyone wanting to come here to watch Final Fantasy VII, the video game. I'm just going to play this card game until we're done. 
Um, remove that. I'm going to try to race forward a little bit, but I need other ones to do it. All right. Let's start with this one. Okay. I want something on the bottom that will give me like a two somewhere else. Oh, maybe this would be better. See, if I wait for him to come a little bit more forward, this would be a good way to push back with my own pawns as well, you know? Hmm. I've got so many twos here that are going to be you. All of these are twos. I've, I, maybe I'm a bit screwed. I'm not sure. Um, if I do this one, it'll power that and give me another one there, which could give me this one, which will power up to two. Um, if I do this one, that won't do anything. If I do this one, that won't do anything. Okay, let me try that. So my plan is now, I've put that one on the top left. If I use the security officer next to the wolf thingy, it'll turn the thing above it into a two. Wow, what's that card that he used? That's so cool. And I'm going to use that to, um... Use another security guard. No, I should use the two up first. I use the two to do this one. I'll give me a two there. This one? Nah, I'm gonna go with this one. 100%. I'm gonna sacrifice the top one though to do this. Yeah, okay. So now if I put something there that gives me above and below, like this one. Yeah, I'm attacking on two fronts. So he has to decide in this next turn which one he's taking. The top one or the below one. He's took the below one. I think that makes my top one secure, unless he's got a card that affects things diagonally, which I I don't know if they do. Um, okay. Zahira Hira he <laughs> You're good. Right, 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 okay, okay. Actually, I did play FF once, the one's called Evil Land 1 and 2. Hey, Evil Land was fun. I watched Spec play Evil Land. That was the one that kind of went through the ages, didn't it? Of, like, old-school JRPGs and stuff. I like the, um, the gimmick of that one. I got one of them through Piss Plus. <laughs> Sorry, I read that before, DD, and I just read it as PSM Plus. Like, I just translated it in my head. Reference to Shakira's song. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, Zamina, Ima, yeah, 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 I know which one you're talking about. I, I don't know how it goes, but yes. The Waka Waka one, right? Right? A, A, hang on, um. Okay. I don't know how it goes either. This one would give me a two there. I think is what we're gonna do. He can only put one more card down. Yes, he's done. He's done. So it's only me now. And I think I've already won, possibly. No, I need to strengthen the bottom one a little bit more because otherwise they're going to get five points and I'm only... No, I have won. I've won this one. Yeah, I'm done. I won through the pawn game alone, basically. I've stopped Zahira able to put any more cards down because I've, I've dominated using my pawns. There we go. Uh, now that Shakira's work has been butchered, we can confidently move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that we've done God's work, let's continue. Um, so, what's the best way to... I'm, I'm still going to try to mid-max, just because I can. This one definitely needs to go here, because it's my two. They can't do anything, they're going to pass. Yep. And then we have a Cactor. I'll give me six at the bottom. Yeah, it's only just going to be sixes. That'll give me six and a twelve. What would that do at the top? Just a four or a six. Yeah, that's not good to me. So... This one, then. And again, they can't move. And we have a one slot there, which would be... This one would be the best one, I guess. This one wouldn't actually power up anything, would it? No. It would give me a bigger point, yeah. There's a lot of moving pieces to this, but like each individual aspect of it is fairly simple. We did it. Oh, feels good. And we got a new card, the Screamer. It's got, look at that card. Holy shit. Oh, but it costs three pawns? Damn it. Building up the pawn usage is like, really difficult to build up three damn 
possible? How could someone break the I didn't even think about that, Jeds. I guess not. Who are you? Who are Oh no, there is. There you go. What's this for? Raise your Oh, we just raised the rank. Fair enough. Stay hold up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. Isn't it? Even the sturdiest ones might reset. crumble. Right. Yeah, maybe it's reset. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Lady, I'm going to do to you what I did to your last barricade, which is this. That's right. Peace out. Is that a vending machine? Yourself a cutie, huh? Oh, it is a vending machine. Kind of wild. Loveless. Opens uh, 25th of the 6th at uh, 6 p.m. Sick. Can't wait to watch that movie. We've been waiting so long. This is such like a weird mishmash of different cultures. Alright, now that we've done um, the main game, we can we can play the side content, I guess. Um, on the map, we see some green stuff. Ned. Okay. It has a tick sign. And then we've also got the blue symbol. The blue one is like main scenario. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's two things I have to do. Let me just figure out what the... Oh, wait, wait. That's just what we just did. My bad. Like, we just defeated those people. Like, that's ticked because it's done. Right. The destination here. Okay, let's do that then. Wait, where's that destination? I thought it was right here. What? Yeah, why is this not popping up on the map? This is it. Weird. Whatever. Okay, I'll just head towards one of the blue symbols. I don't know which one of these things we can go in. Ah, oh, Eris. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards. Wanna climb the clock tower together? Uh, sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome. So far, the options that pop up, like, we only had two of them, but it seems as though, like, yes, I like you. No, I don't like you. No, I don't like you, but I don't want you to think that I don't like you so harshly. Th those are the three options I keep seeing. Sorry, what did you I'll say to me? I'll catch up with you later, alright? Oh, right. Okay. Whoa, check this place out. Cute. What are you looking at? Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Give me the finest of your beverages. I am over. I am over the age of eighteen. I know what this face doesn't look it. Uh, what was was there an option? I got another tower you could climb up. There wasn't Jed's, unless there was a fourth one that I didn't see. Spend skill points, add Magnata book locations and automats to augment your party's folio. Thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Okay. <clears throat> unlocking skill cores in a character's folio increases their stats or teaches them new abilities. Including synergy. Begin tutorial. Yeah, let's just f f f do it. Okay. Oh, finally. Oh, this is a folio. It's like a leveling up. It's a sphere grid. Okay. I love the way this looks. Look at look at the um, design of this thing. Move over the cards to see what it does for now. Move over to the corner of the top left. Displays the ability and SP cost. Uh, now to unlock the skill car. Hold X. Is that symbol two people, like, gripping arms? What is that symbol supposed to be, Spec? What do you see when you look at that symbol? Is it, like, two people, like, kind of, like, flexing their biceps and then wrapping their arm around one another? That's what I see. Uh -huh. Or is it, like, two fish that are tangled up? 
You see what I'm trying to say? I'm not 100% sure what that symbol is supposed to, is supposed to mean. Can you romance people in this game? I'd go with Tifa so far. I th I, if it's anything like the other Final Fantasy VII game, there are some romancing options um, in the game that I think will affect some light dialogue things. But I don't know how much they've blown this, the, it out in this one. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. I'm going to try to uh, romance Barrett. Uh, he feel, I feel like he needs it. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting a character's strength to suit your own playstyle, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Feel free to experiment with difficult... Unlocked skill cores can be reset at any time and the SP spent will be returned. I love it when video games do that. Um, I think one of my recent examples of this was Warlong, when you were leveling up. Warlong is like a Souls-like, and you could dump your points into different elements. I put a lot of my, my, my dumping into wood, so my wood was like really hard and the rest of it wasn't. But at any point, at any point, I could make my wood more flaccid and like up my fire game, you know what I mean? And there was no punishment. And I think more games should just let you do that. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's What's up, Wills? More to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Sick. Uh, do we actually... Oh, back for back from, I mean, I don't even know why I came in here for the first place. Oh, everyone's got like a different uh, visual book. Neat. They did do that in the previous one. I just forgot about it. So I'm clued right now. Do I have to go to this guy specifically to do this? Not enough SP. Yeah, I see that. Cool. Can I zoom out? Doesn't seem like I can. No, sir, you have a good one. So what about your wood? Oh, not my wood. Well, it's just my wood in uh, Warlong. So I guess, yeah, it is about my wood. I was just, um, I was trying to humbly brag about how good my wood was in Warlong. It was really good. I was all wood. <laughs> Did that, is that how I explained it? I felt like I explained it way less out of context than that. Warlong has definitely blessed us with the most wood quartz that I thought was ever going to grace us. Alright, uh, I did that. Now what do I need to do? I guess the other green thing? Can I go on a first person? Hang on. There might be, um, there might be a, a, a photo mode. Here we go. I wanted a good look at that. What does that say? How do I hide party? I don't think I can zoom in any further than this. Exposure, tilt, angle, camera position. Ah, oh, can't quite make it out. Like if I do it like this and press square. Can you make anything out on that spec? It seems fairly high resolution. I don't think it is like enough, I mean. Ugh, fine. <laughs> My wood was dropping. <laughs> Good times. My wood's never been the same since then, honestly. Ooh, hello. Wait, how do I... I don't think this way is the way to go, right? Ayo, doing a headband, sick. Love headbands. Uh, oh, my buster sword it has significantly less material slots. That makes me sad. I've got cure and fire. That's it? Sass, god damn it. Cloth and that keeps fatigue away. Grants immunity to sleep as opposed to the power one? Nah. I'd rather be stronger and sleep, mate. Thanks. Wow, 
What accent was that? I need to crank up the volume. I'm not picking up what everyone's saying. His father's out here with like a cassette player showing off his son's uh, music concert disc. That's so nice. Oh, that's really sweet. It's definitely bustling, isn't it? I feel like uh, scenes like this in Final Fantasy games were usually exclusive to like uh, pre-rendered cutscenes. Like I think of the beginning of Final Fantasy XII and how they they drew you in with bustling cities and marketplaces and people doing business. I don't think we're quite there with the fidelity of those cutscenes because they're really um, like lavishly produced and very dense and populated. But we're getting there. I would have killed him. <laughs> don't like braggers. <laughs> if his son was there, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for the son to see what we do, you know? kid doing little shit you could hurt someone oh it's just that person who I was playing um, Queen Queen's blood with earlier on yeah carry on it's down here whoa Ooh. <laughs> Atta boy. Make sure you're in for a red. I'm quite impressed with this place. It definitely has like a bustling vibe to it. I feel like some places in Final Fantasy 15 had like a similar vibe. Oh. Oh, Barrett's not too happy with me, is he? No, no time soon then. First one's on me. First one's on me, okay? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't like the fact that it's timed, you know? I know they're trying to pressure you to like, you know, I... I don't... Okay, I'm enjoying this game so far. I think um, the card game is really fun. Aesthetically, I'm happy with everything. The combat feels great. Not happy about the quick time events where you just had to kind of like pull the triggers for no goddamn reason. And I hate dialogue choices like this where they just time it for no reason. Final Fantasy's never been about that, you know? I feel like they just looked at other games like Mass Effect and they're just like, oh yeah, we should make it timed or Telltale and we should make it timed. But they don't think about like why those games have it timed. There's a pacing and there's a pressure thing that they add to those games to make those decisions valuable. I don't think that this game needs to project the same kind of like time restriction thing on it it, d it doesn't i don't know it doesn't add anything to the game to me let me l think about it let me mull over it don't pressure me to make a decision like what does that make me feel you know it's dumb wow Ooh, cat oh no it's not a cat it's it's a jug of oil or something <laughs> I don't know what that's meant to be. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're back here. I'm still angry about games that add a pressure time thing uh, that hasn't been there as a part of the game before. Yep. And isn't clear as really there. Well, it's the thing, isn't it? Like a little gacha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it, they lose the point of why they added the time sensitivity things. It's the same thing with QTEs. I feel like a lot of people put them into games because it's like, oh, hey, they're meant to be in games. If you do QTEs well, they can make you feel like you're a little bit more part of the action. And the cutscene is like made in a way to facilitate them, you know, like I think God of War does it well. But when other people do it, like where they're just adding it on because it's a trendy thing to do, they kind of lose sight of what was the purpose in the first place. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Thank you. You should see my sword. 
But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Whoa, easy. Upgrading weapons. Adjust your weapons. Ready to the equip tree um, to suit your playstyle. Changing a character's weapon will not reset his level. Okay. Yeah, tutorialize me. From the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon and see its stats. Here, you can see your party's current equipment, the weapon level, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. It seems like SP is also used to upgrade that book thingy, so I'm guessing it's a pool that you use for both, maybe? Select Cloud's Buster Sword. A weapon attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Now try equipping a weapon skill. Triangle, the Nord. Okay, similar to Materia. Yeah, it is very similar. Select a weapon. Here you have a list of abilities. You can increase your weapons level. You will learn more skills and lock more nodes, okay? In addition, you can also tweak the skill layout. Materia equipment. Okie dokie. Mm, you can to automatically allocate weapon skills. If the automatically allocated weapon skills works intelligently, I wouldn't mind. And we didn't for auto upgrade settings. Uh, that's really smart to add options like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'll keep it as, um, oh, they've got multiple options as well. That's really cool. As you acquire more weapon skills and nodes, the game will continue to automatically adjust your loadout based on your upgrade settings. For now, this will be set to left and manual. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that a lot. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms deal will have it available for purchase. Oh, that's wonderful. Good. Many of these merchants even stock the latest. Be sure to check out. Okay. The quarry had some cute ease to avoid obstacles, but it was uh, way too easy because it was almost always the same button to use. So it felt completely useless to add those. Gotcha. I guess uh, they didn't want the game to be too narrative and cutscenes based, but man, this is not the way. Yeah, right? Like, I feel like in that point, Jed's like, why don't you give that as an option to people who, um, who want to pick your own adventure, right? So then you could choose to fail it if you want to. But for the people who want an experience where, like, things can happen a little bit more organically, or you can fail because you aren't quick enough, give them a, like, a more stricter thing. There should just be more options, I guess. Yo, I kind of like the way that, I like the way that weapon looks. He's got one. <clears throat> Bangles, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I should probably buy... I don't have enough money for this anyway, right? Buy one of these. You take care of that weapon now. Do my best, good sir. God, there's a lot of these. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using the ability repeatedly or meeting the proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out its proficiency uh, to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. I really like that. This is the sort of thing that encourages you to try out multiple weapons. Uh, even if it's not the best weapon for you to use in the moment, you can then max it out and gain the ability. So it gives a lot of weapons use that you wouldn't otherwise even touch. I like that. It's a, it's a smart move. And uh, as long as you like gaining these abilities at a good pace, it won't be frustrating. All right, in that case, let me equip the new thing that I just got. Um, was it a metal bracer? Yeah, Hunter's Bangle, here we go. And that gives me one extra slot here. So we can add one more materia thing. Um, any material that no one's using? Oh god, everyone's using all the material. Okay, well. Stingy bastards. I'll have to wait then. I love the customization and the options in this. Like, absolutely. Main scenario, I date with Aerith, what? But, um, they can be overwhelming, so I do appreciate when people add options like that. I, I like that about, um, did y'all play Fire Emblem Three Houses? I don't think I ever streamed it. That was before I was streaming. But I like that in that game, you could really customize what mechanics you spent your time doing. So if you really like building relationships and talking to the people and mid-maxing um, 
like all the little tiny dialogue choices and stuff you could and you could automate the battle or in reverse you could automate that other stuff and just focus on the battling alone uh, my problem was i wanted to do everything and it let you do that but it took fucking forever <laughs> never heard of what you mean you never heard of a jeds fire emblem three houses how could you not have you're messing with me Oh, uh, this mount was copied in a way in AC Origins. Oh, didn't AC Origins have, like, a Final Fantasy um, crossover thing? Am I thinking of some other game? I haven't actually played AC Origins. Hi. Yeah, that's cool. They had a chocobo. Ah! That woman walked right through me. She didn't say a word. Let's get started then, shall we? Ugh. Uh. I'm practicing for my uh, anime voiceover gig. Ugh. Ugh. Finally, we're in. Hit hot. Hit hot. Uh. So, um, they say if you go to the top and tell someone how you feel, you'll live happily ever after. Oh, wow. Sorry, but uh, I don't really believe in that kind of stuff. <laughs> I really wish there was a first person mode. Maybe I was spoiled by Kingdom Hearts, but this is really cool. All right, she's really thirsty. Aren't we all? We should all drink. This is cool. This is cool. I think Midgar's this away. Huh? Should be, yeah. Wait, is Midgar still standing? Midgar still standing. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. Shit. <laughs> it was just something about someone who I used to know, Aerith. Take her for granted. Oh, this is gonna be Yennefer and uh, what's the other one called? Yennefer. Triss, yeah, Yennefer and Triss all over again. Can't believe I forgot Triss's name. Which is ironic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jets, I got that in the end. Besides, Yennefer's the only one you need to remember. Is that got like a camouflage thing underneath the belly of that airship, which is like all sandy and muddy? Like, where are you flying that thing? <clears throat> oh, I guess when they land it, it'll be camouflaged. Yo, they're dropping in? Holy shit! Alright, gotta find the crew. Take care of this. None of these guys were invited, and they're making my controller vibrate. Let's go! Can't just walk up in here and make me my controller vibrate. Ooh, hello, this is cool. Right, I've forgotten all the buttons because we I haven't fought in a few hours. What's the buttons again? It's true. It's true. Where is he? Hmm? One of the only reasons why I'm still alive, Jeds. Just waiting for that to come true. Alright, let's fucking go. Well, these people don't seem too fussed. No. I want to fight him. 
Ah, won't let me. Yeah, I love the little, uh, like all these little props and stuff outside of the houses. The tricycle here, the bike. I like it. Moogle! Oh, what's this? Yo, it says have a blast on that. Oh, wow, look at the phoenix down! Spec, look at that! That's so pretty! Yeah! Oh, I love it. It, it, it. Yeah, that's a cushion. What does that do? Allows you to do broken... Allows you to use broken down rest stops? Interesting. I already have five of them. Okay. Oh, he sells materia as well. Could buy... Ooh! Steel materia! Steel materia! Give it to me! Shit, was there anything else I should... <gasps> he sells cards! He sells cards! No! No! I need to sell stuff. Um, 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 headband, grounds immunity to sleep. Yep, selling this. That could come in handy in the future, though. Um, okay, I'm going to sell one of these. I'm going to sell one of these. And I'm going to sell one of these. Okay. Bye. Give me this. And then, oh shit, well, how much do I need? God, I need so much money. Okay, um, um, take one of these. Didn't do very much for me. Take one of these. Uh, take one of these. How much do I have? Uh, 50. I just need 50. I just need 50. Two of these. There we go. I have a problem. I understand. I understand, but you don't understand. Yes, yes, yes. Got my cards. Alright. Uh, I need to equip Flood here with steel. Allows you to take items from enemies with steel. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. I'm gonna steal some shit. I kind of need the money now. Broden's a real bro, eh? I'm gonna have some lovely spicy pork noodle leftovers. Yo! And I'll probably eat uh, a fog fogasse. I love fogasse. Spec, what's a fogasse? Okay. I'm sure Spec would drool at this. The one I have is bread stuffed with cheese and lardons, but it also comes with just olive stuffed into the bread? Oh, man. That does sound really... Like, for Spec, that sounds perfect. Thank you so much for joining me, uh, Jeds. Have a wonderful rest of your day, dude. Enjoy the, the, the noodles and the, um, the fogasse. I assume I'm pronouncing that correctly. Fogasse. Are you Googling it? Yeah? Okay. Looks like a focaccia? Huh. It's like a stuffed bread. Pigeons. I like the way the pigeons are showing you which way to go. I don't think we need to be bent over like this, bro. This is cool, though. I like this environment a lot. Very dense. A lot of things to look at. Feels quite lived in. Staying on my toes. Where are they? 
down below, waiting for you. Oh, it's like um, the avalanche hideout. We'll take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. Oh, that Sheikah player? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Cool. You'll get more use out of it than me. Ten, ten sprigs of something or other. Huh. Cool. Why are you doing this? You could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Am I supposed to know who this guy is? I wonder if he's like another small character from the Final Fantasy. Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. What just happened to him? Uh, from the item transmuter scene in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmuted chips found throughout the world or improve your craftsmanship. Huh. I think that's new. I don't remember that from the previous game. Yeah, sure. Why not? <clears throat> uh, from the main menu, currently transmuter ads are listed here. So this is everything I can make. Increases increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range. Uh, these are the materials that are necessary. Here you can see the requirement. Yeah. Uh, transmuting items will give you experience. Okay, so by transmuting, you'll gain experience to be able to go up your craftsman's level. This is kind of like the um, a simple uh, South uh, Kingdom Hearts recently that I played did this as well. You know, <clears throat> you got to make stuff to get experience to make better things. Potion, yep. Yeah. Thank God we can make another potion. I just sold like three of mine. Uh, through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found in the field or in chests and gained through combat. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Um... I'm wondering if I should set steel as a um, shortcut command. Oh, you made it all in one piece. Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh, what? Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> hang on. Is this like a like a four-way triangle? <laughs> Wait, hang on. That's not what I meant. Is this a square? Now, let's move. I'm just going to romance Red 13, I've decided. Yeah, these environments, these small, like these closed corridors look great. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. I was gonna walk past the chest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a huge fan of them forcing me to walk on these occasions. Ooh, that's something for me to read. No.
Grasslands. Just look at it all. It's so green. It's cool. Give me some Xenoblade vibes. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I'm sure I know what the, what he was banging on about. Back anytime soon. Guess not. Good job we bought those cards. Let's go. Lego. And there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Adjust your battle party from the combat settings. You can create up to three preset parties to swap between while exploring the world. Open the command menu and press L1 or R1 to swap parties. Uh, press the trackpad to open the map and get your bearings. While story markers and discovery markers will be automatically added to the map, you can place your own pin by pressing the right stick. For now, head to the farm Broad and spoke off as marked by the orange pin, okay? Cool. That's a, I feel like there's a lot of things opened up. And you can pick up grass. Sweet. Uh, materials required to transmute items can be obtained while out in the world exploring. Um, procured from combat approach at Chocobo tack, tack shops. If you're ever in a need for specific material, take note of its symbol as it may point you in the right direction. Okay. Obtain the world drop by enemies. Hard to come by symbol. Okay. Furthermore, pressing the trackpad and the item transmute it, and menu will reveal more information about it. Okay. Oops, sorry. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's let's go. Oh, okay. Um, buttons, 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 buttons. Lock on. Lock. Yep. How do I steal? How do I steal? Okay, I've definitely got to set that as a shortcut. How do I check that? Um, combat settings, I guess? Cloud. Shortcuts, here we are. We don't have anything in X. Perfect. Um, all about HP, assess, I change, steal. Cool. Synergy inputs. It feels like there's a lot of things in this. Yeah, so that must mean that at any time now I can hold. I think I need to be in combat. Um, this looks nice. Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. 
How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours can't. Huh. Can I go up here? I can. That's kind of neat. Wow. Wow, this looks really big. Huh. <clears throat> There's an island off there as well. You see that? Can I swim? This looks really good. <laughs> as far as like open worlds go, this is not what I was expecting actually. I, I thought it was going to look a lot worse. I don't know why. It's pretty good, isn't it? I like it. There's something very highly detailed about it. <clears throat> yeah, the idle animations are cool. Oh, he's really stretching. Can we, can we? Oh, we can. We can just jump. I don't know if there's fall damage. I don't think he would jump otherwise. It's not that kind of game. You can't just freely jump, you know? It's like a dash. Oh, well, a dodge roll, I guess. I wonder if I can walk into areas that I shouldn't be, you know? And have enemies that are just completely going to destroy me. I'm curious. Card shop, excuse you? No, it's locked. No. The door's locked, it's a card shop. Spec, it's a card shop. I just want cards. It will be back, I guess. Can I mark this, or is it going to be marked now? As a thing. Yeah, it looks like it's marked as a thing. As we need to have an intervention. I, I'm good for it. I'm good for it, Wills. I just one more card. Just one more card, buddy. I'm good for it. It will if I have anything to do with it. Ooh, hello. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I don't have ATB right now. Ooh. There we go, now I do. Steal. Yeah, feel, fail to steal. Sick. Steal. Chunk of iron, oh, sick. When the throws within the throes of battle, the entity slumbering within an equipped summoning material may begin to stir, prompting the summon gauge to appear. When this gauge has completely filled, you can call upon its uh, de deer form, deity form, deer form, deer form entity for assistance. Oh yeah, I forgot that's how this game worked. You, ca you can't just summon, you know. You have to build a thing. Or maybe that's the one I already stole from. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It feels good. It feels snappy. I'm going to upset a lot of people by saying that I think uh, Final Fantasy XVI's combat was still better. <laughs> I really enjoyed Final Fantasy XVI's combat. Although I will say, it's nice to have other party members now, so I'll be able to switch through and play as other characters, which will be nice. Add some variety that way. But I really liked Final Fantasy XVI, so... What is that? We're going over there, we're going over there! Water! I wonder if there's a fishing minigame. I should probably save as well, shouldn't I? Um, because you can do a manual save. Yeah. I wish this was a little snappier, like 20% faster. 
Ooh, stuff. Oh man, I'm really impressed with the way this looks. Like, look at the distance off in there. That looks great. I wasn't expecting it to be this uh, densely packed. Maybe I've spent too much time in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I forgot what video games can look like in an open world um, environment. God, can you imagine a Pokemon game that looked at like half of what this looks like? Ah, uh, one day. Maybe with the Switch too, huh? Alright, which way are we going? I mean, not this way, but I'm going this way because I want to know what that is over there. Cool. God, I hope there's uh, fun ways to traverse this land. Um, I think there's chocobos. Yeah, chocobo flying? Okay. I'm super impressed with this. Look. Yeah, but I couldn't tell if it was uh, a chocobo flying or just like chocobo falling with grace, you know? There's a difference. Who's this lady? If only there was some way to get it moving again. Okay, cool. I got a grenade out of that. Oh, I guess she's working on these windmills trying to get them moving again. Oh god. There's a bit of jank with manipulating yourself in these environments because you don't have a jump button, right? So you're kind of just hopping and hoping that there's something context sensitive there. Not supernatural. Not supernatural, there's a gap there. Super natural. There we go. House! Oh no, I wanted to go on the roof. Oh, we can. Yeah. Roof, roof, was, roof was met. Now we need to get down. Ooh, hello. Yep, we need that. I'm gonna take these. There we go. You saw nothing. What a tribe. T did I say titanium? Did we just pick up titanium? Probably pronounced titanium, isn't it? Wait, is that happening because I'm clicking in the button? Hmm. Cows! What's up, bro? Okay, we can't kill them. Thought this is going to be like a Witcher 3 deal. But we kill both of them and then like that mad cow protector thing pops up. Can't pet them either. Makes me sad. Yo! You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Oh, I see the bench, though. You see the bench? What are these things? What is this? Oh, it's a terminal for the folios. I feel like they should just let you do the folios whenever. Don't see a, a massive reason why this is um, specific locations only. Okay, so we've got an error thing there. What's this? Wind current. Oh, expanding MP. Hmm. This way. Form a range attack with your partner. Activate in sequence to trigger three hit combos. Can use while airborne. That works with... Looks like Barrett and Red 13. Can I start at some other node or not? No, it doesn't look like it. Not enough. What's that say? Not enough SP. Right. 
maximum HP is over there, which seems like a good thing to get first. But I'm gonna get this one. Yep. Yeah. Barrett's got 10 to buy. He's got uh, an ability here with a red 13. Temporarily 3 charge ATB gauge. What's this way? Team up with your partner, take a strong defensive stance. Cool. I think I'm going to unlock all of the partner stuff as quickly as possible, just because I haven't really decided what kind of party mechanics I'm going to have, just to have them all available so I can accidentally do them. Increase max. Max HP is a good shout as well. Nothing wrong with that. What are these things? That looks pretty. Yeah, those things can wait, I feel. Go down this way, get this. Thirteen. What's he got? Team with your partner. Yep. And then this is like just with one other person with Barrett. Yeah. That one and HP seems like exactly the same thing. Get next Tifa. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, partners again. And this way, who's this with? This is exclusively with Clud. Try that. Unlimited MP temporarily. That sounds cool. Damage you by unique attacks. Unleash ice. Let's do this one. Alright, and then we've got Aerith. Partner one here. Partner one with Tifa. Cool. Um, Let's do this one first. With MP. That's everyone, I think? Yeah. This is just to buy things, right? Vending machines offer various things, yeah. Oh, this is on a... The cushions are on a discount. That's nice. Lord knows I might need them. So, I can't rest on this without a cushion? Or can I? Yeah, that didn't take a cushion. We're good. Alright, where are we heading to next? Find a place to lie low until the heat blows off. Okay, I guess just somewhere in here. This guy did mention some place, didn't he? Swamp's your best bet for now, right. Oh, there is a marker all the way over there. Holy shit, it wants me to go all the way down here? Huh. Uh cool. I I guess let's 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 go. Oh, before we leave, is there anyone who wants to play cards with me? And y'all wanna play some cards? No? Yeah, the tragic backstory is great. Do you want to play cards, though? Excuse me, do you... Hang on. None of these people want to play cards. Spec, none of these people want to play cards with me. Spec. Oh, man. I know, what, like, what are they doing here, then? It's a point in humans. Uh, there's a big building here. Someone in here might know, know, might know what a card is. I think I can even get in this fucking place. Jesus Christ. You like cards, right? Ugh, useless. I leave this village empty-handed and sad. As not one among them knew what a card was. over here. Another house, another chance. Oh. Alright, fine, fuck it, let's go. Thank 
Okay, what is my relationship with water? Can I, can I just... I can. I can just. Fish! Fish! Oh, we're all swimming. Cool. Oh, I can't help but imagine what like a Final Fantasy X might look like, you know, like this. They'll eventually remake Final Fantasy X. I'll be here for it. Well, well. Oh my God, it's Bill. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy. Yeah, ten was super again. linear. Yeah. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. The beard game on this game. That is. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. Yeah, I feel like there's some stuff they could do to Final Fantasy X if they had another crack at it. You uh, know some place we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh, <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> Excuse you, Bill. The swamplands. You'll find an abandoned. <laughs> Have you seen his top. chest hairs? <laughs> All right, cheers, Bill. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. No, I haven't used the cushion yet. I'm not even sure exactly what it does. Is it like a portable bench? I think we're gonna we're gonna find like we're gonna find fucked up benches or something and then use it on those. <clears throat> we already saw a bench. I just used the bench as it was. Oh, hello. Uh, use assess on a weapon to... Uh, sorry, a weapon. An enemy to reveal its elemental weakness as well as effective strategies you use against it. Exploit those for pressure. Absolutely, mate. If you recommend it, then we should probably go for it. Let me hit it first. I mean, these are ice. It's probably going to be fire, isn't it? Heals me. Okay, time to assess. Um, is it an ability? Let's do it right. Uh, weakness against um, fire and ice? Interesting. Like the weakness will pressure them, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What can we steal? Stealable items, beast born. Cool. None of these chaps know how to do magic, do they? I need a magic user. Barret know any spells? Barret knows thunder. Red 13. I can't even check until I've got a thing. Alright, uh, red 13 has bio. I have fire. Need a light. Need a light. <laughs> He's so cool. Stagger. Okay, steal. That's what we're here for. Lock on. Lock. There we go. Uh, pressing one of the four action buttons while guarding with R1 will execute a synergy energy. Uh, of these... Oh shit, I might have done that by accident. Function differently may require you to hold down the corresponding button to tap the book succession. Jesus Christ, there's so much here. These commands do not consume ATB, but rather help fill parties. Have yeah, the first time with Cloud with improved his relationship with his teammate. Jeez, okay. So, bullet smash, I guess. Right, so they don't consume ATB. Hmm. Go 
Ooh, hello. Oh, easy, easy. Steal, baby. Steal. Hang on, not that one, not that one. Uh, ability... Steal. Steal, steal. Can we do it again? Cool. Keep getting my, um, my triggers and my buttons all messed up still. Ooh, hello. Should keep heading in the direction that we should be heading in. Whoa. These trees look good. How's trees go? Whoa, what are these? What the fuck? Hang on. I want to assess. A moo. Oh, it's a moo. Like, we have a card of one of these, don't we? Herbivore creatures that prefer grassy areas. Hitting them with powerful attacks. Uh, we'll make them flinch, okay? Oh, whoops. Okay, hold this one, steal. Now I'm too much luck with the steal. Yeah, how do I do the air TV thing? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'm. Oh, I get it. I get it. Fun. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh my god. Right, so using that ability, I guess it's not as good as maybe both of us attacking individually, but it helps build ATB. I wonder why I defaulted to uh, Barrett and Red 13. Oh, this place is nice. I really like the fog. A purple thing? Is that a chest? Oh, the one kidding. This is very swampy, isn't it? Yeah, we made it. Sleek Saber. Is that the one that was on sale? Um, where do I go? Equipment? Cloud, Buster. That was the one that was on sale. Sick. Okay. Um, yeah, we should use it. It's better. It automatically put over our two materia. We also have a slot here for another materia. So I don't think I've got any extra materia to equip. We don't have a weapon skill. We have ATB charge up. And we have unrelenting punisher. Increase the number of consecutive slashes. Strong attack and punisher. Um, hmm. I like this one for now. What was that noise? No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junai. 
Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Oh, yo, the Midgard Swarmer! But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing. Oh my god, I know where we are in the Final Fantasy 7 game. Just give Phil <laughs> a word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> so, yeah, I I was so stubborn at this point in the original game. I stayed until I could kill it. It was a pain in the ass, but it's an optional boss in the original game. You just meant to run past it. Right, I need to save and then I need to see if I can trigger the boss fight. Um, oh, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what happens. Gotta get chocobos, man. It literally won't let me, okay. All right, where we're we going, I guess. So now I have a scale in my head about how big this area is meant to be, because in the original game you left Midgar, which I guess Midgar is like over here or something, or just out of frame of here. And then I remember you had to go right and then down, and there was like a whole line. I guess this is what it's representing, like a swamp that was in the way that you had to get to the other side of. Um, this is a very small part of the entire map then. Going by what I remember of the original Pharmacy 7. Oh, I see him. Shame there's no like sneaky sneaking mechanics or something like that. Fucking go. Firebolt, cool. Let's finish this. Hell yeah. Steel! Steel! Natural spring, that's the water attack, yep. So from here, I should probably use the R1 and this. To attack from a distance. Yep. Cool beans, cool beans! Slowly getting the hang of the combat. <clears throat> oh, stop. Oh, look, spec. This is this is like a bench that you use uh, a thing on. Uh, while many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into disrepair, the benches are mostly intact. If you use a cushion, you can sit down for a rest, which will fully replenish your HP. Yeah, so you have to use a cushion. I don't need to use one, though. Unless you want me to for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of funny to take out a cushion. It's kind of Japanese, isn't it? <laughs> Show no 
Steal. Whoa, easy. Okay, which way is it? This way. Now that I've played a bit of it, I wonder if some of the options in the menu will make more sense to me. Active, cursor, position, out of battle, forget, forget. Commands, issue, out combat, issue, and commands, command menu. Party member info display. Out of command shortcuts. Combo targeting. Uh, enable target switching while performing a combo. Ah, I'll leave it as that is. Minimap. Keep the minimap fix. Have the minimap rotate with the camera. I think I want to keep that static. We'll see. Tracker minimap. Oh, interesting. Minimap at the top right of the corner. I'll expand the huge map. Let me try the minimap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Display area. Interesting. Minimap display area. Dialogue and speaker. Yeah, yeah. Terrain action guide. Hmm. Trigger effect level of force and tension with L2, R2, okay. Hey, we got a mini map instead. And we can fix it so it doesn't rotate. Huh. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. It's kind of cool that it's got both options. I'll try this one for a bit. So by default, this is what kicks in when you're in a town, I guess. But when you're out in the world, they give you the other one. blocking that I was not. Some enemies will occasionally bind your party members on blockable attacks. If your character is bound and unable to act, quickly switch to a different character using up or down. Red 13 can definitely take down enemies with his razor sharp claws and fangs. Press square to swipe at falls or hold it down to unleash a whirling slash. Successfully guarding against attacks fills the vengeance gauge which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance mode. Increasing his attack power and dodge speed. Vengeance mode can be activated at any time, but will last longer according to how full the gauge is. Let's fucking go, Red 13. Interesting, I didn't expect his range to be so much lesser than... He's not. He's not. He didn't. <laughs> Did you hear that shit? Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, my God. They got Barrett to do it? Oh, that killed me. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Ooh, stuff. Victims! Yeah. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks, allowing him to strike enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Hold down square to release a sustained burst of automatic fire. Press triangle will unleash his powerful overcharge ability, greatly refueling his ATB. Press triangle again to charge the depleted gauge. Pressing triangle after using an ability for a standard attack will greatly fill the overcharge. Okie dokie! The game will end when all party members hit you. Hang on, did someone die? Why is it telling me that? And Cloud's low on HP. Why is Cloud low on HP? Cloud, I let you go for like half a second. Sort your shit out, man. Steel sin for the strike. Do 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 do. Pom 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 pom. 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, you know what music's about to kick in, don't you? Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? Anywho? You the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Oh my god, he's beautiful. Are we ever. Need him to get through the swamplands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? I wasn't really. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working choker. I... Nature's two-legged... I'm not sure about this Bill guy. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Your grandson... Bill, your grandson called Billy? Oh, okay. <gasps> Look at them, it's so beautiful. Look at him. Who's majestic? You majestic. Hi. Hello, Bob. I'm sorry, Cloud can't make eye contact with anyone. Don't take it personally. Alright, what are we doing? Billy, right. Howdy! It's on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Yeah, actually, I spent it all on cards. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens... I don't like Billy either. The other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one yeah, I think we're creepy enough. We could do it. Comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kids are born businessmen. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Okay. Well, before we head off, let me steal a bunch of stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, Lynn! Good morning! How you doing? Welcome in. What did I just pick up? A staff. I assume that's for Aerith. Yeah. about my brother 
All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Oh. Hey, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. How could you tell? And do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well. How long have I been streaming? But... Not long. Um, was it like two hours? Yeah, just two hours left. Probably the Sector Six slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone. I thought it was like, no, no, just two hours, two hours. Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Wait, what secret? I don't think I was oh. paying attention. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Bristol greens! Come back once he's had a taste. Right. How did you pronounce it again, Spec? Is it gristle? Billy will Gissel? A bit if I don't at least try to mm. get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. A ranch's tack shop will have chocobo gear for sale. Uh, which can only be traded for golden plumes. These are rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Cool. Okay. I'm doing alright, Lynn. A little bit tired because we had to get up extra early because we were um, babysitting a puppy today for quite a bit. But otherwise, doing alright. How are you doing? Uh... Cool. Okay. Trade. Ah, uh, whoa. Shinra avian helmet, uh, breastplate, and greaves. Like a whole. My ass hurts. Uh huh, spec. Uh huh. Yeah, we stuck some pictures in the Discord <laughs> of Puppy. Oh, I just woke up. I'm preparing to go to a career fair on Saturday. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I hope that goes well. A cap? I, what, what do you mean? What did I? Why would your assumption be that I did something? Jeez. Spec, set him straight. <clears throat> I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. New discovery made. A. Oh, what's this? Ooh, ladder. Nothing there. Ah, another chest. Oh, I wish that was that's a two. Moogle medal. What does that mean? Who's a good chocobo? Oh my god. I did not do that. Oh, this is not on me. Oh boy. I need to leave. We're gonna look for some tracks. We're gonna hunt down this chocobo or pico. I'm gonna make it my own. Eeky, eeky, eeky. Yeah, we don't really have great uh, office chairs, do we? Maybe we should invest in something. Uh, I just had a depressive depression nap, followed by a depression shower. Might order a depression for lunch. If I'm feeling fancy. I'm so sorry that you were followed by uh, a trio of depression activities, Cap. I, I think the depression lunch, though, might be a decent shout. What, what were you thinking? Because if a depression um, lunch makes you feel better, mate, I can do it. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's the bench. The bench. The bench. <clears throat> I feel very bloated today. I think the food that we had, it was good, but it was kind of bloaty. Oh, we've got five more of these. Can't be asked right now, but I'll come back and do it soon. Oh my god, Cloud! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! But the things that you can interact with this with this world freak me out. All right, we're looking for tracks, I guess. Uh, 
I have two things marked on the map. Oh, this one. Then another one that's like... Wait, where's that one leading off to? You all see that shit, right? Oh my god. Okay, well... Let's go this way. I don't think I'm going the right way. I'll head back and figure out what I'm supposed to do. Let me fuck these guys up first. Where's out of here? Alright, I'm, I'm looking for um, chocobo tracks. Maybe that is kind of pointing me in the right direction. Who knows? I'll see if there's anything else I was supposed to gleam. <clears throat> <laughs> I hear you have to wrangle yourselves a wild chocobo. That's, That's it? That's all he's going to say? How do I find? How do I catch? Tell me about the riding gear. How do I find? Start by looking for fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. How do I catch? Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet. Right, you said that last time. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Good luck wrangling Pico. So I just walk around aimlessly until we find tracks. Got it. If I'm feeling full, at least I'm feeling something. Am I right? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I, I've, I've definitely had more days where I've just yearned for just potato out and do nothing. So will I know when I come across the tracks? Wait, are these tracks? These are tracks. Yeah, it doesn't explicitly say anything to me. Okay. I respect it. Let's follow. There's some big ass tracks. Big oh, there he is. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. <laughs> go bag us a chocobo, baby. Oh my god, there's so many. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to <clears> startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack makes, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract Chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 and M and square to throw. How do they crouch like that? Oh, he's just crouching himself. I can't believe there's a stealth segment in this. Okay, so... I'm getting very close to this chocobo, Anna. So, hang on, I'm a bit confused. Am I trying to get to the, to the grass behind it? I am, right? Can I roll or not? I'm gonna roll. Wait, what the fuck happened to that thing? Oh, he just fell asleep. The other two fucked up quickly, didn't they? Totally did. They just left me on my own. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll my heart out when I get when he turns around. Turn around, turn around. Yeah, I picked up some rocks. Such a weird minigame. Alright, so fuck, he's looking dead at me. <laughs> Alright, Cloud, stop moving for a second, mate. Um, I just throw a rock at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess I've only got three, haven't I? So I should probably lob it like that.
There we go. Is that what you wanted? Good bird. <laughs> Alright, nailed it. Oh my god. Look at the size of that goddamn turnip. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar, totally. What is this music? What does he want now? Still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> Back to the ranch it is then. What is this remix chocobo theme? Oh my god, that thing can fucking move. Shit, should we catch another one while we're here? Yeah, it was specifically that one. I, I how do we? Hi. <laughs> yep, that's a that's a butt. Um, how do I tame you? Oh, not like that. Fear me. Be mine. All right, I'm gonna do the chocobo dance. I'll hide, you won't be able to see me in here. Whatever, okay, you know what, I'm heading back. Uh, I had a good day yesterday, but today I feel uh, all my energy was sapped by the puppy. Yeah, puppy took a fair bit of energy, but she was adorable. So we are the same. Chocobot! Don't kill the chocobot. Oh, I would never, unless they look at me funny. Oh, unless I'm really hungry. I assume chocobo tastes like chicken. This 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 remix song is so unsatisfying. I just want it to be normal. And it should try to chocobo rush me then, right? Right? It asked for it. is a feather out of place got one healthy bird here enough to ride sure though i wouldn't try till he's done eating once he's out of spill though i'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him this ain't that right i'll need to prep his gear and all that so why don't you wait outside oh hey there it's the kid what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, Chadley. How could I forget? You Everyone's favorite Final Fantasy me, character. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the, from the first game. You did the VR thing. Yeah, I remember you. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your yeah, no worries. Your intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? You reading my mind? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. Uh-huh. But yes. Though, I'd like you to <laughs> don't put words in my mouth and don't call yourself a weirdo. Yeah, let me do that. ...by the Republic of Juno, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world... Uh, are these going to be Ubisoft towers? ...the more my towers? Power will grow. I feel like they're Ubisoft towers. ...area I 
and survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something I have no like idea that. what's happening. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. What kind of plastic peripheral bullshit is this? As the towers close a Chad by, module? To accompany you. Slap him with it, Cloud. Cloud, Cloud, slap him with it. We're, we're lying low. We're trying to get to the other side of the swamp, but we need a chocobo to do that. So that's why we're here. Because we need to leave Midgar and go on a dimension. Svex, stop asking me questions, all right? I'm I'm Cloud. I'm on a mission. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. I may have thought it, but it might not be true. But I didn't say it exactly, Cap. It's fucked up, man. I was like, who is, he talk who is talking? Because this person is talking a lot. This kid is talking a lot. <laughs> In the first game, he had like these VR missions that you did, like virtual reality missions where you fought a bunch of summoning things. They were really tough and you wouldn't lock cool stuff that way, I believe. Now, I guess they're kind of repurposing him to do some Ubisoft open world shenanigans, I guess. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me just use this Chad module. Uh, to be fair, if you're talking to Cloud, you're carrying the majority of the conversation, a thousand percent. Cloud, Cloud's, like, fucking social skills are absolute bollocks. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. So his mission is now to just survey. Oh. All right. Consideration. I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Uh-huh. Okay, well, Charlie will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulators. Simulation, sorry. And embark on other scientific endeavors. Okay, so he's still going to do the combat simulators. That's what I meant by VR, by the way. The combat simulators. Activate the Remna Wave Towers you encounter and help chat to deepen your understanding of the world. Cool, okay, yeah. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant <clears throat> data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. <clears throat> but before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, sure. Yeah. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? The towers, I guess. These towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. Uh, this is the they first time I'm seeing this game. I never played Final Fantasy VII, so I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, right. Uh, this game just came out today, Lynn. And rare natural phenomena. Um, the the 20, 29th, right? Sorry, he's talking a lot. Do you happen to have any questions? Uh, I, I, I read through these things in case there is something novel that he has to say to me, but I'll, I'll skip through these really quickly. Hang on. With a special pair of goggles, you can do the battle location combat stuff, combat simulator. Combat simulator. And fret yeah. not, I'll keep it up to date with keep it. I will also date. endeavor to implement all of the summit. In fact, well, after pouring over stories from I have finished implementing a new one. The tower of the Titan, cool. At your leisure. Do you happen to have any? Okay, last one. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Oh my god. Um. Okay, let me explain Final Fantasy VII first, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you must be familiar with the characters, though, Lynn. You know, like Cloud and Sephiroth, right? If you've never played the original one, the original one came on, like, back in the PlayStation 1 days. This is the second in the remake trilogy. So, Final Fantasy VII Remake came out, like, what was it now? Like, three, four years ago? Maybe five years ago at this point for the PS4, and then later for PS5. Um, 
and this is the second one and it is a retelling and sort of reimagining of the original Final Fantasy 7 like without going into specifics and spoiling anything and so yeah this is the second one and it's much bigger in scope than the original Final Fantasy 7 remake just in terms of it being seemingly like more like an open world kind of affair but yeah uh, it's out today. I know the remake because it's cloud. Exactly, yeah. They had the opportunity to release it on February 29th, and they did. Damn right they did. Because they could. I only saw Advent Children. God damn it, Lynn. Without any sort of prior Fantasy VII knowledge, I can only imagine what nonsensical nonsense that must have been for you. Like, even as a person who knew basic, like, you know, some points of Fantasy VII, went into Advent Children very confused. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these Font of knowledge, reserves, I like however, that. You will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, while it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures. Oh, cool. And amass data on them in I always process. like hunting quests in a world if like this. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, Thus, extracting said knowledge from them, right. I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel... I feel please. like I'm going to bump into all the stuff anyway, but now that I've went through all of this, might as well finish it off. Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. <clears throat> I detected some strange energy signals earlier. <clears throat> My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate... There's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> a rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate gonna outlive these curiosities all. and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about World Intel. <laughs> no, not really. I thought I like it because it has Cloud Fair. My first FF is 13. You know, I got to FF 13 quite late. Um. <laughs> And by the time I played it, after, like, all the controversy surrounding it and stuff, I, like, I skipped over it back in the day. I have to admit that, like, on some level, graphically, and some of the gameplay functionality, I think that game holds up incredibly well in those kind of ways. But it is painfully linear. Do you happen to and some of the characters definitely get on my nerves. Like? In that, case, that was my experience I too. No I didn't have a PlayStation, so I never played it. Friend showed me Avon children anyway. I knew the characters were not the full story. Gotcha. It is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Ooh, we can get some materia though. My first FF game was the first one on the NES. I never played the original. I know they um I think they ported like the first two onto PSP. And then the third one got like a DS remake, I think. And then the fourth one got a couple of different remasters over the years. Not sure about five, but yeah, I never played the original first few. Fire and Ice. Use Fire and Blizzard. Sick. Activate Auto Cast. Allows allied to automatically use spells with the linked material when not actively controlled during battle. Interesting. Allows you to turn enemies into items with Morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain amount can be defeated in this fashion. What are you on about? Allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively in control. Tifa will also use unbridled strength w uh, when not actively controlled if this material has been equipped. I don't think I quite understand. But okay. <clears throat> I guess that could be useful. Like, I can see some use for all of these, to be honest. Hmm... How much do I have? I have 20 points. So I can do two of these. Uh, I like the sound of this. And I like the sound of this. <laughs> I like the idea of turning enemies into items. That kind of seems fun. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And you're going to make it sound like that. You're not in this alone. 
Should you require assistance, just ask. Okay, okay. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator on combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning materia. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. Cool beans. Alright, well, let me equip my people and we'll go on in. Uh, set materia. Gonna hit me with some morph materia. Uh, I'll give Barrett the. Um... Oh shit, there is some stuff here. Chocobo Moogle material, Ifrit materia, Shiva materia? Huh. Oh, that's like the materia area. I didn't even see that. Huh. Yeah. Uh, give you HP. Red 13 has like a bunch of slots. Why don't we give him. Um, one for now. Um, I think there's no point not to equip one of these. Okay, Doc. All right, Bradley. Let me see what this um, current summoning thing that you have. I encourage you to pit your skills yeah, 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 I know, I know. So that I might Use combat simulator, material. yep. Hell yeah. My FF journey has been 1-6 tactics FF... Uh, oh, tactics. Um, hang on. FFTA. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. 1 and 2. Is that what that is? Have you been interested in jumping back into one of the Final Fantasy games, Cap? All the rest have just been um, peripheral knowledge or maybe an hour of play. Gotcha, gotcha. Whoa. Oh, there's some training stuff. That's cool. I like stuff like that. Um, guess I want to do this. Okay. Uh, oh, look at the graphic for that. That's kind of cool, seeing it like that. Um, emerge victorious against these mighty entities in combat simulator to be rewarded with their summoner material. If an entity is proving too difficult, you can gain an advantage in battle by analyzing its corresponding summon crystal found around the world. Interesting. Right. Oh, I, I get it. Oh, isn't this really interesting, Spec? So, um, at the moment, he's at full power, right? And I can fight him. Or I can find these summoning crystals to lower his power level if he's too strong for me. And that those are out and about in the world. That's fascinating. Okay, yeah, I guess me. I guess this is my current team. Let's just try it. I think I'm going to get my ass handed back to me, though. So me and you will both have a sore ass after this. Fucking go, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my good lord. Steal. I shouldn't be stealing. This is a silly idea. Nothing to steal. Well, fuck me. We should, we should assess this. He's almost killed me. He's almost killed me. <laughs> uh, we need to do... Hang on. What new... Wah! Okay, we need to, um, because I'm going to die now. Let me assess him before I die. Yeah, we're just about to die. He's weak to wind. Okay, noted. I'll come back in here and I'll try wind. Uh, maybe with Aerith, because this, this was... Oh, I did the tiniest amount. We're fucked. We can't fight this guy now. What the fuck am I thinking? I, I don't know if I'd want to play any. I don't have the brain for the pit or for the patience for sprawling, grindy JRPG games. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. To be honest with the cap, I think that's why I really enjoyed Final Fantasy 16 so much. Final Fantasy 16 played a lot more like um, a Devil May Cry game in that instance, but still had Final Fantasy dressings in some way. It was way more straightforward in a complimentary way. But I guess it depends if you're in the mood for that, you know? Yep, we're dead.
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, do this. Asshole! <laughs> oh, Barrett's alright. Thunder's not gonna do anything to him. Consumed all the fire long shot stream of bullets, consuming the initial concentrated burst of any significant increase of stagger. Yeah, we want that one. It's pretty chunky, yeah. Not chunky enough, but definitely chunky. Fucking hell. Hey, we got a stagger. Look at that. I guess we could do like a wind summon, whatever that would look like. Um, I guess they can't use items for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, fall unconscious, cool. Yo, check out the big guy. Love the way these summons look, man. They look so good. Uh, summons fight alongside you for a brief period, and then the remaining time is indicated by the gradually decreasing gauge. These beings have a will of their own and engage the enemy as they see fit. However, you can command them to unleash unique attacks by expanding your party's members' ATB charges. When the summon gauge is completely depleted, a summoner will execute a devastating ultimate attack before it parts. Cool. <clears throat> Surprised that um, Red 13 survived this long. Oh, he's nimble. Okay, yeah, we're dead. Cool, GG's. I don't think I'm quite ready for that. I think it's fair to say. These are all locked. Intel 1, what does this mean? Series of battles for one to three people? Okay. I really want to morph. Uh, Fireblood. This ends here. Bugs. Always bugs. So this is clearly a bit more on my level. Did the summer one have a, a level estimate? Like you should be roughly this level. I'm going to check. Okay, if these are flying type, then we need our Barrett. Yeah, I need to check. Well, Barrett, his abilities, right? His focus shot is the one that increases stagnant. Uh, Max and Fury is just pure damage. Okay. And I'd want to do circle, right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. 
I have to admit, switching party members and trying out different people and stuff, that's pretty fun. Okay. I love that attack from Cloud where he just pulls them in like that. Look at that. It's so satisfying. Like I said, when I played the um, remake, the first one of these, I think I really enjoyed playing as Tifa the most. Like she was way more like combo focused. I felt like I was playing a fighting game. Yeah, these enemies out in the wilds, well, they were causing me some issues. They're a bit stronger than the other enemies. Yeah, you have to block these ones a bit more. Ooh. There we go. Anything to steal in here? No. I'm guessing in this room, stealing is not really important. Ooh, can we summon? Yeah, let's see what this looks like. Chocobo and Moogle. Have fun. Have fun? Yeah, it's a, it's a Moogle riding a Chocobo. Okay. Sure. Uh, summon abilities. Yeah, just kick him. If you don't mind. I just called in a Moogle and a Chocobo for flex, I guess. Chomoogle rush! I wonder if that would have been their thing at the end. Yo, healing materia, cool. Okay, that's done. Level 17 that was. Uh, know thy enemy, what's this? Series of battle to one to three enemy. Okay, does it give me like a an estimate? Okay, so I am level 17. Level sync, it says, which I'm guessing it means that it's designed to be whatever level that you are. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I'll do this one, then I head back out in the world. See if I can weaken our Titan friend. Oh, you in trouble now! There we go. Keep getting my L1, R1 mixed up. Was that it? We've got enemy skill materia and enemy skill sonic boom. Um, assess enemies across various regions to unlock special challenges in the combat simulator, then complete these challenges to learn new enemy skills. The default skill, Sonic Boom, deals wind ma magic damage, grants bravery and faith, will always be available as long as the material is equipped. Yo, that would be a really useful thing to use against Titan. Because it's wind based. That's pretty cool. So I've got to um, assess certain enemies. You have not unlocked this challenge. Okay. This data is incredible. Thank this game seems like there's a lot in it, doesn't it? I feel like I'm going to be here forever. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. All right. <laughs> a hand fart? Yeah, the first thing you always learn, you know? Uh, it's a bit depressing seeing that all my characters because of the beginning of the game, right? But they're all kind of meh. They all have this meh emoji above their head. Is 
that a chest? It is a chest. Pinion? You what? Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Okie doke. Pinion like minion is it though? Press R1 to use your chocobo whistle and summon your bird to your side while you're exploring. Note that you can only call a chocobo in a region while you have wrangled that region's bird. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Chocoback. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. I mean, how hard could it be? We can just learn on the road, right? Oh, what's this? <gasps> what are you doing to me? Oh, I don't have anything. Do I? Yeah, I got none. Oh, I need to buy some. Pronounce anywhere. Opinion is like a gear thing. Oh, really? Huh. Cool. Where am I going? Oh, wait. I have to go that way. Right. Uh huh. Where did he go? There he is. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Uh huh. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okie doke. The impact can't bring it as like a cog and sprocket. Vague engineering dude that's right. Okay. This is just another way or another vague term for those kind of things. Oh, interesting. He's got a bit more weight and heft than I imagined. Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Here we go. Use the training uh, grounds on Bill's Ranch to get a hang of Chocobo Ride and pass each of the goalposts in order and complete the course as quickly as you can. R2 or click in to sprint, press again to sprint or jump. Okay. Uh, participate in Hustle de Chocobo. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Fucking go. Da 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 Oh my god. Easy. Oh, you can run faster than that. That I didn't know. I could have been doing this quicker. Does he have a stamina bar? I don't see the stamina bar anywhere. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the gold sauce. Imagine that. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Filler content. Uh, people the world over are willing to pay a top gill for Cloud's hand for higher services. Is that what they call it now? Track these odd jobs, open the map with trackpad and select quests. Okay. Certain settlements will have a notice board. 
Uh, post jobs, offer jobs, tackle odd jobs, earn rare rewards, deepen bonds. You can warp to any unlocked waypoint and town, repaired strip, activate, renov... Okay, cool. Note that you can only fast travel to Chocobo sh uh, stops once you have wrangled the region's Chocobo. Yeah. Cool beans! Kind of a weird way to say very specific word for a very specific thing is vague, I guess. Yeah, but I know what you mean, though, within the category. Uh, let's try this again. I didn't know that we could run faster. <laughs> Here we go. Let's fucking go. Okay, so it serves me to stay on the path. I was trying to cut the grass, but the grass seems to slow you down. I might, I might be able to do this even quicker than this. What was the time I was trying to beat? Yeah, first place is 31 seconds. Yeah, we just did it. Oh, you're going real fast and real left. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. Participate in hustle? I mean, we just did it. We're good. Ah, <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna do some odd jobs. I'm down for that. Uh, let's go and help her, I guess, since we're already here. Oh, the way that we just fucking destroy everything by just walking around sometimes. Look at this. Look at this. Madness. Oh hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Oh, she wants that Pokemon. What was it called? Comfy? All the time. So, I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? What happened to your parents? Ask your brother. We'll take the job? What? Um, what happened to your parents? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics, and after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. How do you know Sam? What? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. What? That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. <laughs> Have the dad be specific. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine, we'll do it. Really? You will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Don't worry about it. A great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's go and do this. I'm guessing it's that green marker that's popped up now. Yep, there it is. Withered Plateau. Yeah, and I'm like... I have to go back to the fucking city that I came from. Holy shit. And there's even like a, a thing on the on the way. There's a ton of stuff on the way. My goodness. Shall we go to this one first, I guess? And then go up? Uh, how do I put my own pin? There we go. Oh my god, red 13 on a chocobo. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Two seconds, let me... Is this okay? Is this okay? How do we feel about this? I mean... He's not as fast as a chocobo, you know? So I guess... I don't... Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, how else you could... Yeah, I guess they could have made a unique saddle for... I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Tifa is trending on Twitter and I don't know why. Well, Lynn, you know, um, cute date idea. We hike to a hill and pick flowers and also smash the shit out of any wildlife we come across. That is a cute date idea, Cap. I love it. He looks weird changing, but I know he is kind of messed up. <laughs> Let's just see how he looks when we get running. <laughs> Okay, how do we, how do we, yeah, there we go. How does this work? Scent? What's this say? Scent? What does scent do? Huh? S scour. Couldn't find anything. What? Weird. Okay. Uh, eat. fuck it, let's just go. Why are you skidding? Just jump! What is happening? Uh, these tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo spots. What? Wh who? Who are you on about? Oh, I see one. I see. Um, thanks. I, I, I guess. Is this marked on my map now forever? That's great. Where am I? <laughs> right back on the road, I guess. Uh, which is this way. Behind those mountains. How am I getting behind those mountains? Okay. Uh, they made him look even weirder when you moved. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? I saw the increase Tifa's boob size in the game, but also put out a patch to change them back smaller later. The kind of things gamers talk about instead of the actual game, I guess. Seriously, they did that. Huh. That reminds me a little bit about the, um, I think they did the same thing to Lightning in Final Fantasy XIII, uh, Lightning Returns. Because they wanted her to feel like she was filling out the outfits better. Or something like that. Why would they make them bigger, Cap? It's, uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever. But what is this move? Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, can we pick these up? Uh, when the question mark appears above your chocobo berry treasures nearby and waiting to be sniffed out, hold up to sniff, use R to face the scent. Only you, once you face the scent, sorry, once you face in the direction of the scent, it will become visible. Follow the scent and press down to execute treasure. Right. Um... No, sorry, wrong one. I gotta press up first. Ah, ah, ah. I see. And, uh, fucking peck it. That's not, okay, not close enough. Peck it. Hey, we did it. What we get? An emerald. Oh, sick. I, I like emeralds. Can we pick these up while we're on Chocobo? That's a kick. <laughs> Did you see that kick? <laughs> Spec, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's hilarious. 
Uh, they showed a screenshot of Tifa and Aerith in bikinis and they were bonkers. Um, but then put out a patch and shrunk them again. I don't know. The fuck, man? Okay. Is that why it's trending right now, you reckon? <clears throat> kind of wild. It seems like the same reason that they did um, the lightning thing, as I mentioned. Oh, tough boys. How am I locked onto that one? Okay, whatever. Schnooker. Uh, no, spells. Fire. Okay, okay, check this out, check this out. What if now abilities morph? Just died too fast. I gotta use morph earlier, I guess. infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by tightwads. Oh. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you. Aerith is way too optimistic. Cool, I guess we found another one of these. Uh, does just being here unlock it from my map, right? Hope it does. Hello. You adorable little shit, how are you doing? Oh, maybe, I oh, okay, this is what I need to do. I should have done this with the other one then, I didn't realize. Wait, what's going on? Oh, you have to hold it, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's kind of cute. Golden plume. There, we got one. Hi, buddy. Oh, you can pet him. Oh, that's all right. I like that. He's got like a growth on his back. Anyone saw that? All right, there's one of them down. I'll have to go back and do the same to the other one. Lego! Yeah, this is chill. Me and my my homies. <laughs> Red 13 I still can't get off. You know what, Lynn? It wouldn't even matter if I switch him out. Because everyone's here, you know? <laughs> I guess we would push him further back in. But yeah, still gonna be there. Oh, there's the tower. And some enemies somewhere. Let's head towards the tower. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I have a card of one of those, don't I? Alright, yep. Whoa, fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa, fucking hell. Like a really aggressive chocobo. Oh, I should, um... I should make it a point to try to assess things. Yeah, weak to fire and ice. An avian creature that prefers grassy areas. Yeah, okay. 
here. Did I use assess on the other thing? Too bad. Weak to ice. Okay, noted. Does he change him out, please? Red looks weird. Unchuckable. <laughs> he really does. Oh, thanks, Beck. Beck has brought tea. Spec is the best. Thanks, Beck. Uh, what's that one monster bird that hits you with a rock? Ah, the Kulu Yaku? Was that what it's called, Spec? Something like that. I think it's called Kulu Yaku. Or the Yan something or other. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Red 13 really makes short work of them. Why not? Overkill, baby. Look at him. I love the particle effects coming off these things. Um... Final Fantasy VII summons aren't my favorite visually. Oh my god, he's totally like that monster. Cap, you're right. I didn't even notice he was carrying a rock before. Holy shit. Oh. Material world, you level up an orb on material. Cool. No, I did not want to do that. He wasn't carrying a rock before. It uh, it just has hands like it could. Damn it. I thought I missed it. I thought that's why you mentioned it. Because I didn't notice that before either. So I guess it didn't until after you said it. That's wild. Okay, is this what I need to do? <clears throat> yeah, there's the Chad. Okay, so this should populate the map with, like, things to do. Yes. Yeah, and I can see the ones that are labelled for, um, fighting summons, or weakening the summons, even. So what's the point in going further up, then? Moogle medal, cool. Um, let's do this on the way up, I guess. Fiend Intel. Alright, um, how do I... In. There we go. Actually, that's in walking distance. I feel like we can walk that. No, Chocobo, stop, stop, stop. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, ah! I've made up my mind. It's nearby, I can walk it. I will switch up my party soon, I think. Because uh, I'd like to learn how to use Aerith and Tifa again. Ooh, looks like there's a cave here. You like my caves. Hmm. Was I supposed to be on top of this thing? Oh, we can't go that way. Still on lockdown. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's going that way. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I think I am meant to be on this thing. Oh, no. Area of interest is discovered. Never mind. Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Um. sure you are prepared before engaging. Wait, who's this? Confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. Is, isn't that but just Chadley? Mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I think I Chadley just took off the monocle and let his hair down. Many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. 
I still stand on lunch. I was about to ask your opinion on pork nachos, but then I remembered. All right, then. You can ask Spec on the pork nachos. She'll have it covered. But I don't think we've, Spec's ever had the combination of nachos and, and uh, pork. I think that's a very common thing here. The fiends that um, Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in uh, various locations throughout the world, depending... Sorry, defeating these... Excuse me. Unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials, okay? Fiends roam this place. Rare grasslands wolf variants identified. Pressure an enemy staggering and they defeat all enemies within the time limit. Okay. Okay, then we need to assess these. Oh, these are unique enemies. Okay. Doesn't have a weakness, but absorbs electricity. Inflict detrimental status effects on them will pressure them. Understood. Then what I need to do is I need to switch. Okay, here we go. Spells, bio against this one, please. There we go. There we go, staggered. I would like to steal. <laughs> Maybe it's not the time, but I would like to. Oh, fuck. Wild's not doing very well. Um... Oh, we need to kill these things in a minute. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then... Red 13 is gonna do this. May your wisdom... Oh, this is going to be close. It took me all that time to get this thing down. Fuck, that does so much damage. I don't think I'm going to do this in time. Yeah, we need to stun it again. Spells, bio, go. Okay, it's gonna be staggered now. Hit it with. Um, yep. Hit him. Nice. <sighs> okay. It's Chad Dent gender swapped VTuber avatar. It clearly fucking is. Uh, I only said uh, pork because I figured you might not know what uh, carnitas. Carnitas? Carni hey, Deacon, welcome in. Carnitas. I don't think I do know what that is. I know nothing about nachos. Gosh, there's a whole world of Mexican cuisine I'd love to introduce you to. I've heard so much good things about it, but it has just been like in, in every country that I've been to, Cap. Um, it's never been the prevailing like street food or restaurant food that we've been exposed to. We, we've been really fortunate to have lots of different cultures of food, but Mexican has always been a bit lacking where we've been to, hasn't it? I feel like it has anywhere. The vegan one? Yeah. Mm. It's hard to tell, isn't it? I like your charm under. Thank you. Deacon, I'm hoping to evolve, evolve him soon. I can't wait, mate, till he gets wings. Fucking love Pokemon. Hey, you should come to Cali. Uh, my city is clo close to Mexico. Hey, I, I, I think I would love the food, to be honest with you. Like, everything I've seen on it, and we have had similar, like, adjacent stuff 
that use similar things, but it's hard to tell how authentic it is, you know? Southwest America is the best for Mexican gotcha. Cali in Texas. Damn. Food. I've said this before a million times. The best things about culture, like wherever I've been, wherever I go, has always been food. You know? It's asking if I want to retry it, but I don't think there's a point, is there? We did it right. Lego! Oh, hello. Another one? So it is. I don't think I have this one. Oh, you have a Charmander and Pidgey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to evolve it into a big bird any moment now. <clears throat> A Charmander riding a Pidgey, I know, as I live and breathe. Can you can you imagine it? But food is the best. Alright, yeah, I guess we're going straight up this way. It seemed like there was a line we could cut through here. Like underneath here. Yeah, I think this way. Let's fucking go. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, what's this? Kick it. Woof. Oh, hello. I want that. And that. Oh, there's a thing here. How do you do this again? Um, scent. You rotate the camera around. There we go. And then you get close to it, and you press down. Cool. Excavator, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one of you? It's like the other one's only over there. All right, whatever. Show me the way, little one. I break for choco balls. Prepare three choco stops. Uh huh. He's a cute little fella, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cheap, cheap yourself, right? Let's go. <laughs> oh, red 13. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's an interesting area. What are we going to get up to? It looks like we can carry through the tunnels a little bit. To the top, maybe? I didn't expect the open world to be so soon in the game, nor for it to be so chill. You know? Like, I feel like these side quests, they had a lot of filler stuff in the first game as well. That felt like they were padding out certain parts of the story and keeping you in certain areas that I wasn't too overly fond of. But I think if they're going to pad it out and it's like engaging with the open world to go in places and do things, I think that's probably a better way of going about it. Ooh, I like the blue flowers. Oh, I guess we're here. Yeah, this is it. Taking over. Ah, the Mangogoras. Yeah. Okay, hang on. 
You assess one of you. Fire, of course. Come here, all of you. Look how many there is. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, fire blade. This one, no, hang on, this one, and just hope it hits a bunch of them. Oh, he's miles away. Fuck, I thought he was with the flock of them. Weapons 101. That. Max out of weapons, ability proficiency. Oh, sick. Steel. Um, steel. <laughs> what was he doing? I kind of like Barrett's uh, ranged approach as well. It gives me a better lay of the land. Wow! Just look at all of them. I've never seen these <laughs> kinds before. So. No Shiny Pidgey, yeah. Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sort of reminds me of when we picked oh, no. flowers for the leaf house. They give Cloud a basket. Oh, <sighs> okay. Spec. This is the illustration. I need to collect some flowers. Um, I need these red ones, right? Yeah. How how do I what how do I pick them up? Ah, oh, this thing. So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. Pick the stalks of yellow? Uh yes. And then the red one, right? Okay. God, this is just like something you do in Animal Crossing, isn't it? Why does he put blue ones in there? Why does he put blue ones in there? But we're definitely gonna need more. Yeah, so we need white ones, right? Yeah, I think yellow are more profound. Oh, we got yellow. We need red as well. Like this one. Ooh, now these are vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? You know I'm going by this picture. Why would you do this? Why would you say this to me? Yeah, this is what she wants. She's trying to make it look like that. So if I bring blue ones, she's going to be upset. Even though blue ones are clearly the best the looking ones here. Ones. The yeah, superior the ones, yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Barrett's just like, I fucking love blue me. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. Yeah, I'm full of fag fragrance, me. Please. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe. Uh, okay. <sighs> Fast travel is now available. Okay, I guess that's the way to get back. Um, anywhere else I can do while while I'm here? No. Yeah, then let's fast travel back. Um, how does fast traveling work? Fast travel spots uh, with the D-pad. Oh, they're the white symbol, so then this symbol. Yep. Oh, the stuff came back. You know, that means trash the place. Yeah. Right. Easy stuff. Wow. Look at all of these. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried, though. What if mine's not as pretty as mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. 
I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? We'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. <laughs> sure. Look! It's just like Mom's. But this one's all yours. Yeah, I didn't <coughs> think I could do it. But I did. You two are the best. I uh, now reload the save and give her blue flowers to see what happens. <laughs> if only I cared enough, Cap. Oh, Billy. Here, for you. Oh, did you make this? Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. I don't like Billy. Cute. <laughs> Wonderful. Complete a quest. Oh, no. okay. Plus time for everything, I guess. Honestly, I never want to take it off. Gross. All right, what do you got for sale again? Right, you sell these things for some reason, which I don't understand what that means. But I guess I'll find out eventually. Um, you, I want these. I want these. I want these, and they take golden plumes. I have five golden plumes. Do I do I really want my my bird to be kitted out with Shinra stuff though? I kind of just wanted to be kitted out with something, you know? Not necessarily Shinra. You know? She sells uh Majorum? The fuck is Majorum? It's a spice? Oh. Does she? Oh yeah, she does. There it is. Oh, we do? Oh. I mean, I look, listen, I love my herbal teas. I don't know what kind of grass people are putting in it. I just like it, okay? 420, what are you, what are you on about, Cap? Thank you for stopping by. All right, we, we did that, we're good. It's great. I guess we can go and do some other side quests because we need to do like three of them or some shit to get going. Uh... Oh, there is uh, fiend stuff and stuff like this thing. Moogle Intel, yeah. And another thing over here. Ah, there, this thing. Is that the one I'm looking for? No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for specifically... Ooh, what's this? Cool. I'm looking for specifically... I saw it over here. There, this. I'm looking for this. Divine Intel 3. Uh, maybe not 3, but I'm looking for something like that. Alright, I think the plan... ...is to do this, do this, do this. That's another tower. Okay, this and then this first. Let's do it like that. All right, let's fucking go. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go. Uh, pop inside a mushroom shaped mog stool to get a peek at the lives of fantastical creatures who dwell therein. What? Uh, when it says show relative to current position, I know it means in relation to where you're at. But in my head, I think show this to your uncle. Cap, honestly, same. Same. Because <clears throat> I just, I don't usually, I know what it means. But I don't usually f see it phrased that way. For like, you know, this is where it is in relation to where you are. Okay, time to have a peek. <clears throat> I should probably change my weapon now that I've maxed this one out. Or learned the ability. Um, unless my other weapon didn't have any abilities, in which case I can just stick with this. Oh no. Oh no, I regret my decisions. What the? <clears throat> Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Oh boy. 
Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet. And I'm not even sure when we will be. Cloud, kill it. Skin it. Wear it. Those Mooglets are refusing to come back. And we can't do business without them, Kubo. I don't like the so, teeth. Maybe you would Did they always them. have teeth like this? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own. So I want you to round them up. I don't. Then we can open up the yeah, why is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Lynn. Is it just me? Or is it kind of fucked up a bit? They're fine if they don't open their mouth to a degree. <laughs> not my Moogle. Hashtag not my Moogle. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What do you want me to do? Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back into the mog stool or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just be aware they're playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end. What do you mean, get hit? Oh no. What do you mean, mischief level one? Oh, I don't know about this. Son of a bitch is just shooting at me. Alright, there's one. Are those traps on the ground? Oh my god, he was aiming at me. How do I, like, grab him? Hang on. Because it says here, get, um, you can catch them, right? What's catch? Oh, no. I'm making this worse. All right, let me grab the other one. I'm pressing all the buttons. I have no idea what catching them means. Yeah, I'm going to have to just round them up then. Oh, fuck. Is it mischief when they try to fucking explode you? So oh, my God. Okay. Who who remaining? Mocky. Throwing fucking banana peels. Fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. Because the eyes are open and not just half circle lines. Just heard them into the air. Yeah, I thought there was a grab thing, Cap. Because it made it sound like I either heard them there or like... Uh, it worded it like I could catch them. Okie doke. Uh, how many do we, we've got three medals so far. We can buy ether, ruby, which we got emerald before, didn't we? I wonder what these are for. Um, HP up material earrings. Oh, that's cute. The art of sword play. Um, a primer and proper sword technique. Increases cloud skill points and one for Tiva. I'm guessing these are kind of what I want. This is just to organize it, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's been real. There are six more mod stools out there, Koopo. Is that right? So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's awesome. If that one runs into me again, I'm gonna kill it. Gather world in telephile locations. Yeah, cool, cool. Over here. I don't like them. Alright, next. Ooh, chest. And stuff. Uh, you may find useful supplies hidden among the banner facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in the location to mark it on your map as complete. Oh, that's cool. That it marks it. Yeah, zero out of three. So there's two other things in this area. That's nice. I wonder if the, uh, the chocobo digging thing counts as one of them or not. This has been surprisingly chill. I didn't expect this to be such a profound part of the game. I don't know why. I don't know why I was expecting that way. But I was expecting it to be a lot of cutscene story and just running through hallways, and it's not. I'm having a really chill time. Am I allowed to have a chill time with Final Fantasy? I don't know what's happening. I'm 
confused. All these feelings. I don't like their body head ratio and their ears or their face. It's the teeth, I think, that really just... I don't know what it is. I don't like it. I wish this had co-op. Wouldn't be so cool if someone could take control as one of the other characters and you can just go exploring together. That'd be so cool. There we go. Cashing in. I get it. Hey, Stumpun! Uh, overall, it's not cute. Yeah! If the Moogles were, were like, instead of... A hundred percent. I don't, I don't like them. Yo, you're, you're oh, this time you're an actual aardvark, Stumpen. As opposed to the aard wolf that you were earlier on. Alliteration. I always forget alliteration. I don't remember ever saying that, but I stand by it. Oh, beat Wolverine, yo. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Where am I going? This way. Hope you're well, Stumpen. Thanks for dropping by, man. I really appreciate it. I know that you're avoiding spoilers and shit. I will say, Stumpen, uh, not as a spoiler, of course. Um, lots of busy work and side stuff to do. I haven't really done story in a while. I've just been exploring the map and hitting random um, points of interest. <clears throat> which have no bearing, seemingly, over the overall story. <clears throat> the dog rides a chicken. <laughs> he, he does and it's not good, is it? It does. Honestly, Stumpen, I'm surprised. The um, the detail that they've shoved into here is really fucking impressive. I've still come across some like rough looking textures here and there. But generally speaking, man, this is a beautiful game. And it plays and feels really good. Show Tifa. Tifa's like, where is Tifa? Yeah, he's Tifa. I don't know what you were expecting, but that's yeah, that's Tifa. I should switch them over in a second, you're right. So I should get used to playing as the other characters. Um have a look. This is just the default trio that it gave me. Party. I think I can make um it told me I could make different preset parties. Did it lie to me? How the fuck do I do that? Combat, maybe? Yeah, here we go. I'm on setting two. Setting one is Red 13 and Aerith. Setting two is Barath and... Uh, Barath, sorry, and Red 13. And then number three is Aerith and Tifa. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I have not equipped these characters just yet, I don't think. Oh boy, let me remember this. Um, did I learn the ability from this one? I didn't. I didn't learn Focus Thrust. I'm going to lose uh, Materia Space, but I'm going to do it because I want to learn the ability from everything I can. What did I lose? Oh, nothing important. I just lost the ability to turn creatures into items. We'll, we can figure that out. Uh, all right. Um, her. Set Materia. What's she got? Prey, wind. She's got wind. I should buy maybe more elemental materia. I didn't think about it at the time. Enemy skill. Oh, sick. Yeah. At least you can like spruce it up a little bit. Right, and she's got. She's got Shiva. Of course she does. Oh shit! Yo, DD, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Much appreciated. How you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. You still on the um, Yakuza grind? How's that going? Oh shit, I missed some stuff. Looks amazing though, Shotifa. I just want to know if she has fake or real boobies. I didn't know about the Stumpen. This controversy. Cap was just telling me about it. Apparently that's why she, it, might, it might be trending at the moment on Twitter. I wanted to assess boobs to see if they did in fact change anything. I can take a deeper look for you if you want. The original poly count was simply too low. <laughs> oh, the, you mean the original count? I'm an expert in Tifa boobs. God damn it. A very respectable mastermind category to have. God damn it. 
Welcome in, DD. How you doing, man? 70 hours cause all the side shit. 42% through the story. Holy shit, DD. 70 hours in, 42% through the story. That's Yakuza, man. It's insane. GG's. Are you still enjoying the grind? God, I can't wait to get back to Yakuza. Is that like a master's degree? I guess. It's trending. I had no idea. I just wanted to know for me. Didn't know everyone else was asking uh, to. Um, uh, Lynn mentioned that it was trending and then Cap brought up, I, I don't know if these are related or if it's a coincidence, that um, apparently they, they released a patch to reduce her size back to what it was in the original remake because they increased it for this for some reason. Yeah. Uh, it's a UK game show where it's one person versus the quiz master. The person gets to pick the topic uh, that they're the expert in. A. It's a really good game. It looks at DD. I don't think there's been a bad Yakuza game though. Um, though I haven't got through 3, 4 and 5. I'm, I'm excited to do so. I really want to get to 6 to be honest with you. Because to me that was always the, um, the, the point of um, Kiryu's arc. I know that he comes back or whatever. But to me, I really want to see what happens in that game. I was so invested after 0, 1, and 2. Great games. Thanks again for the uh, the raid, DD. I really appreciate it. If you need to take a break, if you need to take a shower, if you need to get to eat, whatever you need to do, bit, please take care of yourself. If you're hanging out, though, I appreciate it as well. It's good to have you, man. Hey, hey, Control, welcome in. How you doing? Good to have you, too. Uh, don't know why Tifa is trending on Twitter. I'm just on it because of anime news and such of course, Lynn. Why else would anyone go to Twitter? Furthermore, the completely neutral site Nexus mods banned whoever released an unnerved Tifa Titties mod. Of course they did. Oh boy. People don't like Yakuza Dead Souls as much, uh, but I liked it because it's good, true and real. I bought that while I was in Japan, DD. Um, I bought it on PS3, I think, so the Japanese version. But yeah, th I think that's such a fun idea that they did that. That's fucking wild to me. The Italian uh, Senate is in shambles for <laughs> the Tifa changes. God damn it, Cap! I com I completely forgot about that whole debacle with 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 the Italian <laughs> Senate thing. <laughs> I prefer to increase uh, clouds to these. To be honest, fair. That's absolutely fair. Bring clouds to these back, please, someone. Blizzard and thingy. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. Uh, I think I do need to... No, I already equipped that. Okay. Back with the Buster Sword. Ah, there's some enemies there. We can't jump down this? Oh. Can I jump down with one of these? I can't. I'm very disappointed right now. God damn it. Uh, it's non canon, but uh, they did play off as Kiryu having a dream about zombies or some crap, huh? To me, I, I, of course, I was expecting it to be non canon, right? But I like the idea of them trying to weave it in under some sort of guise like that. Yeah, sure, like, why not? I think that's really fun. Oh, Lynn, it's been a while now, and I don't even know where to send you on the internet to find it, but uh, maybe Italian Senate Tifa will do the job? Uh, makes perfect sense, though. Sex Dungeon mod for Skyrim? Absolutely fine. Slightly larger Tifa titties. <laughs> Perma band. Yeah. Hmm. How the fuck do I get down here? Oh, I see. Yeah, probably the easiest way would be from here. I'll just follow this around, really. You look like if Mario grew up on uh, a council estate. Yeah. I look incredibly trustworthy, don't I? Uh, to be fair, if FF7 Remake was as old as Skyrim, anything would be fine too. <laughs> Skyrim has that status of being so old that no one pays attention anymore except the fans. True. And I feel like with it being a PC game as well, yeah? The Italian Senate was lazy with uh, IT security and someone managed to play Tifa Pawn. On the screen in there, yeah. I can't remember all the ins and outs of it, but that's basically the gist of it. That must have been incredibly embarrassing. What happened? Like, I felt like the fallout of that was quite severe. And I and I think you know I I get it, but 
But at the same time, if, like, if you can't back a Senate who's accidentally leaves some teeth for pawn on during a really important Skype call, Zoom call, like, who, who are you going to back? You know? Okay, I need to... Uh, assess these assholes, don't I? Just in case if I haven't already. Uh, I'm hoping they record me doing these, because I don't know whether or not I've done these for these. Uh, toxic rat, okay? Then assess the other one, which is the orc. Fire, yeah, that checks out. Oh, another one of these fellas. The density in the foliage is very impressive. Don't mind if I do. Uh, point being that arbitrary applications of site rules, policies, whatever makes them look deranged. It's not like they don't know uh, there are nexus for those kind of mods. Yeah, they just do whatever shuts people up and makes the least drama. Yeah. I'm guessing if there's too much heat, you know, if someone wants to make their life a misery, they probably will. I'm pretty sure it actually happened. I just don't remember the details because it was such a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure it made the rounds. Make an angry post on Twitter about Skyrim sex mods and it'll be gone soon too if it trends. Perhaps I don't know what their motivations might be, don't care. I just laugh at it from the outside. I remember the fan art of Tifa in like a classy business clothes sitting in a senate chambers. Yep, like she didn't get Sean being pounded there was a few days before. Made me laugh, yep. I'll be back watching a 13 minute lecture video. Hey, Lynn, whatever you need to do to catch up on the Tifa stuff, you call it whatever you want. Hope it goes well. Uh, which way are we going? <clears throat> God, wouldn't it be great if we got a Pokemon game that looks like this? Maybe like in another 10 years when the uh, whatever Nintendo console in a decade will be able to run stuff like this. It sounds like I'm saying something incredibly mean and throwing shade there and I don't mean to. Like, I re I've been really enjoying those games. I just, I think Pokemon runs like absolute hot garbage and I just want it to look and run better. I will be back. Watching 30 minutes later. No, it's not that. Oh yeah, it's for school. Absolutely. It's research. Absolutely. That's what me and Cap call it too. Research. This has been incredibly chill. I don't think it needs it, but playing this again makes me think about, like, other remakes, right? I think I would really like a Final Fantasy X remake. Just because of how I feel about that game and how I feel like I can see them adding things. Like, Spec mentioned before, in Final Fantasy X, it was quite disappointing when you got to the point where the open world exploration was kind of reduced to a menu. As opposed to, like, you know, having a ship to glide around a world or something like that. Or a ship to, like, go across the water and things. I can see that being a really fun thing that they could add to it and more open world areas and exploring like uh, underwater maneuverability and combat in a different way. I just really like the overall story of 10 and the different worlds and characters. Maybe like fucking Tidus dies at the very beginning and you just play as Auron for the rest of it. You know what I mean? Like there's so much good stuff you could do. I just got a really loud tut of spec from the background. I don't think she liked that. <laughs> Tidus laugh intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, don't push it as a you just want a blitzball remake. I fucking do, Stump. But I honestly, I would m murder a small village of children for a blitzball remake. Just a dedicated blitzball game would do it for me. It's a very pretty game. The uh, mini game in this is kind of fun too. Feels like a weird cross between Triple Triad and Gwent. I like it. Yo, can we fuck with these deers? We can't. Cool.
Ah, that's it. That's what we were coming towards. Yeah, let's try to remember how she controls. Tifa excels at close range combat and uses quick combos to deal damage. Press square to execute a normal attack or hold it down to deliver a single powerful blow. So I think she's going to control relatively similar to the first remake, right? Like so far the other characters are as well. She was the character I had the most fun using in the original. Can we use to temporarily enhance the triangle unique ability for three times as well as increase the number of attacks that can be chained together. Use triangle to stagger force to increase multiple damage modifiers. Cool. She's just so fast and satisfying to use. And once you get used to like that unbridled thingy and make like a chain of things happening, it's really fun. Moving on then. I'll take this. Shit, did I say that out loud? I, I wanted to change it from children to something else, but I'm so tired that my brain was like, ah, fuck it, children will get the point across, you know? I should have said like a small village of something else, you know? Sweet instant puppies. And then my brain was like, nah man, I can't do that to the puppies. But the children. <laughs> oh, I should stop. <laughs> Where's the thing? Where's the thing? It's around here somewhere, right? Where's the thing? I haven't seen the thing. I can see the thing anywhere. Maybe it is further up. Uh, Gwen sucks. The FF8 card game sucks. Caravan from Fallout uh, sucks. The one from the Star Wars game sucks. Hey, Cap, <laughs> do you not like card games by any chance? Because, mate, they kind of fucked. What did you think of Blitzball, at least? Can we all agree that Blitzball was the best card game? Uh, this is a Cap. This is the end of the honeymoon period. <laughs> there we go. That's what a proper Moogle looks like. We're arguing now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, finally, that's what I was looking for. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I'm heading straight up for this badger. I wonder if these things are um, obtainable by just finding them out in the world without pinging them first. I want to hope that they are. Alright, shall we? Meh. What is that? Can I climb that? Hmm, guess not. It's just big, isn't it? Hey, I appreciate the luck, bloody, bloody. Bloody, bloody is like my blood buddy, you know, like blood brothers. So I'm gonna call you bloody from now. No, bloody is the thing that you say to people when they have a bloody nose as well. Thanks for the lurker, buddy. There we go. Thanks for the leg, bloody. <laughs> so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Spec, do you mind opening the door for a bit? I wonder if they turn on the heating this late. Is that why it gets so hot sometimes? Yeah, so we want the light, and then we follow this light? The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the age of myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. 
Whoa, did it fall into the water? Oh, there it goes. How do I get down there? Can I hit another one of these to kind of like springboard another one? Yeah. I assume they're all going to lead the same place. Do I need to hit them all first, I wonder, or do I just need to follow them? Oh, wow. Uh, sanctuaries contain crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Break one to release a light that will lead you to the sanctuary. Okay, so all its job was to lead me there. It wasn't like I have to break them all. Uh, Blood Buddy is what girls call each other when their cycles sync up. Oh my god. Never in my entire life you're missing out. Oh god. Oh. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, that's a bit of a rough texture. Incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal of this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel or analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deiform entity. I'm counting on you. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I definitely meant it like bloody. Yeah, yeah, you can edit that, right? Uh, examining a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. God damn it. The points will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the correct time to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon against combat and strengthen the first one. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's attempt it. Sure. I do like the variety of gameplay. It is a spice of life. But I'm not sure if this is going to be quite what I'm after. Okay. Commence. Oh, they're going to vanish. Don't vanish, please. Uh, 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 uh. That was it, right? Okay. Well, I'm hoping they don't get too much more complicated than that. Fancy Simon's game, yeah, basically. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary. To be honest with you, crystal. with stuff like this, this cap, I'd rather they went to the effort area. of making like um, a lock picking mini game. I have a soft spot for really fun lock picking mini games. I'm trying to think of the last game that I actually played that had a fun lock picking game, and I can't. Why? I know we just mentioned Skyrim, right? I haven't played Skyrim in years, though, so I don't remember exactly what the lock picking like was there. I might be getting it mixed up with Fallout. Um, all Yeah, basically all Bethesda games, that's fair. I enjoy them for most of the time. I really like them. I feel like a Bioshock's minigame with the tubes, the pipes and stuff. I also really like that one, too. They overused it, like, it, it was a bit silly how often you had to do it, but I actually really liked doing it when you were hacking things in that game. Unless it was the pipe game or Towers of Hanui, I don't remember those. Unless we're talking like the pipe game, if it's similar to um, the one I was mentioning. Oh, did you log in as me to do that? You log in as me to do that. Can you not do it as moderator? Oh, really? Interesting. Hey, Bubble, welcome in. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm having fun with it, Bubble. I'll be honest with you. It's not what I was expecting. I thought I was about to have like fucking six hours of Final Fantasy lore slapped over the back of my head. And honestly, it's only been like a couple of hours. Most of the time, I've been exploring its open world. And it's been surprisingly chill. I don't know how it's going to feel, you know, 20, 30, 40 hours in. But right now, I'm having a good time. 
<clears throat> I think it looks really good. The combat still feels great and, uh, and it feels responsive. Though it's been a while since I played the other remake, right? So I'm not sure how it compares exactly, but it feels the same to me. <clears throat> I never played a Final Fantasy game, but the Buster Sword is sick. Oh, full yeah, absolutely, dude. It's a lot of fun. Very satisfying to wield and use in the game as well. I think this is a really cool game. So far, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm I'm having a surprisingly chill time with it, which is just me exploring the open world, which is something that I, I don't usually go to Final Fantasy games for, Bubble. It's kind of a novel experience. What is that up there? Is that a monkey? Door is locked. Okay, so I need to investigate this area. Uh, right, right at the moment, Bubble, I'm just... I opened up points of interest on a map, which have, like, various different points of interest that are, like, different mini-games. Some of them I take out specific enemies under a time limit and, like, causing certain effects to happen. Some of them are finding um, some sanctuary thing where you have to play, like, a quick Simon Says mini-game. Um, another one is just picking up a bunch of stuff in order. This is another type of those. This is called... Phenomenon, phenomenon Intel 1, I guess. I don't know what this one means, so I'm just exploring it. I'm guessing these are your typical open world, you know, side quest affair thing, points of interest to do. And so far, at least they're varied enough, and moving around the world doesn't feel too bad. It's not, um, man, how do I word it? As much as I'm enjoying it, I wish there was a little bit more control over the character over traversal. Because right now, you can't jump, but he will do it himself when you get to certain locations like this. And here it works fine, but some areas and instances is kind of janky. Oh, we still can't open it from this end? Wow, okay. Which means we can finally go legit! Today we're founding Beck's business. Beck? Quit slacking off and see if there's any other treasures around here. Oh no. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god. We've got three shits. What the hell you people doing here? Who are you? What did you find? Uh, who are you? Oh, hell no! Don't oh, hell no! I forgot who Beck is. What fucked up character custom editor do you all pop out from? Oh, are we? News to me. What is this music? I wish the um, the dialogue wasn't so slapstick, corny, and the the kind of anime cringe which takes me a while to really get into it. It has its charm, I guess. Hey, Cloud, isn't that? Midgar is it big enough for us? We're taking our operations worldwide. Haha. We've gone legit. They're a special kind of stupid. If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures. This music's a bit much. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but it's a bit too much. Yeah, we're gonna appreciate all the things. Hold on, now you're after our treasure? Uh, did you watch Solo Leveling? Remind me, Bubble. Solo Leveling? What was that again? Hand it over. Now. Do you really think that's enough to intimidate the likes? No, please. If it's like something to watch, uh, stick it in the um the Discord. <clears throat> I can check it out after stream today. If you already have stuck it in there, I would have checked it out at some point. Yeah. 
I do hopefully it's going to be huge. Sorry, Captain, I missed that. What's going to be huge? Sorry, I just phased out of existence for a moment there. I was just thinking of something else. I wasn't paying attention to what they were saying either. Thank you, Bubble. Yeah, I just stopped paying attention to what they were saying at some point. <laughs> Uh, Aerith is adept at long range magic spell. Press square to unleash magic attacks capable of hitting multiple enemies. Hold down square to charge the temper skill. Strike an enemy with this skill fully charged with summon with sorry will summon a fleeting uh, familiar to assist you in combat. Press triangle to instantaneously warp between any magic wards Aerith has conjured. Sick. Uh, so did I. I was talking about solo level. Oh sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. Why does it look like we're injured? Why is it red? Utilizing ATP commands marked with whatever that is will grant character synergy. When two characters share enough synergy, you can activate the synergy abilities. Okay. Right, 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 right. Oh, Cloud is a bit weak. Right, okay. Uh, she can't heal? That seems bad. Yeah. Where is he? Here he is. Okay. Spells, cure, my face. Whoa. Oh, we should we should thingy them. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I doing? Um, I need to assess them. There he is, a member of Beck's badasses. Uh, he decamped Midgar's underground simply because Beck told him to. Point his weakness. His weakness is fire. Understood. And we assess this fella. This music. And then I need to steal from them. Is there anything to steal? Rare item drop. Stealable items. High portion. There we go. Uh, I wanted to get into the Manwa. Why didn't you? Too many Huangs and Nunans. <laughs> Don't have the money right now for the physical copies. Oh my god. This music. Oh, twist it, that's not blockable. It's a lariat, what are we doing? Back off, back off, back off. Alright. Can't use either of these abilities. We can use this. There we go. Cloud. There's music. Do you mind heading there? Yeah, okay. I gotta buy more materia. Like, I, I have to equip um, Aerith with more different magic skills. Are these guys dead? Nope, they're just asleep. Anything else to do up here? <clears throat> Guess not. Alright, he said he marked on my map where they ran off to. Oh god, all these things look the same. Um... Don't feel like he marked anything on my map. Ah, ah, it's fine. Oh, what's that? 
Google Emporium? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I'll do this on the way down, I guess. And then this one. It does say that I did the wild bandit chase and the Moogle thing, and I'm just missing those other two to finish off this one. Hey, welcome back, Lin. How'd it go? Uh, Hung is a Korean term for, like, an older male friend. It's said, like, Hung, with an extra year. Uh, Hyung, like that. Wasn't there a Soul Calibur character? Ooh, that's a big drop. Hey, master of saying things I am, Cap. You know me. You've been here long enough. Uh, I have to make an elevator pitch on some made-up product for my assignment, though. Oh, yeah, that's fine. If you're going to sell it and it's not a real product, you just tell them that it works. It can be any product. You're regular wordsmith. You're damn right I am. Ooh. Bring him in. Steal. Don't steal. Can I use the, um, where is it, spell? Oh, I don't have it because I've got a different weapon on. Never mind. I was going to try to see if I could turn that enemy into an item. But that's on my other weapon where I have more materia slots. Uh, should I use Chocobo? Absolutely. Heck yeah. Yeah, as long as it's creative and meets some requirements. There you go. Yeah, sell, sell the idea of the Chocobo. Like, you know, talk about, like, um, the, uh, the, the transportation means, how comforting it can be as a companion, you know? <clears throat> how eco-friendly that they are, you know? They don't fart a lot, stuff like that. Ride a cute Chocobo, absolutely. It doesn't break down, and you can also keep it as a pet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's also, um, it swims incredibly well, apparently. Oh, I just saw a cute little... Look at him, look at him! Lead me to the promised land, my friend. He's so cute. I don't know why he's put to seed, but he's so happy about me coming here to pick this up for him. Look at him. And then you can pet him. You want to see me pet him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, 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 watch. Like, good, good boy. Good boy. Can you just pet, pet the head? He's like, yeah, good, good, good boy. I know you should probably squish the cheek. Look, it's Cloud, okay? This is... The most affection Cloud is able to show. He's the, he's the equivalent of like, there, there. <laughs> if you come to Cloud with an issue. Uh, I tried watching the Avatar live action and I couldn't get into it. You're talking about the, uh, the Netflix show or the M. Night Shyamalan disaster? Uh, lol, I might be the first one to do this. See, uh, gotta see if they can use it. Go for it. If you can use it, yeah, why not? There we go. Yeah, I want to practice using Aerith. I never used her very much in the other one. What kind of abilities does she have? Soul Drain absorbs MP, deals magic damage to nearby, raises a barrier that temporarily freezes enemies who about strike you, Sonic Boom. Yeah. Um, let's go with this. Hey, you asked for it. 
Whoa. Whoa. He's very close by. Can I use something that can hit him? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Hang on. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I'm using her correctly. I think she's probably still needs to be kitted out with more magic spells. Maybe that's part of it. Both are bubble. Firstly, okay. Um... The live-action movie is awful. It's offensively bad. It's not even funny bad. It's offensively bad. It's one of the worst things ever done in 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 life in humanity. <clears throat> and I hate that it exists. Like genuinely, I can feel like a lot of remasterings or recreations or adaptations of stuff. I can be like, oh yeah, you know, it's for that audience. It's for this or for that or whatever. And I can kind of see where it might belong. In, in the world, but with that particular movie, I think it's a sin. And uh, he's gonna go to hell for it, straight up. And uh, whenever I'm exposed to it, which has just been the one time, I think I did might watch like, I've, ran I've saw random clips here and there as well. Um, I feel like I'm actively becoming less human. Like it's an affront to humanity. It's one of the worst things ever done. Ever done by a, a, a mortal, basically. It's awful. You shouldn't watch it. The Netflix show I have more complex feelings about. Overall, I felt it was a disappointment. But I do think they had some redeeming qualities. They did some stuff, especially aesthetically, pretty well. And they, they remixed some aspects of the stories in interesting ways. Yep, let's fucking go. Um, lock on to this thing. Yeah, we need to first assess these bad boys. Ice. Yeah, that's all I need to know. I think... We don't have ice, I don't think. No. But I think Tifa might do. Yep. I think all of Venonat? Hey, we did it. Our plan was just to kill it quickly so we didn't get poisoned. I think he just shot poison the once and we managed to avoid it. That was good. Uh, go watch the Dragon Ball live action. I'm alright, Bubble. I'm alright. I don't want to be more angry at the world. The assignment says, um, can show the mock-up of your product idea, your yard, your cat, your dog, or whatever you like. I sent an email asking a question. If my professor is fine, I will use a chocobo idea. There you go. Even if they don't um, say the chocobo specifically for trademark reasons, which I don't think is the purpose or the scope of, like, you know, for what you're doing, um, you could just make it another sort of creature for that kind of use. Uh, if you're not live when I get back, uh, it's always nice to talk to you. Oh, thanks, Bubble. I really appreciate it, buddy. I, I hope whatever you're heading off um, goes well. It's always a pleasure to have you around as well. A giant chicken. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> a, ch a chocobo is a giant chicken. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> That's not an inaccurate um, representation of what a chocobo is. Uh, you could also be like, hey, you know Big Bird from Sesame Street? Imagine if he just, you know, bent over the entire time. That's basically a chocobo. Or a massive yellow ostrich. Which reminds me, we I think we brought this up in chat before. I think, I don't know if it was Cap who mentioned this, but has anyone had, like, ostrich eggs or, like, eggs from... What's this bird doing? This is not normal, right? Is it telling me to go up there? Is that what the bird wants? Hang on, I want to see if there's like a, a space that I need to dig or something here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
No, there's not like a dig point. I think the bird is just showing me a point of interest. Like, hey, you can climb on this. I'm gonna go up here because I've, I'm worried that if he keeps spinning like that, he's gonna kill himself. He also thinks that he's an owl, which is kind of fucked up. Alright, buddy, I'm following you. What do you want? Oh god, oh god. Huh? Look at that. You <clears throat> stumbled upon a life spring. I have. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Uh, maybe I will. The planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. <sighs> they seem like they, they combined a couple of hand holdy things. Not only the yellow paint cap, but also like, you know, the fox from Ghost of Tsushima leading you to the thing and a noise cue. Surveying so Livestream grants the wisdom of the livestream revealing new points of interest. Right, follow the Spring Seeker Owl. It is an owl. Could that be a light stream? Oh wow, there's a lot of items. That's cool. Uh, this one. Yes, yes, I'm I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. Hoo 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 hoo. Oh shit, I'm pressing buttons. I was drinking tea, goddammit. Thankfully, I don't think it's possible to fuck that up. Who knows? <clears throat> uh, surveying life springs allows you to decipher the knowledge of the life stream, a revealing regional intel. Press the button then select Chadley Regional Intel to learn about the history and ecology of the area. Okie doke. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. Right, okay. Oh, here we are. I guess this is it. And there is, yeah, just like you said, there's, there's some intel. A humble town service transport over the grasslands. Cool. I guess there's two other places here that are like this. It's a cool visual. Ah, oh, it's a shame that it doesn't let me interact with the water. Can you interact with the water? Because you can't swim in this game. I, th I feel like they should just let you. Oh, it's a cool visual nonetheless. Uh, I'm going to slap down a save here. Just in case. I have had a long history of playing video games on release that somehow glitch out and bug and die and I lose stuff. So, going to save. Uh, gonna go for a bit. Uh, I'm in Starbucks, so I'm heading back home now. Oh, wait. Safe, safe trip back home. If there's one thing I've learned from capitalism, there's no resource well to, too small uh, that they won't try to exploit. Yeah, I guess that's not super realistic, huh? Shindra probably is doing it. They're just not doing it efficiently. Who knows? Right. Where were we heading to? Oh, that was it. That was the other one that we were doing. Is that everything from this area? Yeah, that's like the four things from that tower that I got. Uh, the second tower's missing a fiend intel, and I don't have these ones. Okay. Uh, let's do some side questing. I feel like I, I need to do side questing to continue the main story. This was just like random stuff to do out in the old overworld, I guess. You mentioned going back to the um, city. Think, which. Hang on. There's the city. I might as well get this tower on the way, I feel. And then zip there. I feel like that's a good use of my time. Oh, shit. Hey, Beancat. Welcome in, buddy. Good to see you. Beancat took the mug. Beancat took the mug. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, do I have a bean? I do. I do have a bean. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Bean Cat Gaming is now the Mug King. I still change that to say Mug Ruler, but it's fine. Yo, 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 there we go. 
There we go. How's it going, Bean? Good to see you, buddy. Hope things are well with you. It's going well. Uh, I'm just playing Final Fantasy. They dropped today. I'm having a good time with it. It's surprisingly chill, which is what I've been telling people in surprise, I guess. If nothing else, they close up so people couldn't use it for free. Exactly. If they can't use it, no one can use it. They would have bombed them. I didn't get to be on the, the last mug, so I can um, get this one before it got too expensive. Hey, I'm happy for you being cat. And I was ready for you too. I have a mug here with your name on it. Look, 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 it's ready. It's ready. It's ready. <laughs> a new Chalice Champion arises. Chalice Champion is a good name. Yeah, you're right. That's pretty good. Cap, you've come up with some great ones. Was it you who said the, um, something with Sipper? Do you remember what you said, Cap? Something Sipper. <clears throat> super Sipper? Can't be Super Sipper. It was better than that. See, this? I already forget the ones that you've told me that are good. It has a small counter. Yeah, it does. So basically, uh, I doodle. They're all done by hand, Binka. I doodle anyone's name who has ever done a mug before that I have the name of in the file. Um, so you've t you've you've took a mug beforehand. So I already prepared that in advance for pe people who are new who I don't have a prepared mug for. Of course, I'll write it out for them as well. It's just quicker for me to have done it beforehand, right? Um, if there's any space around or if it just comes to me, I will doodle stuff in there. But I do them quickly because I want it to feel authentic. So. It's also somewhat illegible as well. But, you know, my handwriting's not great. Sipper Sovereign, that's what it was, Cap. I really like that one. I shall yeah. never have the book. What do you mean you'll never? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. We'll, we'll... Thank you. I'm going to take the advantage of this and grab a drink as well. Back. Oh, Wills, your timing was great. Spec was just about to jump into the shower, so she was already half naked. Perfect time for a hug. Right, put this over here. That's awesome, Bean Cat. What have you been up to lately? Got some green tea. Oh, I know it's a canny bit late and I should probably stop streaming and get ready for bed and all that wind down and stuff, but new game has dropped. I'm excited. I want to play more of it and I'm having a really good time with it. Right. <sighs> oh, it is getting a bit chilly, so I'm going to blank it up a little bit too. And I'm hoping to play more of this tomorrow. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, all things going well. And uh, not sure if I'll start on the 12 on the dot, but I'll start around then again. I should be able to get a bit more progress done tomorrow because we won't have um, a puppy nipping at me. Uh, though, I honestly, I admit, when Doggo is here and asleep on me, you know, for like the one or two hours that she wants to sleep, and I'm playing a game, and I've got all the blankets on me and stuff, and she's snoring on me, Wonderful, wonderful feeling. Ugh, fucking love blanky mode, Wills. Uh, stream for the first time in months, it went pretty well. Still don't understand how I used to do it every day. Energy is hard. It is tough being cat man, the energy thing, I, I completely concur. I think it also depends on where you are in your life, right? Like where else that might be sapping from. And like, um, what game it is, who you're doing it with, and how long you're streaming for. There's so many things that go into it, buddy. 
I'm jealous of you. Like, oh, thanks, Cap. I, I don't, um, I, I never want to play down the stuff that I've got, you know? But I also want to, I don't know, I feel the urge to balance it out by telling you also that times are hard. <laughs> and there's a kind of few things that I've been through in recent times that I've really struggled with and I'm still having a really hard time with. Streaming and having the moments with Doggo, the blanket, spec. Uh, these are a lot of things that are keeping me very, very leveled. In the face of all of the stress and personal things that I'm going through. I guess just life in general, I guess. And I I, I do worry about the future a lot, because I'm a, I'm a worrier. All snuggled up, playing new release of Final Fantasy, puppy sleeping on you. Uh, got a hug. Yeah, you're right. That's that's what I mean. It keeps me centered. It totally keeps me centered. Nick Lady in the other room. You're right, Cap. You're right. You're totally right. You know, when I look at it like that, Cap, then it makes sense why I've got all, all these other issues. How else is it going to balance out, you know? I can't have one without the other. It would make no sense. Uh, clearly, you're doing something right if people stick around. Oh, thanks, Will. I appreciate it, buddy. <clears throat> the streaming stuff and the community and people that I meet and hang out with and chat, I am um, very grateful for that. Right now in my life, in terms of like the things that I'm doing with myself, streaming and working on the channel is like my one... Um, is the thing that makes me feel like I'm growing. It's something I can focus in, I can uh, get my attention to, I can harness my energy towards and um, put some pride in. worthwhile and rewarding avenue for me and it, I'll be honest with you I didn't expect it to be I don't know what I expected from jumping into streaming I'll be honest um, and I still don't even know what I'm expecting to do in the future with it but in the same tone I don't think I want to worry myself over too many questions about that I never want to put all my marbles in the basket of doing this for the rest of my life or trying to make this into a thing that's sustainable in kind of which way at some point, inevitably, I will have to work again in some form or fashion. I'm hoping to be able to balance out streaming as a thing I consistently do alongside work, which um, when I get my act together for now, I'm hoping to do more commission work. If I can do some commission work and even roll that into some streaming while I do commission work, I think I could still keep a regular schedule going the way that I have been doing it and still make money, you know? Um... It's been a year since I followed now. No, yeah, it has been a year. It doesn't feel that long. It doesn't. But like fucking Bean Cat, what is time? You know? Uh, I keep mentioning this when people resubscribe and I see the thing pop up um, on people. That like, when I see 12 months pop up, 13 months recently had popped up from like Stumpin' and Tulls. I, I was like, holy crap. It's like seeing a number like that in, in in on the screen reminding me how long it's been. Aff just affiliate, not even just streaming, is really fucking wild to me. Oh, and also, um, I was watching some videos the other day on my channel because I was trying to find a video for someone. And then, um, I, what was it? Oh, it was Metal Gear on the Engage. I was watching when we were doing Metal Gear Mundas, right? And I was doing the, the Engage version of Metal Gear Solid. And I was just watching it. And in, and I'm glad I did this now in hindsight. In the background on my overlay, I always put like a follower goal. Or like how many followers I currently have. Um, not because I'm necessarily... How do I word it? I like doing it because I think aesthetically it looks cool. I like to have some sort of bar or some sort of numbering. Um, and I had like around 100 people or something when I was doing that. And that blows my mind, because I don't feel like I did that that long ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, w w where did the other, like... 
uh, 200 people come from. <laughs> oh, it's fucking wild. I'll commission you. Let me check my bank account. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Cap. I appreciate it, buddy. I will have a commission sheet up soon. Like, just to... Sh I, I want people to see what I offer so that they can specifically be like, oh, I want this for this. Does that mean make sense? Like, I need a sheet like that. The PNG tuber stuff was something that I was also interested in uh, highlighting and hoping that people do. I put the um, the five free ones on Ichio and <clears throat> Kofi, Kofi, whatever, a little while ago. And it's been steadily getting views and downloads. No one has got in touch with me about it. I was hoping that if anyone did end up using it, um, I would love not to get a shout out specifically, but just to uh, read about people or watch people use it. And it's had like maybe 50 downloads, but no one has messaged me about it. I'm hoping they're getting used somewhere in Twitch or somewhere, but I can't tell, you know? Maybe some people are just downloading it just to see the art and assemble it and just trying it out. Who knows? But yeah, I'm hoping to work more on those kind of things too. But yeah, it means a lot to me. This whole thing has meant a great deal to me. And this is all going to accumulate to, you know, streaming Dead S Death Stranding 2 on stream. That's inevitably where we're all ending, you know? So oh, fuck. What are these things? Mandrakes. Uh, prevent enemies from using quick nap. Stagger enemies. Defeat all enemies within the time limit. Bollocks. Um... Oh, that thing's almost killing me. Fire. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, does anyone have fire? Fire? Fire! I'm gonna die, huh? Oh boy. Killed it. Damn it. I need a stagger. I'm gonna have to retry this one. I can see Red 13 off in the distance. What the hell is he doing? Oh, I need to heal. Oh no, I died. Damn it. That was rough. That was a very impressive battle just now. Well done. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. I don't believe there's two of them. I don't believe there's two of them. Uh, I would like to retry that. Hang on. I need to heal a lot. I don't have MP. I don't have anything. Uh, is there a bench nearby? Bench is all the way over there. Can I fast travel to the bench? How will you travel to this location? Walk? Weird. Okay. <clears throat> yes. I will use my one cushion.
It's so funny to me that we have to use a disposable cushion for that one. Oh, you can zip back there? Oh, great. <clears throat> Zoom in on poster? Oh, hang on. Let me get, like, behind it. Uh, like here. There we go. Uh, Loveless and Air Music Gallery. We are music lovers. What does that say? Station... Station Edge Building? Uh, East Station Edge... Um... Something office, head office. Uh, hotel... Edge, maybe? Southern... Can't make that out. And then I can't make the bottom one exactly. Huh. But hey, it opens up 25th to the 6th. We've got plenty of time. If anyone's interested in catching some Loveless with me, I'm, you know. Being able to fast travel to these points is really cool. They can, like, redo these challenges, I guess, anytime. Okay, prevent from using quick nap. Let's try again. <clears throat> Spells. Fire. Do it. Spells. Uh, fire blade. Do it. Nice. Oh, nice. You don't have to do them all in the same um, go. I thought you had to. Okay, that's nice. Cool. Yeah, I'll take it. <clears throat> Might as well do this since we're here. Yeah, I'm enjoying the open world so far. I didn't think I'd say that about a Farm Hansi game. <clears throat> I was going to say as well, Cap, if you're serious about a commission and stuff, you can always DM me some details of what you're after. And I can always give you like a um, like a price and a time and stuff just between us. If it's something that, like, because I, I need to prepare a lot to get my commission stuff up to date. I would always welcome people going through my DMs or asking me outright. Like, uh, I remember Kiki messaged me directly about stuff. That's how we ended up doing the uh, the PNG tuba stuff for that. <clears throat> and especially while I'm starting out, I don't feel like... Uh, I'll, I'll only accept it really from people who... Um, like you or like Kiki, people that I've known for a while. This is so pretty. Oh yeah, I came here for a reason. I was going this way. Can I swim through there? Nah. Gotta find me a waterfall and see if there's a hidden cave in it. I'm always so disappointed in video games where they make waterfalls and don't hide something behind it. What is the point then? Ah, it's another one of these. Yeah, follow the owl. It is an owl. I can confirm. Whoa, that's a shit ton of stuff. That owl wasn't too far away from the spot. I don't feel like it did much work to get us here. Please stop flying in circles. I 
was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. I recommend uh -huh. searching for it. Is that not going to happen until I do all three? Oh no, wait, it has popped up. Interesting. I mean... Guys, it's exceptionally rare data. I feel like we have to go and do that first before I go back to the city. Exceptionally rare data. Whoa. Ah, yar, me baby's got caught off the edge. Oh, see what I mean about the jank? <laughs> I wish they just leaned into it fully and just let me jump off anything. I get you can't, but come on, it'd be nice though, wouldn't it? Uh, which way am I going? The wrong way. Cool. <clears throat> I think I already uh, assessed these ones. Mode, you can only uh, counter physical attacks, you can't do range stuff. I'll have to see like comparisons between the uh, the remake and rebirth when it comes to the combat. Because it feels really similar, but for some reason I feel like I've got a grip on this combat system much easier than I did with the remake. Oh, what's going on? It's the music. Oh, it's like a treasure one. It's going to be those goons again. Oh no, it's different. It's with a chocobo. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I know how it works. Yep, I know. Yeah, um, I need to do... Uh, scent. And then... Oh, there we go. That's the first one. You need to get on top of this thing. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. Oh, this is awkward. Well, it's not really my fault that it's on something so stupid, is it? Wait. Oh, it's behind the... Oh, well, that's embarrassing. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Hang on, I know what I'm doing, I swear. There we go, okay. There's not a time limit, right? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. good. That's quite the transmuter chip you found. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Is that Even right? Rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. That's great, kid. All right, next. Um... Yeah, that one's gone now, so that must have been that one. Oh, hello. Um, down. No, up, up, up is, up is descent, yeah. Oh, there we go. Somewhere over here, I guess. Give it to me. Chip armor upgrade one. Cool. Okay, we're missing one more. Oh, somewhere around here. Hey, oh. Yeah, Red 13 was on the case. He was so close. 
cushion. Isn't that all of them? Oh, that's what it was then, huh? Side hustle. Fast travel to this location. Fast travel to that one. Yeah, let's let's head here. <clears throat> yeah, we're back in time. What's this guy's symbol about? Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. It's like his name is Snaps. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cloud. Pause. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. <laughs> you got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? Whoa, so, easy. Apparently, there's a rather Take me out spot first. Not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. Uh-huh. Okay, Doc. Well, that's something else we can do. Some of these people look so... Like, I wonder if I saw screenshots of these people without, you know, these Final Fantasy-ass characters behind me. Whether or not we'd be able to tell if this was a Final Fantasy game. By the way they dress them, you know? They don't look like they're particularly within a universe at all. They just look like... People. Look at the father with the briefcase. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> anyway. Everyone, ah. Please. Oh, I was starting to work. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never you like the scarf. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up. How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It's sprung a leak. I've uh -huh. got a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? Inquire about the pipeline, ask about this merc, take the job? Yeah, let's inquire first. It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. It carries a portion of Midgar's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. Makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. Right. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment. Recovering from a fiend attack, we asked Shinra to send someone to fill in. Anyone who knows the work. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. Okay. I don't think that really told me about the merc. Capital. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that Bellinger is hard of the Bellinger line. The warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple "it's coming along" would suffice. We are working as hard as we can to get the power. Okay, do I need to set this as my main objective or... Oh, I think it's already on the map. Wait, where to go? I guess it's taking place outside? Yeah, is this is this it? The maintenance... Yeah, this is, this is the mission, I think. 
Um, yeah, let's do this first, I guess. So can I... Hang on. Um, I don't think I need to set it as a marker because it's already labeled. But can I, like, zoom here? Yeah. Um, th this is cool. Them making every single activity spot its own fast travel spot is, is neat. You know, it, it adds, like, extra incentive to do them. Right, what's the best way to get there? If I just follow the pipe? Yeah. But the pipe goes up. Oh, burp! Where are we going, burp? Oh, this this bird is putting in the work. Hunting goes down from like miles away, leading us all the way over here. Ah, oh, that music. This makes me want to watch <clears throat> Advent Children again. If I get into the in Final Fantasy VII series again, I'd like to go back to the classic. I did play it a long ass time ago, but I don't remember the story beat so well. And I'd like to play some of the spin-off games that I never got around to. I never played that, um... What was it? Uh, Dirge of Cerberus, the Vincent Valentine spin-off. And that kind of looked like it was kind of my jam, I don't know. Cool beans? Okay, but that's not what we came here for. But we are not too far away. Should I stay on this side of the pipe or the other side? Guess the other side. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. How do I get down? Ooh, hello. Got a cushion, thank god. Place look fresh out of Merc's to me. Did someone say Merc? I know you. You're that sector five chick who was shitting on Avalanche. Who was <laughs> shitting on Avalanche? Is that Cloud? But I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. I know she was in the previous one. I don't remember her. Spec, do you remember her? Do you remember this character? Okay. Spec said, of course not. Maintenance mode. Yeah. So, God, is this a side quest for the side quest? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Okay. Sweet. I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for Zeus and Wolf. Don't like her. Don't like her. With the music, it was like a seventies melody. What are we doing exactly? Oh. Uh, okay. It's nice when chat imagines me as a naked lady in the other room. <laughs> was it inaccurate? Oh, you're not being sarcastic. 
You're in the other room, you were naked. You're a lady. That all checks out, no? Mm -hmm. Moin. <laughs> Was I imagining you naked in the shower? No comment. <laughs> When people say, like, they're imagining you, I, I can only assume it's based on the emotes <laughs> <laughs> that we have. <laughs> so, 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 like, hang on. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find the emotes that we have of you. Yeah, it's basically these. Oh, we have four of your emotes now. Look at that. It's this in the shower. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry, there's a fifth one. Yeah, Wills is right. There we go. I was thinking of another emote for lurking, and I was I was thinking about having, uh, reusing your emote that you have here, right? And one of mine, and having it, like, disappear and reappear as me and you. I thought that would be a kind of simple one to do, because it's already drawn, and we just need to animate them sneaking in and out of you. Am I going the right way? Actually, it's just the word speck in it. Flying in space, taking a shower. <laughs> Your cap. Real talk, what font is it though? Is it sans serif? You might need to ad quote that, by the way. Incredible. Yes, exactly, it's sick. Like the spider word for arachnophobia made one in lethal company. Oh my god. Oh, that's so silly. <laughs> uh, did we get this one? We did. Uh, I need this one next. I should probably find uh, weapons for these people so that they can learn how to uh, do the thing. Sure, that was not big at all. When when you use an item, a weapon, sorry, you learn its uh, special property. So the Hello. Buster Sword, for example. Oh, she does deserve a hook for that. You're right. Thank you. Welcome in, Kirk. Good to see you, Blood. How you doing, man? Hooray! You're the second person I've yelled Blood at. Blood! How are you doing, Blood? Ah, oh, good to see you, Kirk. Hope you are well. Hope things are good with you. Um, I assume it's very early for you over there. Commiserations. Uh, focus slash... Yeah, I've got both of them, by the looks of it. I can switch back over to this one, which is good because it gives me an extra ability. I think it's just better overall. Um... I don't think there's other... Hang on. Oh! This one does have another ability. See that? It says Arcade... <clears throat> Arcane Ward. And this one is Chrono. I'll let her finish the Chrono one first. And then this one's got Dive Kick. I guess I have to use them to get the ability? Hmm. Hmm. Is that how it works? I'll, I'll have to read up on it again. I haven't played cards with someone in a while. I want to do that again. Uh, waking up and hearing your voice. Oh, thank you, Kirk. That's. I assume this is a sweet thing because you stuck a heart on the end. I'm not just going to make assumptions based on anything. Now, if only I could hug spec too. Oh, Kirk, you know there's um, there's always a hug waiting for your blood. I call your blood again. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with me today. I think I've just been streaming for a long time, Kirk, but I'm having a really good time with this game. I don't know if you're interested in getting around to this at some point. It's incredibly chill. Holy mother of scrap metal! We a go, guys! When we're finished, that pipe will be good as new. I bet we could even charge extra. Now then, follow me, would you? Let's not 
keep my money. I, I mean, the pie waiting. I don't trust her. I think we should just kill her. There's no one else out here. Look, it's completely barren. Oh fuck! I wasn't paying attention. Where did you go? I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, never letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face. Bella Merck, defend me! What? Time to take out the trash. Oh, you're talking about those enemies over there? Are you for real? Oh, okay. Okay, I need to learn how to use her again. I think through a rock. There we go. Tifa is so fun to use. Let's get going. I want to play it eventually. There's been one minute since the last blood <laughs> incident. <laughs> they just keep happening, honestly. I didn't I didn't expect this game to be so chill, Kirk. Like the open world like side like little mini quests and stuff that you're doing is has been surprisingly re relaxing and the backdrop is so beautiful. I've kind of just got a bit immersed in the story, like, in, in the world, sorry, and kind of not given up on the story, but like I'm in no rush, which has not happened with a video game with me in a long time. And you're sure that you can fix this? There we go. That was a previous bloody. Uh huh. Mm. Hang on, that doesn't look right. Oh god, why does that just look like a straight up dick? Oh come on, like you weren't thinking it. God, I do not like this. Okay, we need to assess this. Um Cloud take a good look at it. I got your number. Uh, fungal creatures that mutated due to macro exposure. They spew highly poisonous spores. Explain the weakness to do it. Fire, who would have thought? Yeah, mine's weak to fire as well. Can't do spells, so I guess we'll have to do this. Whoa, easy. There we go, staggered it. <laughs> He's dicky boy, Fungal <laughs> Dick. Come on, Kirk. You should get that checked out. I know, right? <laughs> that looked nasty. There's no way they did that and they, the entire team let it fly and no one was like, hey, no one thinks that that kind of looks a bit like a dick? This music is really loud compared to the dialogue still. Oh no. I just forgot what they look like. Very hard to avoid that thing that it does. Uh, can we steal something from them? Failed, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I can pull off any of the synergy stuff yet. Yeah. Oh my god. Are they rough? Fuck. Not good for the HP department. There we go. Yeah, that should be enough to... I can't heal. Use an item. 
Where is the uh, synergy moves? Hmm, maybe I didn't set them properly? Can I set them now? No. I had them with a uh, red 13 and with a uh, Barrett, but not with these two. Oh, hello. You know what? If we have summon, I haven't seen Shiva yet. There she is. Summon ability, icicle impact. Do it. Nice. It's a shame you can't get like direct control over them, but I guess this is better than nothing. But I'd like them to come in and like have the ability to be like, fuck it, just use your big move, you know? Finish this off. I'll do it. Nothing. Forget her. Repairs are done. Let's go see Fritz. Yeah, the music is starting to worry me now. It doesn't feel like it's right. Right, combat settings. Unlearned offensive skill. Huh. Yeah, see, I've got bullet batter and howling smash there as synergy skills. And howling smash there. But I have nothing here. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'll have to check that. Maybe I need to upgrade their um the book thingy, the sphere grid equivalent in this game. Right, I guess I'm heading back. Can I teleport to like something else here or not? Oh, before we head back, should we? No, wait, we should head back first. I was going to think about taking that photo, but we should fix this first so the music stops. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Checks out. Yep. She was moist not not like ten minutes ago. There you are. I heard everything from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? I'm not sure. <laughs> confirmed <laughs> live. <laughs> For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> yeah. Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she Money. set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow Mercs be compensated. Sweet. I don't know why specifically my relationship with Barrett got better. Alright, um, what do I need? I need to... I wanted to buy things. Like weapons and shit. Oh, you're here too. That's convenient. Um, where where are things to buy? Where are things to buy? That's an inn. Yeah, rest spot. We should probably go to the rest spot as well, actually. This snaps. No, that's the guy. The books are over there. We should do that. And what's a side hustle? Yeah, that's another thing we need to do. Oh shit! There's a thing here. I don't even have. I thought there were shops here though, wasn't there? Like shop shops, shops that you buy things from. Can they be marked? Maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. Oh wait, there, 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 there. Yeah, now where am I? <laughs> there I am, so it's like to my left. Straight up. Maybe up here? Hey. Let me know if something piques your interest. It does, sir. All right. 
I already got this, so it's already sold out. Uh, oh, he doesn't have any of the weapons. He's got more of these, which I could buy. Hmm. Strengthen by 5%. Revest earrings. Hmm. Kind of hoping for another weapon. I guess I could buy one of these and then uh, maybe buy some materia for the other characters. Yeah, I'll buy one more of these. I'm thinking about setting it up with um, with Aerith and having her have like a bunch of different magic spells. Or at least having all the characters be able to do at least a couple of elements each to kind of cover our bases. Now, who would sell Materia? Um, maybe the kid sells Materia to me for some currency. I'm sure there's probably multiple ways to get it. Just there's been so much, so many tutorials and info dumping in this game. Made it a popular kind of forgot where things are. For former Shinra employees. And now that I am here, it is not difficult to see why. Okay. Develop materia. Oh, he has very specific materia. Yeah, he's got like the fire and ice thingy. Auto casting and morph and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the auto casting is interesting because like you can buy seven of them, right? So I'm guessing it means that you could give it to everyone. Have them use spell that linked, yeah. Um, I guess I should just buy this. Give it to someone at least. By the way, Cloud, have you made any progress lately in the hunt for that proto relic I mentioned before? If not, don't worry. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. Anyway, uh, just checking in. It took me long didn't like that exchange. Oh, notice board. Yeah, this is the stuff they wanted me to do, didn't they? Uh, a rare card lost. Oh my god, a card. A card thingy. Uh, lifeline in peril. Oh, so we found this organically. So you can just find them out in the world too. Cool. Well, this one, 100%. Accepting that. And then, yeah, accepting that. Something good has to be in store for me after suffering through that interrogation. Oh, th I'm in the wrong place. What am I looking at? Hang on, I know exactly where to put Cloud. There we go. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Cloud, you can do it. Yeah, well, never mind. Um... Yeah, let's do these two before we call it a day. I want to... Do the card one for sure. Bartender's request. Where are they? These the, now? Uh, speak with the bartender. Yep, that's the one. That's directly behind me. Hey, bartender. What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Excuse me. <laughs> That's good enough for me. <laughs> Did you hear that? And I could really he asked him if he was a winner, and Cloud was like, "Yes, yeah, some say." Blood match. Hard. So not only did my ego take a licking, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. Oh, mate, you came to the right person. You came to the right person. What card was it? Just. Chocobo and Moogle one. It's <laughs> And the one high value card in my whole deck. It was the only get thing it. getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. Drunks! <laughs> oh my god, the guy really gave a performance. I get it. I'm a bartender too. You are? So then you know. Okay, get it back yourself. God damn it, Cloud. Come on, man. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. 
Not sure what that exchange was. Challenge to a match? Yeah! Hang on, what's... Why are we challenging him to a match? Uh, you... You now own a card that can lower the per power of... Or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it is destroyed and the position it was accompanying becomes as empty again. There are also cards whose abilities activate only when they are destroyed or enfeebled. Therefore, sometimes it benefits you to use enfeeblement uh, abilities on your own cards rather than your opponent's. Part of the fun of Queen's Blood is finding novel ways to win. Oh my god, that's so exciting. So exciting. Alright, what card did I... Oh, that's right, I got all these fun cards. Um, I want one of these. 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 I've got so many new cards! I want one of these. I want one of these. I want one of these. Um, I want another one of these. Uh, this has a little star on it. Why do you have a star on it? Can I can I see can I see you? When when played, lower the power of allied and an enemy cards on affected tiles by three. He's the one who's got that. I can't take this many cards in. I got twenty four cards. I can only make a deck of fifteen. Help! Someone send help. All right. Um, I should lower the amount of double cards. I guess. Got too many cards. Oh fuck! Jumbi! Jumbi! Is it awake time already? It is that time, Jumbi. I'm sorry. You might as well get the, get the coffee going, Jumbi. Are you a coffee drinker, Jumbi? Whenever I listen to you, you seem so relaxed and calm. I can't imagine that you drink coffee. I feel like you've surpassed the need for coffee. I am not. Yeah, you don't strike me as a coffee drinker. Uh, it's one of those things. I, I do drink coffee on occasions, but I wouldn't try to pull someone else in into the coffee grind, you know? You're not missing out. How you doing, Jumbie? Good to see you, though. Uh, what am I doing again? I need to reduce some of these. I can't take all these in with me. Um, no, I want that one back. Give me, give, give me, give me, give me back. I gotta stop taking this many twos in. Okay, I'm gonna take that one off for now. I'm gonna keep the rat. Take that one off. Take that one off for now. Oh, there's still so many cards. Can I not ask it to make me a deck? Craft pre-made deck. Start a deck all for one. Oh, I see. Pre-made. I get it. I get it. No, then I'll do it myself. Bastards. Um, take one of those off. Five more cards to take off. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think this is a terrible idea, but we're doing it. Begin the match! I have ascended way beyond uh, you mere coffee mortals. Some things. <laughs> Doing good. Slept late. Awesome. But here we are. How you been? Been alright, actually. I'm surprised, Jombie, with how chill this game has been. I was expecting to be hit over the head with just like, you know, full dump Final Fantasy anime lore for the past like 5-6 hours or whatever. And I was gonna need to go to bed. But I've just been engaging with most of the open world. And random side quests and stuff. And I've actually been really enjoying it. It's been a really relaxing, fun time. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be on much longer. But I'm happy to keep going for a bit more. I'm really enjoying it. And this card game. Oh my god, this card game. The music. Do you hear that? God damn it. Me too, Jumbi. I find that like... You know, I haven't been streaming for too long. I've been doing this for like a year, right? And I find that like... I I definitely feel what's the word um self-conscious about taking my time with video games and I'm trying to break that a little bit you know so I'm I'm glad that I found a game where naturally I want to take my time in oh, oh yeah sorry I was that was I I thought you know we yeah that too I guess right, let's fucking do this all right what am I doing uh that takes two that takes one uh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Vash, what you got, mate? What you got? No, I get you, but uh, I'd... I'd say always play games at your own pace. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. What's wrong, Lynn? You, you've met Spec before. You know how moist she likes it, generally speaking. Oh, that. That's a good card. Ah, they're all good cards. I'm gonna use this one.
I've kind of liked the ebb and flow of having something at this pace, you know? And and I know when you stream for a long time, because I know you do this as well, Jombie. Like, you get people coming in at different times, uh, you know, depending on time zones and stuff, and that's really nice, too. What is this? Oh, it's behind it? That's fascinating. Huh. Could probably do this one. Hmm. This is also a one. Yeah, that would be good, too. This is a two. Oh, that hits a thing. Sneaky. I'm going to use that next, I think. Um... This music's got really hard. Yeah, put it here. What do you got? Hmm? Okay, okay. So can I use the, the rat now? And destroy that card? Oh my god, you can't! Yo, that's brutal! Okay, uh... I want to make... I want to use that card, but it's risky. If I do this first, then I can, I think. Um, Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. As long as he doesn't take that thing above me, I think I've got this. So I'm going to play this card, which costs two pawns on this, and it's going to make the bottom left a three, and I'm going to be able to use my magic pot there to make the middle one more powerful. Oh, card games. So now I can use this, and that'll make that a three. Oh, I could also use these. Fuck, I also... He's kind of took the other two spaces, though. I think that might have fucked me over a little bit. Mm. Oh, this is my last play. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. He might have this. I guess my brain isn't processing because no food. Been there before, then. I've had uh, some people trying to get me to play uh, a game I'm enjoying faster. And it's like, hello, no. You play it your way, I'll play it mine. Right. 100% zombie, yeah. I've also, like, um, resorted to... not. It depends on the game, right? Of course. <clears throat> but I've also resorted to being like, I want to try to stream the moments, the story, the big things. And if there's other things that are, like, busy work or whatever, and I don't mind doing some of that stuff offline, it really depends on the game. But so far for this one, I'm not trying to overthink it or anything like that. I'm just really enjoying the pacing so far. Uh, I think I fucked up. I think we've lost this one. I'm going to pass. See what he does, and then forfeit and restart. Oh, we were so close. We lost by one point. <coughs> Bless you, Spec. Holy shit. You can close the door if you like, if that's what's doing it. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to try the same deck. I don't think my deck was an issue. It was just, it was just me. <laughs> Some cookies I found them under my seat. Cheers, Jumby. I love warm cookies. You're so thoughtful. Um, I'm gonna switch none of these. Let's fucking go. Warm, right? Yeah, I I mean you were sat on them, right? He's also got the same one, that's fine. That's fine, you can have the same one. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Have it. Okay, I really want to put something in the middle there. Um, I can't put that in the middle, I just want to take that square before he does. This would be it. No, that's a two. Has to be a one. Has to be a one. Uh, this would be pretty decent, I think. Yeah. Okay, I need to take that top one now, I think. Oh, I could take the one next to it, potentially. He's going to take the bottom one now, though, if I'm not careful. He fucking did too, didn't he? Dickhead. Take it back. I'm not even looking at the numbers. I'm just pissed at him. 
I'm going to have to give him the bottom roll, though. I think the bottom roll is definitely his at this point. i to be real careful what I do here. Uh, I could boost that up to a 7. I could put that up to a 5. Yeah, maybe I should just forfeit the bottom line. Um. Ooh, or I could make it into a 3. What would that benefit me? It would benefit me. Okay. Then I can use Magic Pot. Last turn, baby. Fucking go, gamers. Hey, Erica, welcome in. I know Erica's fucking cards. Oh, you have no idea how uh, how much I enjoy this game. It's like Gwent with Triple Triad with like um, a hint of something else that I've forgotten. I've been streaming for so long, my brain's kind of lost. Look, listen, Jombie, you say whatever comes to mind, Jombie. If, if that's if the cookies are warm, they're warm. Eee, we did it. Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll be Virgil, no prob. That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took. How you doing, by the way, Erica? Good to see you too. Tower. Mind kicking his ass for me? And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great we have to get Pebs on this now, just so we can gamble points. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town. Right, uh, who are we finding it? Yeah, track down Virgil. Yeah. Wow, congratulations! Uh, doing the same old, same old. Gamble all the wrong stream. <laughs> I guess everyone's got like a gambling thing. I guess I'm behind on this. Is he up here somewhere? Only the best beer sold here. Yep. I'm convinced. How do I get to that? Um, I'm trying to get to this thing here. Oop, bugger, hang on. How do I get to that? I love wooden dolls. How did he know? Guaranteed to bring you closer to that special someone too. Brings you good luck and keeps you safe too. There's nothing you can't do. So game is wild. I think I'm getting close to this person. We found him. We found him. He has a number 2 on his head. I don't think I've ever fought a number 2 before. Oh, care for a match? I think we're in trouble. Here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah. The card. So this guy's suited up. This. It's called addiction, yeah. I probably shouldn't um, encourage it any more than it's already been encouraged. Is that what you're saying, Erica? But word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. I think this is the most this is the toughest one we've ever faced. I'm gonna go in there with the deck that we just won with, but I'm not hundred percent confident in this one. Um Oh boy, I kinda wanna add like this, but it's such an expensive card, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, I shouldn't fuck around too much. Let, let, let's just try with the deck that we have, and then I'll try to come up with a, a strat if we if we fuck up. You can take the twos, I believe. I know I'm thinking that too, but if there's too many of them, then we can't use them. You know what I mean? Right, let's try this. I shouldn't have brought the man uh, the mandra mandragora. I don't think it's very good. I just put it on my team because it's new. You know what I mean? It's the way my brain works. Like, the, the, the Levricon here is just better in every way. I should just get rid of those and add more of those. Now that I'm looking at them side by side, this one is literally just twice as strong. See what I mean, Erica? I'm making stupid mistakes. He opened up with the same card. Respect. Ooh, and then a minion popped up. Maybe that's a special ability of the Mangragorda then? Maybe that's why. Huh. Ooh, Cacto, 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 Cacto. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah. Fuck it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, son of a bitch. Did it. He was going to. I just didn't believe. I think that might bite me in the ass, but we'll see. Okay, so I want to play this card to power up the one above me. But that doesn't give me the bottom right. I want the bottom right one. Um, This one won't give me that. This one won't give... Oh, that would pave the way. Ah, damn it. We'll do this one first. Alright, and now I need to race across the bottom as quickly as I can. Uh, lower the power of the affected tile. Yeah. No one's there right now. I could make it a two. Would that benefit me in any kind of which way? I just need to run across it. Um, Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? That would help, and I might get a three later. Let's do this. It's a bit vanilla, but I think it'll do the job. Yes. Yes, this will do nicely. This will do fucking... Nicely. Um, <clears throat> I think he's done. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done. This is just about me finishing this off. Okay, hear me out. So if I stick the magic pot here, it makes the one above stronger and makes the one below stronger. I need to make the above a tiny bit stronger and the below one tiny bit stronger to win this. At the moment, we're neck and neck. So if I do this one, I win. I do this one, I win. <laughs> I win, I think. I think we're good. But I win harder if I do this. There we go. I won harder. I'm happy with that. Oh, this is fun. This is good shit. I I wasn't expecting um, <clears throat> a Gwent like in this. Pleasantly surprised. Ah, Very damn. happy would do again. I really lost. It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and oh my I God! They have a thing there for umbrellas, it. and Cloud uses it for but, his sword. Uh, not today. Got to run. Hold it. You are. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Bash, right? Oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? This is kind of awkward, no, but I'm going to have to stab a motherfucker. I, I flipped it. I was on my last guild, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Jumbo, you can't gamble me. Can't be worth the that much. Job is never done. Am I right? Okay. This, the side quest got more complicated. Track down Thorin. Isn't that one like Odinson's? Thorin, 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 Thorin. The fuck is Thorin? The fuck is Thorin doing out here? Alright, well. Oh, there's a card shop. Um, where he is, which I, I went to earlier and it was locked. He's a level three. He's a level three. Do you see that three number? Fuck me sideways. I am going to save the game first. All right, let me in. There he is. Oh my God. Look at this room. It's full of cards. Holy mother of Mary. Are those cards? Like, not flipped over? It's kind of weird. Wouldn't this be a good way to showcase the cards and not the back of the card? He's doing it wrong. Hey there. You folks buying You're worth stuff? one ass. I will gamble you for one ass. <laughs> like a working one, Jombie? What condition we're talking? At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. Thorin, I'm gonna dabble so, you so fucking hard. 
Oh, we can buy cards. <gasps> he sells cards. Holy shit. Oh, you, you can buy a Titan card and you can buy a fat chocobo. Mm. Fucking buy that. Buy that. Yes, yes. Challenge. Let's go. Let's go, Thorin. Then bust out those cards, boy. <clears throat> I'm going to bust them out on your face. As equals as what Eric said. I thought you said fat chocobo for a second. I did. Oh, no, not fat chocobo. I said fat chocobo. Yep. Um, okay. I'm going to edit deck. We've established that I shouldn't get this one, but it does have an ability on it. Let me. When played, add Madragora minion. Right. Okay. Now we're just going to get rid of it. There is a queen bee. That's kind of cool. There's fat chocobo. Look at this card. Look at this card. Look at this card. Look at this card. Are you looking at this card? We're adding the card. And there's a Titan card as well, which is kind of sick. We're adding that too. We don't have space for all this. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, We have to get rid of a single card. Singular card has to disappear. I want to keep the rat because it's kind of fun. I guess we could get rid of this one because I haven't found much use for it. Yeah, there we go. I don't think I'm ever going to have three pawns ready to use a fat chocobo, but fuck it. It's a fat chocobo. How can I not want to use it? Uh, we could all use a fat <laughs> a chocobo fight in our lives. Nothing says winning like chemical warfare. You're totally right. Uh, Let's keep that one and let's change this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like a thing. Ah, uh, these cards are pretty basic, which is a bit of a shame. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky as we get along. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it with Cactor. Fucking Chunker of a Chocobo. I know. I know. I want to hug one of them. Me too. I just want to sleep on one. I just want to get lost. What card is that? Raises power by one... For each other enhanced allied card. Yo, it's just straight up Chocobo. Um, okay. Got a two. We've only got this as a two, which we can't use just yet. Could make that a three. Or we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. I'm kind of making the, my top row a bit shit. So I'm fighting on the middle and bottom, I guess. Oh, uh, there's a two there already, which is kind of nice. Make it a three. Make it a three. Don't do it, oh, bitch. Okay, we could do that to, like, disrupt the thing above it. Hmm. Oh, that won't do. That's a two, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I need to disrupt the bottom, I think. I think this is the best player. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm questioning myself. Hmm. I've got an idea. I got an idea. It's a bit risky, but it might. Hmm. It might. Hmm. I don't know. I'll. I think this is fucked. But let's try. Got a pretty shitty hand. Yeah. A one here. We'll turn that into a two. He's gonna start throwing some heavy hitters at the top now, I know it. Yeah. Okay, the top row he's got. I need to win in the bottom and the middle row. <gasps> fat chocobo, fat chocobo. We could do a fat chocobo in the middle. That would actually work. Um <clears throat> would that benefit us? It will. Ooh, hang on, hang on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, this takes a three. Oh, guys, guys, guys. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Give it to me. Oh, did you see those chips fall on me? Twelve? Twelve? Do you see that number? Twelve? Are you kidding me? Are you, you see that five and you see that twelve? Twelve? Oh. Oh, we can make it Bigger. Bigger. Clearly, I'm too good at this. This is ridiculous. 
I want to eat a singular slice of pizza. You do that, John, but you live your life. I hope it's a massive, chunky margarita piece. I don't know why that ended up going so well, but I'm going to take it. Chocobo Moogle, there it is. Raise power by one for each other enhanced allied cards. That's pretty good. For like a 1-1, one, one, that's a really good card. That's a really good card. You've got some Feed the chunk! Skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. What do you mean, the next time? What does he mean? What does he mean? Hey, you been working on your deck at all? You got any of the cards? No, then you're dead to me. Thank you for your patronage. I'll be back. That was fun. Uh, some enemies. I saw some resources. Where are they? Oh, there they are. We'll take. Uh, and we'll head back to here. Can I zip directly to this or no? No, I have to, like, be on the outskirts, I guess. Uh, I guess this is the closest. There's one way to get in, I guess. Yo, Kiki! Welcome! Kiki, how do you feel about cards? There's a rat on one of my cards. I think you'll like it. <laughs> yeah, I live there. Sorry, Jombi. <laughs> I love what you did with the place. This is just like Final Fantasy 15, but gear somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm thoroughly enjoying it so far. It's really good. It's really good. The open world actually feels like the stuff to do, and it's fun to go around it. Though, admittedly, there isn't like a, a vehicle. I would have liked an actual vehicle. I mean, I've got a Chocobo, but I wouldn't call a Chocobo a vehicle. I like how it's been looking at uh, Balatro lately. Balatro? <clears throat> it's wonderful, Jumbi. The colors on the wall. Oh, man. I need to go find where that mission was. There's a mini game, Kiki, card game, mini game in this, like, uh, Triple Triad or um, Gwent, and it's really fucking good. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've and considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely... I'm playing Balatro currently? What is Balatro? Why have I not heard about this? It's probably better off for you. I use my own feces. Ah, that's how you got the sh the shading so so good. And good the, the, the forming mist. That's a way uh -huh. my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two? Oh, it's a roguelike card game. So, like Slayer the Spire. Cool. Left after the Sector 7 tragedy. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm with you, Jombie. Why, you know, why settle for your throne as the only place that you make the art and just make the wall your throne? I respect it. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Maybe I will. Is this a recent release, Wills? Although apparently my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. The world is my oyster. The world is is your refuses to order it again. Your canvas. Of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Tifa likes it salty. Don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that seventh heaven bartender. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening. Wait, can you make me a Cosmo Canyon? <clears throat> can you make me a Cosmo Canyon? Make sure my Chocobo and Moogle card gets its in the sun, alright? Spec paused for the longest time and then said no. <laughs> Thanks, Spec. Love you too. It's a drink, isn't it? It was like a week ago. Okay. Cool. 
Right, that one's done. Uh, we have one more to do. Speak with a farmer to hear the details. Where is this farmer you speak of? Uh, is he in the overworld? Ah, so he is. Cows. I know you can't pet them, I already tried. I know you can't kill them either. I heard from someone I haven't tried, obviously. Okay, this is what I needed to do. Shit, I've got a shit ton of SP I need to update. Okay, give me a second, this might take a little bit. Alright, what do we have? Punisher mode, stronger damage by 3%. Increase max HP, yeah. That to me. Oh, by the way, what does this symbol look like to, to y'all, by the way? I think what it's meant to be is like, you know, um, you're flexing your bicep, right? It's two people flexing a bicep and then wrapping their arm around one another. You all see that? I can't tell what else it's meant to be. Dip slapping. I don't. Jombie, you know, I, I don't think it is. I hope it's not. Now that I look at it. What's it mean? And attacks and Yeah, we should probably get that. Tentacles. God, it's always fucking tentacles, isn't it? Ice magic without expending N MP. Yeah, that's not bad. Wind magic. I need that. Something else. Enough SP. Yeah, okay. Aerith! What is this? Wide range. Only of fire magic without expending. Okay. I'm gonna buy this. I've got Aerith and Tifa as one of my setups, so I'm gonna try to make them with Cloud. Release magic lightning without expending. Yeah, if I've got wind sorted out, then let's give her fire. And what's this? Increase fleeting familiar duration. Uh, I'm not using Aerith very much, so I'm not going to worry about like her other abilities. I find it kind of hard to use. If the, if the person's not punching people, I find it hard to use. I'm all about punching people. Who's this? Tifa? Okay. Magic? No. That would be cool. I want this. How do I get that? There we go. Wonderful. We have five left. What's this? Nah, that's just wind. What's this? Level three. I'll save the SP. Nothing feels right just yet. The brain, the brain sees what it wants to see. And that checks out for all of us then. Uh, which then speaks volumes about the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two arms crisscross. Right, right. But it's, isn't... I don't know why I think it's such a strange way of symbolizing a union attack. You know what I mean? Uh, it wouldn't be the first thing I would assume to, to, to symbolize it. I saw whales, but okay. Huh. That's very wholesome for spec. <laughs> you, <know, laughs> you don't think so? You don't think so? Huh. Yo, Didi, is that you going to bed? If that's so, Didi, I hope you get a wonderful rest. Thank you again for the raid. Much appreciated, man. That's a cute emote. I like that a lot. Jombie just wants to see dicks. Yeah, for real. Uh, who's this? Barrett? Yeah, Barrett is with Red 13, so... That's one of my setups, so I'll give him that. Lightning. Overdrive. Ooh, with Cloud. Uh-huh. Ooh, this is with Tifa specifically. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. It's weird, when Tifa and Barrett as a team, I did that before on the previous one, Cloud kind of became my healer and magic user. Weird to think about. Yeah, Red 13, what's he got? He's got one with Barrett, yep. Checks out. What's this one? Team up with your partners to dodge. Yeah, I, I like this presentation, by the way, for the upgrade tree, but I feel like, every like, post Final Fantasy X, every single upgrade tree has been a poor substitute. Or the sphere grid. The sphere grid was where it was at, and it never got better from then. Pharmacy 13s were super disappointing. You remember that one, Spec? 
was shite. They looked really pretty though. I felt like the the, the sphere grid in Final Fantasy 13 was very lacking. It had like these, it kind of looked like it, but it was kind of convoluted and the way you moved around it was annoying, you couldn't see everything. It was a little bit like a flower. Yeah, there was one in one of the Tales games that we played that I thought was interesting. I think it was Tales of Zillia, where it was similar to the layout of this, but it was like a big flower. And if you made like a connecting thing, so for example, in that game, if I had bought these four, right, there'd be a special ability in the center here that you'd unlock for getting all the stuff around it, which I thought was a cool little gimmick. I like little things like that on top of it, you know? I, I, like this kind of presentation is interesting. But I don't think it facilitates necessarily, like, anything... I don't know how to word it. It doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't spark joy. Uh, to be honest, I had to open Steam stream on full screen to see it correctly. Yeah, it is fairly small, isn't it? I guess it doesn't help with my overlay being even smaller, then. You got the dick slapping power. Hell yeah, hell yeah! Of course I did, John B. It's what I went there for. Bedtime fact, you know it's cold outside when you go outside and it's cold? You, you're right, DD. Can you can you add quote that, please? Uh, DD, just dropping facts. I need to remember this just in case I forget. Oh, here we go. He's the other material I wanted to buy. Like, just straight up normal material. I didn't even know where to buy it from. Apparently, you can just buy it from a vending machine. How stupid do I feel? Um, okay, healing. We need one more of these. By one more, I mean we need two more of these. God, that's so expensive. And I feel like I need one of these. One of these. Guys, I'm losing money. Guys. Oh, that's bad. I think I need a thousand to continue the game. Alright, I'm good for it. I'm good for it. Eruth. Alright, what you got? Pray. Enemy skills things. She doesn't need this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to give her some magic. Give her a healing thing. And give her... Fire, fire and ice material. Yeah, that's that checks out. And she's got wind. Tifa has got... Akram and Blizzard. Oh, she should definitely get the... Um, what's it called? Not the precision one. Enemy skill material. That's the one. And then... Barret has a bit of space. We could give him a cheeky healing one, just in case. Red 13 has some space. We can give him a magic one or a healing one as well. I'm going to give him a cheeky healy one. And then Clud. Clud's probably fine with these. Yeah, it's probably fine. I can't remember if you have to use the uh, material to upgrade them, but I don't think you do. I think if you just have them equipped and you're gaining AP, I think it distributes it evenly across everything that you've got, but I could be wrong. Hmm. It's my only quote. It's a good one, Jombie. It's a good one. <laughs> Proud of you. I said the most Christmas PNG too with that has a crazy amount of drift. I will never forget that one, Erica. Thank you. <laughs> Make me physically recoil. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that, that gave me so much energy. I feel like I could stream for another 12 hours. Can I upgrade weapons from here? <gasps> I can. Totally forgot this was a thing. Fuck a duck. Uh, how do I do this exactly? Ito. Oh, it's just showing me how they're leveling up. Right. Never the mind. Aerith has Cure and Cura. Great. He has Fire Alpha. Why Why does the thing have a weird A on it? Oh, whatever. I'm not going to try to understand any of this. Alright, sir. Let me vote your wars. Glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way. Owner of this farm. Oliver, give me the hat and we'll call it even. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. And you could find... Weakling stairs, we aren't all them Zoomers? Or we, I just had to say Zoomers. Oh, congrats, Jumbie, I guess. We bear the burden of being British so everybody else doesn't have to. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah. We're the heroes that uh, are necessary, not necessarily the ones that you want. Wait, Jombie's a boomer? What do you know about it? How do you know bro? Ah, oh, fine, we'll go with that one first. The ecosystem here is something special. <laughs> 100% not a boomer. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> one day, some like-minded folks came around. My understanding of a boomer is that you just play those shooting games, right? Like, like, um, like Battlefield. Oh my god, Jumbo, you might be a boomer. How do you feel about Quake? And what's the other one? Doom. How do you feel about Doom? <laughs> what do you mean that's not how it works? I'm young and relevant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, can you add quote that man? too? I don't. He might. <laughs> oh my god. Do makes me what? There you go, then you're a boomer. That's how it works. <laughs> the Erica. Tells me he's I'm young and relevant. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. The very first time I doxed myself online was streaming a Doom Wad. Good memories. Oh no! How did that happen? I just like says I'm now upset. No, don't be upset, Jumbie. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop it. Undo it. Undo it, Jumbie. I apologize. No, no one needs to be upset, Jumbie. There's nothing wrong with being a boomer, though, Jumbie. You know, you, you you like Doom. You play shooty games. It's fine. You can like what you like. You know. It's it's absolutely fine. Here. There's no shame here. <laughs> These are the consequences of actually god damn it. I knew they'd catch up to me eventually. Other animals are come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Think a chocobo could handle it? Their sense of smell is He's obviously 18, there's an 18 before his name. What do you mean there's an 18? Oh, there is an 18 before his name. I didn't even notice. Holy shit. Zombie, you're only 18? But the things that we did. Shit. He's <laughs> figured out the code. And the question mark icon is detected a scent that warrants investigation. Sniff the air. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with this. I, I know when my chocobo sniffs. He's got something. What? Hmm. Well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. Okie doc. I find this beast. Oh look, I aged. <laughs> oh man. You want to track it from here on out? No, the chocobo has led us this far after all. I hate when that happens, Jumbie. Happens to me at least once a week. Happy birthday, by the way. Wait, it's Jumbie's birthday? <laughs> Spectre... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spectre just looked at me and was like, no. <laughs> that, that kind of like, oh dear, you don't understand, no. Oh. Oh, this just keeps going. Let it go. Kick. Oh, fuck. Did not expect that to happen, but here we are. Wind current? Huh. Yeah, let me try that. Go, Dimrock. Try again. Uh, do we have synergy abilities that we can use yet? Not yet. Then I will just fucking hit them.
Oh, where's Misteed? Lily <laughs> Beauty got him. Damn. I got smaller lot. I heard Specs look through the screen. Yeah, it was pretty loud. I felt it in my soul. Oh, there we go. Spec is definitely the wiser of the two of us. I would definitely take Spec's word over my own, too. Spec command. There is a, a unique Spec mug command, but that's up to Spec to do. You know what? Come to think of it, Jombi, um, while we're here and we're live, and it'll be really awkward as an exchange in case this is not a mutual um, beneficial thing to do, uh, can I put you in the mug sometime? Would that be okay? Only you will be able to do it. Only you will be able to initiate it. There. And by you, I mean the clam. Excellent. What are we looking at? Gotta ah. Yo, what is that? White Terror? Yo, that looks beautiful. Okay, we need to hang on. I need to assess this thing. Uh, you can. St what can you steal of this thing? Beast Talon. I don't know how rare that is. But it drops it anyway, right? It's not weak to anything, but it's immune to whatever the fuck those symbols are. What the fuck symbol is that? It's weak. Oh, sorry, it's immune to storm. And it's immune to proportional damage. What the fuck does proportional damage mean? There we go. I think that's better. Pocket Jombie, is that the one that we should use, you reckon, Erica? What do you reckon? Should I be worried? No, no, not at all. Now I can squish him with my fingers. <laughs> that's a really cute one. Spec, can you demonstrate by putting yourself in the mud? I'll just, uh, what I was thinking about John B, uh, I'll, I'll grab, I'll grab you or one of your emotes and I'll stick it in the mud, mug like that, but only you can trigger it. That's, that's, that's the, um, compromise I make for the fact that I didn't make the asset, you know, it's your asset. So, like, uh, I think I've got one for Cap, I've got one for Kiki, I've got one for Spec, I've got one with, uh, Adam. I should really add Pebs in there somewhere. Um, what am I doing? Alright, I'm fighting this thing. It's got a lot of HP, hasn't it? Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Spin, swipe, block, block, block. Okay, what are we doing on HP? Okay, so... Oh god, both of them have been using too much of their AP. I will cure myself then, I guess. I've got enough left over to do one of these things. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, okay. Spells, let's have a look. Fire, I guess it'll just be whatever. Uh, where's the slash one gone? I wonder if that was specific to a weapon, whatever. Uh, this one, thrust, that's what I meant. Almost down. He's, God, this one's really tough. This is the toughest thing I've fought so far, outside of Titan. There we go, we got the stagger. Fucking go. Which one of these um, can, can be used airborne? Yep. Pull that. There we go. Whoo. God, the multiplier that you get for staggering and thingying an enemy is so high. What? That was insane. 
It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. Sick. Hey, GG's. Uh, I didn't know I wanted something until I wanted it. There you go. The spec busy. What does Hug the spec do? Oh, there's only one. Uh, Lin, I can promise you that uh, spec will always welcome the Hug the spec redeem. What are these things? I don't know what this is. Hello. <gasps> it's been redeemed! It's been redeemed! Thank you. So I'm gonna get up now and I'm gonna hug the spec. To the thing. What do you mean, just go and pee? What do you mean, just go and pee? I can't just go and pee. I can't just go. I need to press the fucking thing. I can't just go and pee. It was fine. Not fine. Not fine. Can't confirm. Not fine. Don't. Don't you dare. Don't. And I can see. God damn it. God damn it. That's probably made out of rubber. Novel. You're probably right. It wasn't. Uh, God damn it, Lynn. God damn it. That's good. That's all that matters, really. Oh, hang on, hang on. I see a hole we can get through. Oh, I love a hole. I'm, I'm just gonna... Oh no, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. We're gonna be. F oh fuck. It didn't fit. Oh, I didn't fit. It didn't oh, fit. I wanna. I wanna. Oh wait. Hang on. I got this. I got this. We're good. I think they can swim. You are. Well, Yo, now, they like, can we're swim. Swimming. They can swim. Uh, 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 fire. That's effective <laughs> in water. It's water, That's not Hilly. effective in water. <laughs> okay, he dropped a bangle. Oh, oh God. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, drop that. Pick up that. Equip that. Don't equip that. Move over there. Unequip that. Get your RPG out. Shoot it in the penis. Ah! Fuck! What is going on? Me? You think you're exhausted, bitch? We've been playing this for like five hours. Shut the fuck up. What are you, you talking about? Inside. We're the one uh, after. How? You know how many times uh, I've remade this goddamn room? Talk about the house. You took a shower and you've eaten three times. <laughs> talk about the Every house. single time we disconnect, you fuck off somewhere and refresh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Wait, you took a shower? Kiki took a shower in between. <laughs> he came back in one. He came back in one time, just eating something. And he's like, "Yo, what's up?" Oh, I can't. Every they check the map. The check. He's checking. He's checking the map. <laughs> Have you broken my husband? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. God, pee took a while. Been drinking a lot. I knew it was bad when I got like the whole bottle out of the fridge. You know, usually I leave the bottle in the fridge because I'm like, at least it'll get me up to go to the fridge, right? And I went there and I was like, I keep coming back to this goddamn fridge if there was anywhere. And then like the, it, there was a moment in my brain where everything fall, fell into place. I was like, I could take the bottle with me. <laughs> and I never have to come back to this fridge today. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> Slippery slope. I know, Cap. I know. I shouldn't. I, I leave it in there usually because I like to have my drinks chilled, generally speaking, you know? I need to get rid of some points. I respect it, Wills. I respect it. Oh. Um, hey, leave my balls alone, huh? <laughs> what a miss. The hug turned uh, dangerous. Look what you did. What do you mean, what did I do? I kidnapped him to be. <laughs> I instigated this and I'm all for it, chaos. Oh god, we should have them hug more. We should. I'm totally down for hugging more. I read something online, uh, it was a meme format, but I think it's based on some sort of evidence of some 
um, studies showing that you need like three hugs to survive, eight hugs to like maintain your sanity or something, and like twelve hugs to like grow as a person daily, daily. By the way, the hugs? we might need to increase the hugs. Yeah, yeah. But the meme was funny because the meme was just like, "What do you mean three hugs to survive?" <laughs> Oh man. Ugh. Yeah, Wills Wills has basically been keeping the, the hugs going. Has been keeping the, the, the love in our relationship uh stable at this point. He's a national treasure. Uh the spec takeover I put on rarely nowadays, Lynn, just because spec's been quite busy. Like right now, Spec is still working on stuff in the background. So whenever there's a time where we're both sat down and she doesn't mind taking over, I'll put it on. Me chugging off one hug every four months. I'm so sorry, Wills. Listen, Wills, inevitably, I'm going to be in the UK. Inevitably, at some point in the future, as long as we're all friendly and stuff like that, we'll all meet up eventually, you know? And I'll, I'll, I'll give you some hugs. <laughs> I'm kind of with you, Jumpy. <laughs> Three hugs coming right up. There we go. Go for it, Lynn. More hugs the merrier. I'm a big supporter of hugs. I, I believe him. There we go. There's one. Thank okay, you. Hang on. I'm just taking the blanket. I'm just taking the blanket. Hooray! Share? What do you mean share? Share? She wants to share my blanket. I don't know about this. The sharing the blanket was not part of the redeem. Fine. I don't like it long ways. It doesn't cover me exactly. It's fine. It's fine, I guess. Love. Yeah, it's fine. Love. All right, what are we doing? <laughs> Time to add a new redeem. No, you leave my blanket out of this, Jumbie. <laughs> I refuse. Those are lines you're crossing, Jumbie. Oh, we can just zip back. We did this, didn't we? Report to Oliver. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll report. It was like a take a picture side quest somewhere that I should probably give a try to. Listen, it's been shared, all right? I love Spectre Bits. I, I would never anger her and endanger my life. Hang on, is that what I was meant to say? Oh my god, did he just pull that out of his pocket? Oh, you got one for me too? That's not meat. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Well, I guess I'll check what he gave me. There's some sort of equipment. Oh, there's stuff here that I haven't equipped before. Reduces damage taken while not actively controlled in battle. Huh. Increases speed. Runs immunity to sleep. No, I like sleeping. Hunter's bang. Oh, I did. Oh, there it is. Owl bracer. Um. That's nice. It gives me magic defense. Don't care a lot. I give it to her, I guess. I give her the uh, crescent moon because I'm going to be using her the least. Maybe we should give her the owl bracer as well. Yeah. Uh, that'll give her more material slots, which is good, because I do want her to have more magic when I do flip over to her. Um, does she have lightning yet? Probably not. Let's give her lightning. Fire, ice, lightning, wind. Yeah, she's good. She's sorted now. Um, she doesn't have anything equipped. What am I doing? Speed, earrings. Oh, no, she does. No, that's what I have equipped. All right. I will give her... I guess that makes sense. Uh, I can put the knife away this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can keep you can keep the poop knife to your side, Jumpy. Use it for other purposes. We're good. Nobody can be forced to share blankie. And I'm not a huge fan of it, Eric. I'll be honest. That was in his book. I always love when characters pull stuff out. God knows where. I know, especially when it's something like that. It's like a massive wad of meat, and you saw his hands beforehand. You know what I mean? So clearly, he yanked that out of somewhere. I don't want to uh, use my points. I still want the the monkey. You you do it, Lynn. You save up there. I believe in you. 
Yes, what A, it's in the book. B, there is stash in Foskin. Oh, co Erica, come on! Is that true? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why that was funny. We've been awake for too long. We've been awake too long. <laughs> oh, man. Farewell, French fry as we what? Oh, yeah, what, what the fuck am I? That's fine. This happens to me a lot. Where am I going? Oh, there, I wanted to do this thing. Um, like that. And then the nearest point of interest I have is maybe this one. I like this game. I don't know if I've said that before in the last... How long have I been streaming for right now? Six hours? Oh, I did not know you could climb on that. Kind of sick. I'm surprised how little story I've done since, like, entering this open world instance. I've been quite content with just exploring it and doing the random things. And when you stumble across a particular scenic location, press square on the main menu to enter photo mode, then take a picture to capture the, the, the majesty on film. Once you're satisfied with your shot, speak with uh, snaps again to be rewarded for your photographic efforts. Alright, well, do I need to do it at the right point? There it is. What is it with this helmet? Like this 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 headpiece that people like so much. Stumpen uses this at least like five times a week. Okay, so press start, press square, and then like what? Take a picture of I mean it is pretty, I guess. Whoops. Wait, I didn't take a picture. Did I? Oh, he's got a camera! That's so cool! Hang on, hang on. Oh, I can't take a picture of the camera. It pauses the game. I wanted to go here, press square, take a proper picture. Uh, I wanted to hide the party. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. Some birds in the shot. Um, let's have a look. Make it like this. What frames do we have? Oh, you know, these are all hideous. That's great. Filter, I don't mind this one so much. Can you not reduce the intensity? Guess not, okay. Don't need to do that. Angle, ooh. Air in a little bit. This is kind of limiting. I was kind of hoping for a bit more than this. Maybe we unlock more things. Yeah, let's just Shinran use it, I, I, I guess. Um... How do you hide menu? There we go. Good. Alright, we need to head back to give this guy his thing. Uh there. I I I've lost a lot of time in certain video games with photo mode. Hey, hey, Jody, how you doing? Bean Cat's Doodle, yeah! I'm glad that he uh, he bought it so you could see it. Share your phone, yeah, share it. Hey there, thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. You did me a good turn, so I did you. <laughs> Christman? I convinced the association to make you a member. Of course, you're starting on the bottom rung, but you'll work your way up. And you're damn right, I will. You find, the faster you'll climb that ladder. I like the mist in here. I didn't know already. You have nothing to share. Damn. That's cold. Alright, uh, I think I did everything to a point. Let me just check. I feel like these are all the side missions. There's a fifth one that's locked? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, 
Oh, shall I try the Titan fight again? I got completely mauled the first time. Let, shall we try it now to see if I'm a bit stronger? Um, where is he? All right, so if I'm gonna do the Titan fight, I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need wind, I guess. Um, set material. Do I have wind on here? Uh, I don't need morph for the fight. Uh, I've only got one min wind material, and I gave it to Aerith. Um, there's also a band which I gave to... Where is it? Enemy skill, this one. Which I think I'll steal off <laughs> Tifa. Um, we've got Moogle, which deals wind damage. Great, that's what we need to use. Alright, I'm just going to give it a go. I don't think I'm fully optimized for it, and there's probably a certain team or... Setup I could use, blah blah blah. Let's just see how it goes. You would like to use it to develop materia. Uh, you'll have to share all the doodles you did once the new mug uh, ruler is crowned in a couple of days at this rate. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I um, I didn't expect to already be this high, Jordy. I'm gonna have to think of the next mug ruler at this point, which is really sweet as well. I'm glad people have enjoyed this iteration of the uh, the mug ruler. I enjoyed making it. And I wouldn't mind making something quite... Something simple again, you know? Actually, all of these have been fairly simple. Maybe the third one was a bit extravagant. But, like, I think, generally speaking, the silhouette and overall style has been fairly simple. Okay. There's my team. Let's go. Alright, wish me luck. Okay, lock onto this bad boy. He's clearly looking for me. I'm gonna go straight for a block. Where's my block button? I think it's R1. Okay, magic is ready. No, magic's not ready. Magic is ready. Wind current. Ah, oh, fuck. I got knocked out of it. Oh, that's annoying. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm really bad at using her. I should switch. Back up, back up. Okay. Try again. That did not do anywhere near as much damage as I need to do. Okay, hang on. Uh, Aerith, please, 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 please use wind. Oh. Your material has improved enough that a more potent spell is available. For example... Oh, hug. Hug time. Hug time, hug time, hug time. Fix, fix, fix. Okay. You must have had at least eight hugs today. Surely. I feel like I've been hugging you every minute. Yeah, no need to try and one-up yourself in terms of effort. Yeah, for sure. I feel like it's a losing game that way, Jordy, with something like this. It can be easily over-designed. Right, oh, as I'm going to lurk. But have fun in FF. Thank you. Don't forget to hug Spec 2, though. Thank you so much, Jumbies. It's been an absolute pleasure, bro. That's two. One more. <laughs> have a good luck, Jumbie. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're not following Jumbie, you should. For all intents and purposes, Jumbie is the definition of Gugai. That's my TV remote. This is a bit loud. Titan is scaring me. Spec, are you sat on the TV remote? No, I'm sat on sat on your phone. You, are you sure you're not sat on the TV remote? I hate to throw you under the bus here, but I feel like you're probably sat on it. She's sat up, but she's not sat on it. I feel like, a, I, feel like I might have done her dirty. Well, we can't find the TV remote. I don't know whose fault this is. Probably the dogs, yeah. She probably pushed it somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sat on it, no. I'm not gonna check. Because <laughs> I'm comfortable. And I know you want more of my blanket. Yeah, take care, John. No, that's false. Don't follow. You, you should follow. Everyone should follow right now. Unfollow me and follow John B. Hang on, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, to access more powerful spells, press left and right to access the command. Cool, okay. 
Fortunately, that is not one of them, but she needs to use that. There. That's it. Look at that. Got pressured. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. That actually did damage. Okay. Right. Uh, Cloud needs to do this one. Tifa. Did I give Tifa heal? I should have given her heal. I didn't. I didn't. That's on me. Whoa. Fucking hell, that does so much goddamn damage. What a prick. Whoa, he's throwing rocks. All right, um, I can heal. Me, please. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Abilities. I should have given myself wind. I'm, I'm gaining stuff way faster than the rest of them. Come on. Give me another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Aerith, 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 please. Um, spell. Arrow, do it. That's it. Come on, he's so close, he's so close. Got ya! Yeah. Let's fucking go. Um, wind current. Just do it again. The summoner bar's filling up now as well. That's awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, shit. Has he got a phase two? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I didn't know he could do that. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Wait, I need to go on healing duty. Oh, wait. I need to summon this bad boy first. Get him. Get him. Fuck -ock! I assume that's the noise it was going to make. I stand corrected, and I feel silly. Egg on my face. Uh, run towards the enemy and unleash a powerful kick. Throw a bomb with a wide blast radius. This doesn't seem like wind attacks to me, but apparently it's wind. So fucking start with that first, I guess. Can't do any of those yet. How's everyone doing for HP? Tifa's not doing very well at all. I need to, I need to heal them. Yeah, I, I feel like I know what to do now if I fuck this up. I need to reassemble the, the moves a bit more. Uh, hang on. I want to do this. She can do a summon ability. Kick, let's try that. Okay, I need to heal. Those people are dying. But I want to do damage. <laughs> no, heal, heal, heal. Fuck. Oh, in the process, I lost so much goddamn HP healing. Aerith is ready to do something. So do that. I want to heal myself as soon as I can. He's down. Okay, I, I will heal. I will heal. I don't want to, but I will. I need people to be more aggressive. It can't just be me. Uh, kick it. Okay, Moogle's gonna do one last big attack. Ooh. Uh, do I need to heal someone? I think we're okay. I'm gonna use this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stampede, stampede, baby. Hey, Shaggy, how you doing, man? Weakness, it said weakness. See you soon. Still alive, he's still alive. 
He's almost down though again. You see that? He's almost down. Hang on. I, I believe. I'm starting to believe. Come on. Limit. Okay. We're done. Whoa. All right, I that could have been smoother, but we did it. Okay. All done. Okay. Okay. We done. We done. Woo. Oh, thanks for doing the shout outs, back. How you doing, Shaggy? Good to see you, man. How you doing, boss man? Doing good. Been working on some mix it up stuff. Oh, sick. I'm looking forward to seeing some of it. How you liking FF722? I'm really enjoying it, Shaggy. Way more than I was expecting to even. I um I was just saying to people, I like the first few hours, it was what I expected. It was like, you know, this very story driven Final Fantasy slapped over the back of your head, Sefi Roth. But then as soon as it threw me out into the open world and I've just been like just doing random bits and bobs in the open world map, for some reason I just fell into this really cool, relaxed zen like exploratory chill vibe i don't know how else to put it thank you that fucking that thing ran over me the first time i attempted it that's the second time i had to go at it it went way smoother which is really cool because now that i defeated titan i can use titan that's how it works in this and i like that yeah of course wills thanks wills has always got my back What's really cool is there's a gimmick in this game. There's so many small systems like this, which I really like. So when I first fought Titan, I fought him at full might and he like wrecked shop, right? I actually weakened him. So in the world, there are three, uh, how do they word it? Shrines or places of like deity energy uh, where you can go and each one that you get, the crystal will make the fight easier. How cool is that? I think that's a really fun gimmick to add something in the world where you can go and find it to make that fight more accessible to you. I think that's good shit. Uh, I think... Did I do this one already? These are all training stuff. I definitely have to try the synergy stuff because I don't understand how it works yet. That's the only summon, I think. Yeah. But now that I have that summon, I can give it to someone. I hope you won't and I think... On my team, at least, the person who doesn't have a summon is Tifa. Yep, she doesn't have one. I can give her Titan. Gives a large amount of non-elemental damage with repeated attacks. Ultimate attack, Earth and Fury. I could maybe give her my Chocobo and Moogle one for now, since this one can't be upgraded any further, and this one can. So as long as it's with me, I'll keep upgrading it. Let's do that. Like this then I'll switch back my um which is this a skill material yeah I'm gonna switch this back to ah, maybe I shouldn't switch back to morph yeah let's leave it as is got enough and then I'll give um Tifa mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll give a fire or ice she's already got ice what am I saying give a fire you can cover two elements that way. There's a lot of there's a lot of things like that, Shaggy. It's not without its problems, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the experience so far. I think it's awesome. Oh, it's a cactus. Why is there a cactus here? I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. Can't strike it. Got a cat spec. When are you jumping on this adventure, Shaggy? Oh, the quest has opened up. The last side's quest. Uh, it's in here? Oh, you're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Oh, cacti from months in the world. Yeah. Didn't expect you to worry about. I'm not cool, never played any FF games, right? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills. You play many JRPGs, Shaggy. I don't know if we've ever spoke spoke about like RPGs in general. Do you think you could instead? I 
think we should help. If not for him, we'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess. That's pretty normal, I think. Right? Me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. Why were you I'll pissed? You the grisly details. And just say they stole my life from me. My family. My home. Is that reason enough for you? Yeah, I was just asking. But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this... Ah, not really big on them outside the tabletop. Fair. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. Living in hate can poison a man. They are very big investments, you know? I mean, not like you don't understand what a big investment in video game is. You play fighting games. That might be one of the biggest time sinks and investments in video games and communities. Way more, I feel, than the typical JRPG. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement. <laughs> yeah. The you screwed, Shaggy. <laughs> But I will say that um, if, if it's anything to do with maybe gen general gameplay for these kind of things, Final Fantasy 16 was a hell of a lot to play. And uh, if you enjoy games like Nia, Devil May Cry, you can definitely feel the influence of that. I feel like they got one of the... Um, mm, what was his name? Someone who worked on Devil May Cry 5 worked on Final Fantasy 16, and it shows, like someone in terms of gameplay. And it's really fun to play. Equal Mildred? Yeah, absolutely. I really enjoyed my time with Final Fantasy XVI, which may be kind of hesitant for this, because I enjoyed Final Fantasy XVI's gameplay more than I did the uh, Final Fantasy VII Re Remake. Right now, with Remake 2, I'm enjoying the differences. Like, I like the fact that I can switch characters, and there's more focus on um, synergy between people, as opposed to in Final Fantasy XVI, you were just, you know, Clive was just a beast, basically. Did Broden send you? I'm glad One of the combat directors, yeah, that's right. Ain't she a sight to and it's a really fun game because of it. Of I look back on my time with Final Fantasy XVI really like fondly. This. Let me tell you, I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? Oh boy. Um How do you know Broden? We go way back. Like way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know. Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military and I became an engineer. What happened between Broden and well, Shinra? Turned out he was a natural born trooper. Was I mean, he told us this to anyway. Part in a super secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? I have to ask him. Though I doubt he'd tell you. Yeah, he didn't bring that up actually. Good point. Tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do yeah, so he's having these headaches and he's getting voices. I feel like I've heard this somewhere in the previous game, but I don't remember at the top of my head. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first I feel like the audio is a tad bit louder than the voice. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? He's been to doctor after doctor. But so I'm digging through old Republic archives. Yeah, so she's Still looking for a cure for him. No. What do you Step need? One was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby. The transmuter chips are kind of like blueprints, from my understanding, in this world. This rare bird to get what you need. That's a call. Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure, Shinra's to blame for that too. But maybe you'll have better luck. 
Time to tap yeah, birds love me. Springs. Yeah. Windmills counting on you, friend. Yeah, let me just turn down the music just a tad bit. See if that's a little bit better. Alright, you already have the transmuter chip. Uh, transmuter windmill and give it to Mildred. Wait, what? I already have it? Oh, I can just go directly back to her. I guess I already did it. So, what do you want to know? Oh no, I didn't. I misunderstood. On you, I just I can transmute it. You already have the transmuter chip. Transmute a windmill gear and give it to Mildred. Okay. Item transmutator. Um There, this thing. This is what she wants. I can't make it. So, hang on. I thought he said, uh... Yeah. I'm confused. One talon, two chunks of iron core. Oh, sorry. Chunk of Leah titanium, five beast bones. And they're all in red. Where do I get the talon from? I guess I need to find it. Um... Is there somewhere in the world where it's telling me to go? I don't think so. Procure requirements view. You must procure the following parts. Yeah, but it's not telling me how to get them. Okay, let me ask her one so, more time and pay more attention. Uh, we need. How do you? How do I obtain? <laughs> but that ought to be easy for you, seeing as you already found the chip. Now, all that's left to do is put that transmuter of yours to. What? What are you banging on about, lady? Why does it make it sound like you already have the transmuter chip? Transmute a windman gear and give it to Mildred. Yeah, I get that. But I can't. It's not letting me. I don't have the parts, right? Spec, what am I doing wrong? I want to do this before I leave because it's like the last uh, of the five that I got to do. I need to transmute this thing, but I don't have the parts for it. But the game's acting like I have everything I need. And I don't. Uh, I transmute by pressing start, going to transmute, and then going over to this item, and clearly I can't make it. Oh wait, hang on. It's because my crafting level's not high enough. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I got this. I just need to level up. <laughs> by crafting things. Uh, I could make a cushion. I could make some of this. What does this need? Sage and marijuana. Yeah, I can make one of these. <laughs> There we go. I love my marijuana pillows. Um, portion, what does this need? Sage and planet's blessing. What level am I? What does it say my level for this? you see it anywhere? I'm level two. It says right there. But I need to be level four. Okay. Um, Phoenix draft. That seems useful. I should make one of those. Uh, mist potion? Sure. I took so many portions off me. Or portions. Ooh. Cushion thing. More one 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 now? Okay. Yeah, but I don't know what the symbol is next to the cushion. I'm not getting any extra points for doing that. Oh, hang on. Maybe these will help. Um, yeah, because it says how much experience I get. Ah, I'm not getting any more experience for doing those. I'll get experience for doing the first time for each one. Like a mixed... One of these I'll get 30 XP for. And for this, I'll get 10 experience for. And for this, I'll get 20 experience for. I've cracked the code. I'm now level 4. I can now make it. I can't make it. God damn it. Where do I get a Quetzalcoatl talon from? Where the fuck is a Quetzalcoatl? <laughs> like, lady, lady, I need... Tell me where the Quetzalcoatl is. You need to be... So, what do you want to know? 
Uh, what transmutation materials are? Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure, Shinra's to blame for that too. But time to tap into some life springs. Life springs. Yeah. Okay, we need to find life springs. A uh, life spring is a location that a bird leads you to, which has rare materials in. They have a symbol on the map. Um, they look like. What do they look like? Have a good one, Lynn. Thanks for joining us. You too. I've done all of the springs around here. Chicken legs? Oh, those things? No, those are just chicken legs. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find the symbol for you so I can show you what I mean. The Moogle Emporium. They might have it. Who knows? It's like a symbol like this, right? Because you get it from doing the tower stuff. Uh, wait, Intel. I can show you on here what they look like. It's this one. Life spring. It says life spring. So they're expeditions. They they look like grain, I guess. So that's meant to be bubbles coming off something or whatever. Um, so we're looking for those symbols on the map that I haven't done. Like this. I've done this one, right? But that's what we're looking for. If I go back to it, will I have stuff I can pick up again or not? I think it's like a one-time deal. Yeah, it's a one-time deal. I only pick it up the one time. But I need more of these, I'm guessing. Find it. I could be totally wrong. Because it is a side quest, right? So maybe it's staged to be somewhere very specific. Um, but if it's not around here... Which one? If it's grey, it's used, yeah. It's totally used up. This... What is this? Phenomenon pipeline management? No, not that. So if I don't have one available, I've got to do another tower to unlock more of them. So I could do this. Let's do that. Any other point of interest that I've procured and done stuff before is a fast travel point, which is really nice. This is a really good game. I am enjoying my time with a video game, and I, I'm, I'm happy about this that I do, right? Does that sound authentic? Were you convinced? Deer. In the direction of deer. There's the tower. Square Enix. Yeah, it would. Oh. So it's my turn. You can do it. All set. Go on. She is so fucking fast. I've got to learn how to use her properly. She's so good. Yo, it's a massive turkey. Look at the size of its arms. If these fucking birds lift. So this should open up new areas of interest and hopefully one of them will be a life spring. I don't know if it's a possibility of getting it or the quest or something. I have no idea what's going to trigger it. This doesn't feel like the right thing to do though because generally speaking the uh, side quests are all kind of self-contained. Like it'll tell you to go somewhere specific, right? It makes me wonder if I've, if I've missed a trick here. We'll see. I'm going to try this anyway. There's one to my left. There's two to my left.
Okay, there's the first one. Let's head towards that first. Yeah. The foliage density is really good. Oh, there's the bird. That's the bird that leads you to it. I'm guessing that might be the Quetzalcoatl, but I think it's called an owl something instead. Yeah, he hoots. Bird's killing me. I'm gonna steal off it if I can. The fact that it fucking buffs itself is so scary. Ah, bird's back. It's such a cute bird. Oh, whoa. This is sort of weird down south too. Oh, cap. Look, it's yellow, so you know it exists. If this wasn't yellow, man, I think it's just a fucking rock. Pick, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yeah, none of that stuff like looked like the thing I needed. Yeah, I might have to look this up. But this is a life spring, but I'm guessing we have to do like a, um, a specific life spring, right? That's related to the story for that. I don't think it would be this far out, you know? Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzalcoatl. Ooh. A rare bird native to these lands. So rare, in fact, that few have ever seen it. This is a prime research opportunity I'm for I'm listing, Chadley. I should also mention that you'll need its talents to transmute the part the yes. whistle requires. Yes, yes. Mildred is anxiously awaiting your return. So I recommend subduing the creature with Just tell me where it is, Chad. Did he tell me where it was? Fiend nest location. That must be it. That must be it. Right? Right? That was it. Oh wait, was it this one? Yeah, you're right, it's this one. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Because it has the side quest next to it. Yep, this is it, this is it. Uh, and I can sip to this point. Excite! I can go and get it, I can go and get it! Uh, which way are we going? This way. Ooh, can I go that way? I'm gonna have to go that way. We'll go around. How are we doing for HP? Not great. Awesome. Um, can we like heal everyone? Whoa, Aerith's healing is way better than Cloud's. I guess that makes sense. I wonder if this thing is going to fly. If this thing flies, we might need Barret. Uh, how do I switch teams again? Party maybe? No, not party. Combat settings. Combat settings, okay. Um, team. Okay. Aerith, red 13. Barret, red 13. Let's make a team of... Barret. How do I switch these people around? Edit. Party. There we go. Put him as far back as I can possibly make him. There we go. 
And then we have Bullet Storm as a couple of things that we can do. Yeah. Something equipped here. Earrings, magic power, headband. Yeah, we just give him a headband. Why not? He doesn't have a summon. He doesn't need one, I guess, but he just doesn't have anything. Yeah, I've got no extra space. He has Cure and Thunder. And a lot of HP. Alright, let's fucking go. Once a specified number of life springs has been surveyed, the location of an especially powerful fiend will be revealed. Upon arrival, hold triangle to lure out your four, but be warned, you cannot flee from these battles. Holy shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna stick down a save. Wait, no, I'm not. Okay, let me stick down a save. I don't know. Gage the enemy. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's go, baby. Oh, the music. You're going down. Whoa. Oh. Okay. We've got enough to um, assess it. Let's see what we're dealing with. Weak to ice. I don't know if I have ice on me. <laughs> or did Tifa have the ice? Maybe Tifa has the ice. I know he, he is the the oh, icon. Christ. I know there's a lot, isn't there? There's a lot in it. I don't know what proportional damage means, Spec. I don't know. I don't know what it means. No. Kaki Marlin? Yeah, Marlin's a fish, right? Immune to stone, yeah, that's fine. Whoa. Yeah. What spells do I have? I don't have the right spells. It's gonna have to be someone else. Are they talking about this creature right now in the middle of this fight? Like the ecosystem and bullshit? I, I, I can't concentrate on two things at once. Yeah, Cloud's gonna have to do something with a, with a, with a, with a cure maybe? Yeah, let's just cure myself first. Okay, Tifa's up. Spells. Blizzard, she does have ice. Oh, Tifa's not doing good. I'm gonna control her for a bit. Okay, I don't know her abilities so well. Powerful kicks. Uh, restore own HP relative to damage. Understood. Blizzard first. Nice! Okay, Barrett can do some stuff. Thunder and Cure. He can cure, he can cure! He's almost down. Yep, there we go. We've got a stagger. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to switch to... Oh, she's got a limit up. Fucking do it. Whoa. Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to... Hang on. She's going to do another... Do a dive kick. Synergy. Here we go. Relentless Rush. Cyclone. I don't know what either of these things do. Trevor really grants unlimited MP. Yeah, that one sounds good. Do that. Copy. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, I'm digging it. Okay, if she's got unlimited MP, then fuck it, man. Wait, she's got no MP. I thought I said we got unlimited. Oh, we do. That's just the symbol for it. Wow. 
Whoa, easy. <gasps> we have a summon. We have a summon. Who has Shiva? We don't have Shiva. We don't have Shiva. We don't have Shiva. Spec, I fucked up. We don't have Shiva. Um, I took Shiva off of her and I gave it to someone else, I think. Uh, in Shiva's place... Stone was bad, right? Stone's bad. Don't use Stone. Uh, so I can't use Titan. I'm going to have to use Moogle. Screech. Okay. While that's active, I'm going to have you, my friend, heal me. Uh, to Tifa. We need to back off, we need to back off. Okay. She's got uh, ability up, she can use ice. Nice! He does not like ice. Barrett's got full fucking thing. Use a kick. Cloud's also got a thing ready. Give him a second though. Hit teeth has got another one ready. Uh, another ice. Nice! Staggered again! Okay, Cloud. Where is he? Oh wait, what um, item did this have? Uh, oh, I can steal a talon. I kind of want to steal a talent. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't waste my time trying to steal a talent. I should just get it for the reward. I won't need it probably outside of this. Um, does he need to heal? I'm going to ask him to heal Tifa just in case. I'm going to ask Barrett to do another summon kick. Okay. And then I'm going to ask her to go into a um, bridal strength. Omni strike. Get back up. Spells, Blizzard. We need to back off and let's do it again. Nice. Hit back up. Kick. She can probably do another blizzard. Barret can do another kick. And Cloud, can he synergize? He can. This one gives us increased potency and extra rush. Fuck it, do it. Nice! Holy shit, that was such a worthwhile upgrade to them. Oh, it's doing it, it's doing the thing, it's doing the thing! Run that bird over. It's almost down again. It's almost down again. Come on, come on. We're so close. Back up, back up. My limit's almost up as well. Okay, here we go, here we go. My limit is up too. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. While that's happening... Um, let's cure me, although I don't think it's necessary. And while that's happening, why don't you shoot this thing? Tifa's got so much left over, we can just fucking go ham. Dive kick. Avalanche two-step, don't know what this is, sounds awesome. Looks good to me. did it. Whew. Oh, that was fun. Confirmed. Cancel Quaddle defeated. Amazing work as always, Cloud. Your heroic victory over that vicious creature was a feast for the eyes. I suppose it falls to me to make Mai's presence more tolerable. How do you... <laughs> Wait, what? Levels decreasing. Wait. Huh. Now then. Allow me to wow, Chad, that's a bit of a dick move. And thank you for the valuable biological data. You should now be able to craft the requisite part for the windmill. No doubt Mildred is impatiently awaiting its delivery. 
Sick. All right. That was so fun. All right, let's go and hand this in, and then we've completed all of the side quests, I think, in this area before the next main thing, so we can continue that tomorrow. I mean, there's still plenty of other side things, but specifically the side quests, I think. So, what do you want to know? Oh wait, I need to make it. Sorry, sorry. I know what I'm doing. Windmills counting on you, friend. Yeah, windmills are always counting on me. I'll never let the windmills down. Now that is a quality design. No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic Ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. She's animated. Hot <laughs> damn! Look at that! Ooh, hello. It's A little materia fell from the sky. Yeah, that'll cure him. And where did it fall? Here it is. What is this? An orb of cleansing. Oh, interesting. Like a panacea. Like something that just gets rid of ailments. That'll be really useful. I should give that to someone. Okay, I think we're done here. Is there extra dialogue with Thingy? Yeah, there is. We're not actually done with this mission. you've got a world to see <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel but i am overdue for a vacation i think i've been working myself too hard he's a bit sick rest would do you good <coughs> what is this terrible oh, scent it's reminiscent of hojo's lab <sighs> it's time time to go he kind of looks like a young Hojo, without his face being all weird and wrinkly. You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right. You only get one shot at life. Whistle wind scarf. You can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. Sick. Hey, is that a little smiley face on Red 13? Yeah, I think I'm doing well with it. Need to rest. Get my okay. Breaking news at this hour. What's with that guy? I mean, listen, look, it's hard to be a waiter. <laughs> you want some help? I'll help you out, buddy. Hang on. There we go. There we go. I recommend honestly, maybe you should just take this one. This one's way better. There you go. It's good in it. Still standing like that, yeah, it is. Hang on. 
Listen, physics is hard, yeah? Hang on. We'll fix it. <laughs> there we go. And he probably wants more. Sorry, ma'am, are you using this? No? Okay, I'm just gonna take this one. That's okay with you? Second, give me a second. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Wait. There you go. Thank me later. Another satisfied customer. Oh. That fresh, calm air. I'm going to call it here for today, for tonight. I'll be back on tomorrow at some point. I have no idea. Whenever I wake up and I'll be playing some more of this. Thank you everyone for joining me. It has been a real treat. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your days. Peace.